good morning, good morning. We made it to eight o'clock, everybody. Honestly, it's one of those days today. It is one of those days. It's a manic day today. It's Friday, isn't it? Um, we've got it all going on today. All going on. Loads to tell you about. Have you just cancelled Facebook, by the way? Because we were so eagerly ready. About five to eight, we've clicked Facebook Live and it's just gone off my screen. Oh, no. One of those days. One of those days. Um, how is everybody? How is everyone? Hope you've all had a lovely week. I actually had a bit too much sleep. Do you ever get to that point? And normally that's never a sentence, well, that's not a sentence I've said in over two years, but um, I actually went to bed about half seven last night. And then now I feel even more tired for having too much sleep. I think we're all live again. Right, today's early word's a bit different. Um, Hayley is on annual leave who normally selects our early bird special so the ball's in Hannah's court and that means we don't have one early bird oh no 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 we do it Hannah style which means we have four we have four early bird specials this is number one of four early birds should we do this one because I love it it's like the sunrise the early bird sunrise We've got four fabric bundles for you. They're all moda. They are all going to be dropped to early bird special prices. So those of you that have woken up bright and early with us this Friday morning, you're about to get a bit of a treat to start your day. Um, I love these. And trust me, today is the day to be getting involved because we have got treats galore. We really, really do. We've got so many treats for you all, so get ready. You get half a metre of your mode of fabrics. And now look at this. This is the break of day range. It's absolutely beautiful. Your sunrise print. So you're guaranteed to get your half a metre cut. So if you are multi-buying on this, remember that they are already pre-cut into half metres. There's so many projects that you can do with a half a metre. Even in today's show, actually, we're going to be talking about lots of projects this is going to go perfectly for. Um, you also get half a metre of your sky blue. Put it with sky blue. Oh, yeah, they go with my nails, don't they? £11.28. Not your price. It's the early bird. It wasn't actually supposed to be the early bird, but Hannah said, Do you know what? Because uh, we weren't supposed to be crashing these, they were both supposed to be four lovely motor bundles. But because Hayley isn't here and Hannah's in charge of picking the early bird, she's just decided to crash the price of four motor bundles. We don't do that lightly. £9.99, that's under 10. Motor designer fabric, half a metre of your blue fabric as well. A metre in total of quilting weight cotton for less than £10. Pounds already loads going straight into baskets um, in fact there are now less than 20 less than 20 we tried to put together as many as we could remember we've got three more bundles after this there are so many treats for you today though this is honestly one of my favorite shows that every project is amazing um, 14 bundles left 14 bundles left. If you have got any in your basket, don't wait to see all four. You're, we're only paying one PMP, remember? So the whole day. So, I mean, this looks amazing. From a distance, I'm seeing secondary patterns as well, and I love the colour placement. So we've got Susie Duncan's quilt. We've got a Liberty Cushion with Susie Duncan as well. Oh, we've got the most amazing projects coming up with Emma Brassfield as well. I've not seen her for ages and ages, and she always brings us amazing treats. So your PMP is covered for the day. If you're purchasing this now and checking out, you don't need to pay that 3 95 again before midnight tonight. Um, you need to check out fully though. Don't hold anything in your basket. It's not yours until you check out. We're on single figures now. Single figures for your break of day. Isn't that a song, break of day? Break of day. Uh, <laughs> Hannah is in, um, she's got the Friday feeling. She's singing Beyonce in my ear. She's changed all the single ladies to all the single figures, all the single figures, because we're on single figures now. Eight of these remaining, and that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. Remember, you're getting them today at an early bird discounted price. Are we all off this weekend? Charlie's got a wedding. Hang on, you're not at work tomorrow morning though, are you? Are you back in on Sunday? Are you? Right, so Charlie's cousin's wedding's this weekend, and it is, oh my word, a full affair. It is a huge, huge wedding. So you had celebrations last night. So what time did you go to bed last night? Too late, you're saying, too late. About half one. Oh no. <laughs> that is painful. I'm so, so sorry that I was bragging I was in bed at half seven last night. Sorry, Charlie. Just so you know, 
four of these bundles left. We're going to take the graphics out. If you've got them in your basket, there's way more of you who've got them in your basket than we have availability. Right, we also have second early bird. You ready, Charlie? So Hannah has got in front of her, we share a, um, a gallery with our lifestyle, with our lifestyle studio. Now, in front of her, did you hear that? Did you hear that home or was it just in my ear? But Hayley's on annual leave, so we're using all the buttons from Lifestyle. Lifestyle. They've got a huge soundboard, which I've never noticed before in the gallery. Uh, I said, Hannah, why have you never used that word that says, what was the one that I really liked? The evil, evil laugh. Why have you never used the evil laugh on Sewing Street before? But we might, we might hear it, you never know. What does the evil laugh sound like? <laughs> Why is it like a... <laughs> this sounds like Hannah. <laughs> Hannah, when she's looking for her inhaler, she said. <laughs> oh, hey, Gemma. Gemma says hello. Margaret says hello. Baffa said good morning, Vicky and team. Looking forward to seeing Emma today. Oh, honestly. Baffa, can I just show you this? How amazing is this? I know that you'd love this, Baffa. It is literally the most amazing unicorn. <gasps> I'll show you some more projects in a little bit. We've got three more early birds though. Well, I'll say three more. This one and two more. This one is from the Moody Bloom range. Isn't it gorgeous? Now we've put it as well with a duck egg solid, but I love this. I'm thinking makes for your bathroom or toiletry bags, um, travel bags to be able to take makeup bags, things like that. Ideal. <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm going to regret saying to you this morning, why don't you use that soundboard? She says, I know it's annoying, I know it's annoying. She says, I'm just in that kind of mood today, I'm really excited. She says, it's um, a very exciting day. And it's payday! Hooray! The crowd goes, well, thank you, studio audience, thank you. It is lovely doing the show with a live studio audience today. Uh, just £9.99, just so you know, First bundle is literally about to sell out any second now. This bundle, again, um, I think we're down single figures on this one as well. £9.99 for your moody bloom in blue. Remember, you get half a metre of your duck head blue as well. Once everybody checks out, uh, seven of these, seven remaining. Remember, it is not yours until you check out of your order. Please don't miss these early birds. We should not be discounting Moda bundles, no way. I mean, we've got brand new Moda fabrics in today. We can't discount them. It's just not something that we really do very often, is it? You don't see Moda discounted. But I tell you what, it's Friday. It's payday. Um, We've got loads of goodies today, so we want to spoil your rotten. We want to make sure Haley's away, so Hannah's in charge. Um, she says, I'm looking for the cat noise now on the sound desk. We're like, well, the, 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 um, the boss is away. The, what's this? What is the... The cats will play. Well, the boss is away, the cats will play. Is that the saying? I thought it's when the cat's away, the mice will play. There's something about a boss. <laughs> Half a metre of each of these. Oh gosh, can you tell we're in one of those moods today? More of you have got these in your baskets than we have available. Hello, Tom! I'm seeing Tom this weekend. We're going camping. We're going camping. Susie Duncan is the expert on camping. So um, we're borrowing a tent from a, another friend. He's actually coming camping as well. And he messaged me saying he's been camping in Wales this week and um, got a leak. Got a bit of a leak, so I'm like, oh no. Are we really, not that kind of leak, not from the vegetable shop, not that kind of leak, Tom. Um, I know, yeah, it's the, the Welsh national vegetable, isn't it, a leak? I did find that out on my hen do, actually. <laughs> I wasn't in Wales on my hen do, no, it's because there, were, there was a big football game that was going on between Budapest and Wales, and, um, yeah, it's a long story. I don't need to go into it now. I don't. It sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But right, there's two that have got the little um, scissors on embroidery sets, which I love because this is a nod to our craft, isn't it? So to be able to get both of these bundles, are we going to do the same prices? 
we're going to get both of these under ten pounds as well. So um, let's go with the dark teal first. So you get the dark teal early bird special. Four early birds today for just tuning in. Um, so you get half a metre of this beautiful moda. I'm opening this out just so you can see how much you're getting. For, remember, we're dropping that price. We never drop the prices on moda bundles. Today, 9.99. What I was going to say though about my camping trip is that Susie Dunkel, <laughs> and it says I will stop playing that, I just cheer buttered soon. Um, uh, Susie Duncan is the absolute expert on camping, so she's already told me what spray to get to put on the seams of the tent and all sorts. I'm like, I'm actually going camping tomorrow. I don't think I'll, I'll, I don't have time to mend this tent, so I don't know how. I don't know how it's going to pan out. It'll be an interesting weekend. Um, half a meter of moda. You're just going to pitch me now. We've lots of leaks in the tent. <laughs> all the vegetables. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, so it's 112 wide. Uh, 44 inches, it quilting weight, beautiful with your buttons and your stitches, little pins on there as well, your snips, and it's in that lovely soft pink. Now, we've put it with this really lovely teal. What colour is that? It, what's the it is called teal. Um, yeah, it looks lovely with it. It's like a teal button and a pinhead as well. You want to make yourself a nice little um, sewing uh, box, or if you want to do yourself some uh, pin cushions, you could do lots of different lots of different projects for your craft room just with one bundle, all for for less than ten pounds. We are in our teens now for this bundle. I do love the spearmint and pink as well. I can't make up my mind which is my favourite. I like that this one pulls out these deeper shades. Did you put these together yourself, Hannah? She said did. She went rummaging through the warehouse again. Oh, well, the, um, I know, Hannah's been really busy at the warehouse this week. She's been putting together, obviously, these bundles, but also put together a complimentary bundle for brand new Moda fabric. Um, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I haven't even told you about probably the most exciting thing of the day yet. Hannah was so excited this morning when I came in. Are you ready? One final early bird. Uh, if you are tuning in just right now, normally we've done the early bird, we're done and dusted. Everything else is, you know, the normal prices. We don't crash prices normally. Um, so to be able to discount four of our specials this morning is very exciting. <gasps> oh, this is, we've got an exciting bit of post just arriving. Oh! <gasps> no, yes, it is. Nine pounds ninety nine for your spearmint moda, and then you've also got this really lovely light pink. It is literally half the press. Then you're not, you weren't joking, were you, Hannah? The post that we've just got, the delivery that's just arrived into the studio, um, I didn't realise like how hot off the press this was. You've literally, Hannah stayed here till really late last night to the point that she was in the studio and the channel manager of Lifestyle came in and said, Hannah, you need to go. We're, we're, we're doing our show now. <laughs> it's the next channel at five o'clock. And Hannah was like, but I need to make sure this is all booked in, ready for today's show. There's a lot going on today. Half a metre of each, remember? Half a metre, whole metre of Moda quilting weight cottons, £9.99. This is too good, too, too good. Um, all the single figures, all the single figures, single figures on this bundle. Um, all of these are gonna sell out. It's a matter of how quick you can be. Now, normally I, I'd go to the menu, I'd tell you how you get in touch, I'd show you pre-order, but there's something that's way too exciting to, uh, to wait any longer. It's very, very exciting. Oh my word, how have we not used this music before? This, oh, she says I don't know how to stop it. This sounds like a film, doesn't it? This one's called Tension One. I wonder what Tension Two. Come over and you press stop. That was a nice little fade out. Right. Look at what is back. So, I didn't even get a look in at these first time round. I heard about the pink rotated cutting mat that we had hundreds of and sold out in one showing of. Now, 
if, if, if we have enough to go around, oh my word, it'll be a miracle today because there are so many people who I know want this. And look, the big one as well. We've got the 18 inch. We've got the 18 inch, um, which is so useful. So, so useful. I'd get them both. I'd get them both. Now, already the reason that we've come to this before we go to the website and things like that is because there's already people who've gone to the website and have spotted them this is the reason hannah was still here at 5 p.m last night this is the reason because she saw that they'd landed in the warehouse and we nabbed them for our show this morning waited for them to all be booked in they've literally look how hilarious they've literally just arrived in during the early bird hot off the press it's very, very exciting for a number of reasons. Are you ready? The graphics are live. The pink rotating cutting mat is back in stock. Buy it now is my word of wisdom. Um, both of our guests today came in and went, oh, I love this cutting mat. I've got this at home. This is brilliant. Honestly, if you do not own this cutting mat already, today's the day to get it. So you could use it as a normal cutting mat. It locks into place on the back. You've got this sort of, uh, sort of fill. Uh, how do I describe it? Like a foamy back that's going to adhere to your work surface. And then what you do is you pull these little, um, well, you push those in the little uh, circles there. So you can pull them out to lock them, push them in to release them, and then it turns into a very, very handy tool for your workroom because it's got a full 360 rotation. So the reason that I think that this is an absolute must for your workroom is if you're working with a, ro uh, with a rotary cutter, firstly, it's essential to have a cutting mat. Two, you always have to cut away from yourself. Never ever cut towards yourself. Rotary cutters are extremely sharp and we'd hate to hear about you know any, any incidents that happen. So just be very, very aware that you're always cutting away from yourself. With that in mind, I have seen some peculiar sort of body positions, some really strange yoga moves, trying their best to not cut towards themselves. So you see lots of this, lots of this, whereas actually, if you're cutting and you want to keep your fabrics in the right place and cut safely, you can position, say, your squares, cut in half, spin it, your fabric stays exactly in the same place, and then you can cut again. If you're cutting lots of half square triangles, for example, oh my word, it is a game changer. There are so many of our guest designers, Susie Duncan being one, Emma Brasfield, of course, who is um, in today as well. I know Sally Ann Harrison asks every single time she comes in for rotating cutting mat. There are loads of our guest designers that love these. Hello, Kim. Good morning, Vicky and crew. Wow, Hannah, you are the best. Uh, got the early birds uh, and just about to rummage through the pre-orders for more bargains love Kim honestly Kim there are so many treats today there are amazing treats um, well done everybody who's put these straight into your baskets we've been waiting for these for ages I love it I love 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 the pink colorway as well you're gonna see it later on with Susie definitely I think Emma might steal it as well you never know it is a really beautiful beautiful mat it looks nice in your workroom as well doesn't it being pink I love it. It's good that you can lock it. I didn't know that you could lock these until very, very recently. So it comes obviously in, in two parts. I haven't broken it. They come in two parts. Um, then you slot them together like this, look, and then you pull these out. That is now locked into place. So you've now got a stable cutting mat for any of your other sort of cutting. Don't get me wrong. The large cutting mat, if you do larger projects, bigger blocks, get it the larger ones i've never seen before it's the first time i've seen the 18 inch cutting mats uh, i didn't even know that they exist and i'll always recommend getting the biggest cutting mat that your space will allow so these uh i wouldn't say oh get one or the other this one is really handy for your larger cutting this one's more portable if you're going to classes and workshops if you're working with pre-cuts maybe you're working with a 10 inch charm pack and you don't need to get an 18 inch cutting mat out that's you know a bit more cumbersome than this one which is just 12 inches um You've got all of your important angles on here, so you can line your fabrics up with your 45 degree angle, so you can cut everything nice and square. When you're squaring up, it's handy to be able to have the grid on there, as well as your 45 degree angle. You've got a 65 degree angle there, and you've also got your, sorry, 60 degree and a 30 degree angle as well. Now, this isn't a direct comparison, 
Um, this is a rotating cutting mat, yes. It's green, it's branded Alpha. Um, 30 centimeters. So that's the same size as this. There it is, 36.29. Are you kidding? That one is branded. Ours isn't an Alpha, ours is Quilted Bear. Ours is 16.99. Ours is pink as well though, ours is pink. We can't do a direct comparison because that's 36 pounds and ours is pink. We did find a pink one. It is 13 inches square. Oh, come on, what's an inch between friends? 13 inch square. It's 21.49, 47 to be exact. It's a different brand, different brand again. If you want that brand, if that's your brand, you go for it. £21.47. I'm just showing you what is available because I do that all the time. I mean, let's face it. If ever I see something, I might check on, on Amazon, on that Long River site because I can get, you know, quite speedy delivery. But for the sake of a couple of days, this will still come to you in three to five working days. And you're paying one PMP for the whole day. If you bought any of the early bird bundles already, get yourself your cutting mat. It's only £16.99. Um, again, not a direct comparison, but another rotating cutting mat, same size at 12 inches, 26 pounds. Honestly, I have no idea. When, when I saw this on Hannah's schedule, I said, hang on, we can take this to 16.99. I don't know why I've always had in my head that these are about 25 pounds, 23 pounds. To be able to get a rotating cutting mat for under 17 pounds, I think that this is a must for your workroom. Um, we're not the only channel along this corridor that are going to want this. I was just talking to, to Leslie from Santangle, who um, we were going through the show. And she went, oh, oh, they're brilliant. I love the, uh, the, the rotating cutting mat. She does lots of bag making. In fact, she was on yesterday's show doing bag making. We're really hoping to get them on the show here because they're amazing if you don't know Santangle already from Hobby Maker. But it wouldn't surprise me, now Kat's over there as well, that she's gonna be stealing our rotating cutting mats. Um, 16.99 is an amazing price after doing a bit of a comparison as well. Well, I don't know if you've got it. A third of the stock's gone. I'm, ho I'm hoping we've got enough to go around today because um, we've got a really good stock actually, but a third of it has already gone this morning. Come on then. We have not seen the 18 inch rotating cutting mat for four months. We're about to launch the graphics. I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, I had no idea that you could even get an 18 inch cutting mat. It's brilliant, isn't it? Again, it's got the lock on the base, um, so you can have it exactly the same, however you wish. If you want to lock it into place, you can. It's actually got four locks, which is really good, because that will make it really, really stable, really, really secure. And then, oh, hang on, fact, I've just locked it. Um, so you lift them all up, unlock it all, and now you have got a full, again, 360 rotating cutting mat that is 18 inches. I mean, this is another brilliant price. When you think about how much good quality self-healing cutting mats can cost, we've seen the prices of the smaller ones online. As soon as you start to look at these larger sizes, and this is going to be brilliant if you're squaring up larger blocks, if you are cutting larger cuts. I always say get the biggest Matt, your space will allow. Chris says, uh, well, just ordered the large cutting mat and spotted the lizard. So that slipped into my basket too. Should be a good day. Have you spotted him? Now, it's technically a dinosaur, Chris, but it could be a crocodile, could be a lizard, could be a salamander, could be a gecko. <gasps> Whatever you want him to be. Look at him. I will show you on pre-order in a bit and uh, we'll have a, a bit of a closer look in a moment. But as Chris pointed him out, going to be a good day. I told you it's going to be a good day. £32.99. Open your order nice and early with the cutting mats. It is busy, busy, busy and it's really difficult for us to source. Um, I'm thinking back from when I started in the craft world. Um, how long ago was that, Hannah? Probably four or five years ago. Um, are you... Uh, had it says ages ago, you're very old, you know, you're very, very old. No, it was only four or five years ago, but I'm thinking, I've never seen this size. I don't think we ever had it in our previous life of sewing quarter. Don't think we did. Oh, hang on, have we got a message on Facebook? Baffer. 
I paid more for my pink rotating cutting mat and it's the same one as yours. Just saying, just saying. Um, this is it. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I never really sort of bang on about the price here because I think it's more about the fact that we are a community. We've got an amazing team upstairs who are experts in the industry, who are sourcing you the quality products. We've got incredible guest designers. We talk to them. We get in what they recommend, what they've been using for years and years. We have free tutorials every single day. There's loads on our YouTube channel. So for me, this isn't a shopping channel. This isn't necessarily just your ordinary place that you go and purchase things like a shop. We've got so much more than that. So when I can also say to you, not only are you getting the, the demonstrations, the expert knowledge, the, the, the quality products and the live shows every day, you're also getting a better price than what we found elsewhere. I love it. It's, it's exciting. Look, I mean, it's big, isn't it? Let me show you the difference. There's the pink one. The pink one doesn't come in any other sizes. We haven't got the pink 18 inch. The only way of getting the 18 inch cutting mat is in the green colorway. Um, 12 inch is your regular size. I mean, it looks very small there, it's not. This is the regular size that we're sort of familiar with with cutting mats. It's the same sizes that we had with the green one uh, previously. But this is a really big size. And you know, to be able to get this posted to you as well with one post in packaging of just 395, I think is brilliant. One, because of the weight. Two, because of obviously the size of it, it has to be sort of stored flat. That's the only thing I would say is even if you don't have a designated craft room, don't worry about the size of your cutting mat. Store it under the sofa pop it under the bed, uh, put it into a drawer, deep drawer. I mean, as long as you're storing it flat, it will last the test of time. What's that, Hannah? No, postage. How much would your postage cost? If you bought this from a shop and you think, right, I'm gonna post that to a friend, you take it to the post office, it's an awkward sort of size, isn't it? It's definitely not gonna fit through that little, you know when they give you like a little letterbox that they try and post it through and you try and squeeze everything in. Um, but the great thing is, is this also looks into place. So if you do just want a stable, you know, static cutting mat, you can as well. Okay. Sorry, I've just seen my preview screen. Buffer, um, I, I know that you were saying about the pink one, you paid more. It actually terrifies me that there are people out there that might go out and buy this combo. Now, it's not a direct comparison because it includes a rotary cutter. It includes a rotary cutter as well. It's an 18 inch. It's quilted bare, it's the same one. A, ro a rotating cutter, uh, uh, sorry, a rotary cutter though isn't Hang on, what's the difference? What's the difference in price? 60 pounds? You don't pay 60 pounds. And it's reduced. That's excessive, isn't it? I mean, if you want to go for that, you can. But I think because um, they're not in everybody's sewing shops and things like that, that people struggle to get them, they automatically think, oh, well, that must be the price. Oh my word, and I could charge what I want if you're the, the shop owner. There you go, because they're hard to get. Um, you might wait until, you know, Festival of Quilts, or you might be waiting uh, for certain shows. But then you've got to lug them around the NEC, haven't you? You've got to carry that home, maybe, on the train. Um, it's all one PMP today. It will be delivered straight to your door. Uh, they are so, 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 so useful. Whether you're working with your 12-inch or whether you're working with your 18-inch, they both have their, their, their positives. Um, so if you can afford to get both, oh, my word, absolutely go for it if you can. Well done if you've managed to get yours because we've waited over four months to get this one back in stock. I've never even seen it. Linda, Linda said, morning Vicky, I've got my 12 inch pink mat checked out too, you pee. Oh, I'm so pleased Linda, because I, I've never even seen this. I heard that we had hundreds come in. Um, I thought because there were hundreds in stock, they would last for me to come in the next week. No, sold out in one showing. So if you do want it, I think it's gonna be a repeat today again. Uh, Hannah was overjoyed. She, I walked through the door early this morning. Hannah said, I've got some very exciting news for you. I thought she was going to tell me, like, Steph had proposed to her the way, the, the excitement level in her voice. I thought it was going to be like a real, you know, life changing thing. Um, even Paul, little Paul, was excited when she told him about the cutting mat um, yesterday. So I, I must say, Hannah was very excited because she knows what a game changer it is. 
Oh, really? Did you tell Kat? Um, Kat and Hannah, well, Kat was producing Homie Maker yesterday. Hannah decided to go through to tell uh, Kat that the pink rotating cutting mat was in whilst she was live on Hobby Maker. How funny. She loved it, loved it. Um, hello, Nora, she just went, good morning, Vicky. I bought the 18 inch square. Last time it was on, it's fantastic size. Have a good day. I've got loads going on today, honestly. Loads, loads and loads and loads. I've got two of my favorite guests. We've got lovely Susie Duncan, who is back with me in half an hour's time, nine o'clock. Have a look at this with the Liberty cushion that's behind me. Um, we've got two different colorways, a beautiful way of using Liberty Fat Quarters. Uh, can I just say as well, when was the last time we saw Liberty Fat Quarters? It's been ages and ages, I can't even record. Uh, so that's nine o'clock with Susie Duncan. 10 o'clock, I did show you, oh, the unicorn bag. This is amazing. My goddaughter, Robin, needs this in her life. She would absolutely love it. Look at the glitter PUs. I think we all know a little girl or boy that would absolutely love a unicorn bag. That is so, so cool. I say that, a lot of big kids out there as well. I'd like one of these. This is a really lovely size as well. They, um, if you go to concerts nowadays, you can only take in concert, what do you call them, gigs? If you go to a gig, if you go to a concert, if you go to, you know, I went to watch Harry Styles and Little Mix and I would love to have taken this bag with me because it's the ideal size. Jazz up your outfit a bit. It's really fun, isn't it? I know lots of people that would love these. They are absolutely gorgeous. The fabrics are amazing. Um, now, I asked Hannah earlier on, I said, one, how much are the kits? Because Emma has sourced the most beautiful hardware. She's also got onto our team to get these fabrics in. Because if I'm being brutally honest with you, this is a lot of the times that our guest designers come in with their sort of, um, what do you call them when they make them up? Uh, I was going to say like protege, but it's not that word, is it? What's it called? Well, samples, they make their samples, they make their original things. We'll go with samples, it's not the word I was thinking of. But they, um, they, <laughs> they, they come in with their samples and we can't source the fabrics or there's not enough of the fabrics to be able to put together kits. And sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, because I love your sample, it's brilliant. We managed to do it this time and the kits, Hannah's saying, the prices are amazing. For how much you're getting in there, you've got this gorgeous silver cork look, you've got all of these glitter PUs, you've got beautiful lining, you've got an amazing zip that's like a rainbow zip. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look, you've got a strap there as well. In fact, I'm going to put the strap on so I can um, wear it. Uh, so we've got Sleeping Peacefully for the Unicorn. This is the music that's going to be behind the uh, unicorn show later on with Emma. It's not going to be off-putting at all, is it? Hannah's got this sound desk, which I've encouraged you to use today. So you've got the adjustable strap as well. Right, so that's... I haven't even got through half the menu yet, have I? Here we go. Right, so that's a unicorn bag. I got very excited about the unicorn bag. We've also got 11 o'clock... Susie's brand new lap star quilt. It's called A Star Is Born. I adore the fabric choices. We've got four different colorways, um, pattern as well. Secondary patterns coming through. It's very clever. It's almost like a large sort of pinwheel, isn't it? It's brilliant. Uh, and then at 12 o'clock, right, just so you know, the pencil case is already selling out. I knew this had happened because we have never seen anything like this. As soon as she got this out in the office, every single one of us gathered round going, wow oh my gosh this is brilliant even you know people from the other channels so when that happens i know it's going to be an early sellout look it's a full dinosaur or lizard or salamander whatever you want to make it into i know someone's made one of these into a crocodile before um they're brilliant it's first time we've had them on sewing street and they are amazing emma what has she got in here She's got a pens, you could keep your, your, your colour, colouring pens, your felt tips, you could keep your uh, crochet needles in here, your marking tools in here. If you're making this for, for a child as well, I mean, they always, if you know children that like going out on adventures and collecting little bits and bobs, turn up with them and they can collect things, or how cool is that to take to school? Um, Hannah, I bet we could fit some of our snacks in here as well, couldn't we? That's a good little snacks. 
Also, Lou, who is our designer upstairs, has created the most amazing panels, especially exclusively for us. So if you've seen this on Studio uh, 77's uh, website before or Instagram, never done these colorways they're exclusive panels to us and they're amazing if you want to start shopping i'd get ahead because that's not until 12 o'clock and the boxes as well are on at 12 o'clock i would shop ahead if i were you click on watch live um, and scroll down you can message us in the studio here on the website um there's today's show deals there the the deals we've already put through oh my gosh there's already loads loads of people shopping this morning click on to pre-order um there's the brand new moda collection we've also got oh some batiks a bit christmasy actually there uh moda christmas batiks don't mind if i do um we've also got there some wadding cutting mats there's a the cushion looks beautiful liberty cushion how opulent less than 30 pounds as well really good price really really good price a few different colorways the blues are coming up as well um okay now if you're making loads of these unicorn bags there you go there's the kit so you get the pattern you get the hardware there's bundles Look, you get your glitter PUs, you get your silvery cork that we've got here, um, and a pink lining as well. So the kits are gorgeous. Um, you get all the hardware included. Hang on, 44.99 is amazing for how much you're getting there, because you've got the pattern, so you can make more. It's all iridescent, like unicorn hardware as well, and the zip, it's gorgeous. Uh, there's your instruction on its own. There's the quilt. Susie Duggar's brand new quilt, only $53.99. I told you you've got some really good colours. That's going to look lovely. That's the demo uh, colourway. We'll see that making up. Great skill build as well, because I think you've got three or four, three different blocks there. And these are the storage baskets as well, the baskets um, or boxes, uh, the Valentina box that we're going to be making up. We've all got fat quarters to store, haven't we? There's a pattern on its own and some bundles as well. I'll tell you what, for $16.99, that's great, isn't it? You should make some of these, because um, they'd be lovely with um, fat quarters in. Our fat quarter bag always sells out. So um, yeah, grab those, and there you go. 77, Studio 77, dino pencil case, so cool. And look at the panels. <gasps> got the greens, got the purples, that's the one that we've seen the sample made up of. And that's the day, that is the day gonna be wild it's gonna be jump out do you mind if I just keep wearing this because I love it it's so cute isn't it <laughs> um, right are you ready for a brand new Moda collection why not before we do that you've got another treat you didn't tell me about this right Hannah just bought this out she says I found this as well do you want another treat <gasps> I've never even seen this Oh, is this, it's not batik, is it? It's printed, but it looks like, like a tie-dye or batik. Oh, my word. It's a panel. Do you know what I would do? I'd buy a panel just as it is and quilt it as it is. That would look lovely in your lounge, actually, Hannah. Because it would look like you've pieced it, wouldn't it? You literally could just stitch in the ditch across all of these lines, quilt it as it is, or make four massive cushions. Oh, I love that. That's only ten ninety nine as well. There you go. We've crashed it. We're supposed to be thirteen ninety nine, but because it's payday, because it's Friday, because Haley's away, um, Hannah's saying because my boss is on annual leave, I am now the boss. She says that's how it works, isn't it? While the cat's away, the mice will play, or while the boss is away, the cats will play. Is what Hannah thought was the saying. Um, I do love the colour of this. It's like a golden, beautiful ochre. Very on trend. Um, let me just grab a tape measure. More people have got this in in baskets than we have availability, just so you know. Oh no, this is the one that um, Rebecca Reed melted. <laughs> let me just see um, how big these squares are because you could always, yeah, that's what I thought. They're, um, they are five in, uh, six inch six inch squares as well so they're lovely if you want to if you want to cut these up if you want to use them in different projects you absolutely can but as a panel that is brilliant i would cut that maybe into four is it gone another treat sold out another treat sorry charlie i will come back there we go um just you've got to be on the ball today because you never know when things like that might happen 
She's in, she's in a, a good mood today, oh, Hannah. Brand new Moda collection. This is beautiful, really, really beautiful. Now you get six fabrics and two panels in the mega bundle. Um, I'll open out the panels in a second so you can see, but firstly, look at this color palette. Isn't it beautiful? I think this is a great sort of transition between the summer and the autumn. I think this is gonna be really, really lovely for home wares. It's gonna be beautiful for quilting because you've got different scales of print. You also have two panels included um, for 64.92. Let me open this out because Look at this. Oh, you know the Baffers watching, don't you, Dawn? Um, Dawn, I love that on the, the Facebook chat, you just let everybody know, you know, what's available. Yeah, you are right, Dawn. Becky, Quilter's Tape is on pre-order. Grab some whilst you can. Becky always stocks up, you see, on a Quilter's Tape. It's on pre-order if you want to grab it before it sells out. Um, I love these. I think these would be beautiful to just frame them as little artwork pieces. You could do some embroidery over the top, couldn't you? Uh, so you've got the purple, and then you've also got this lovely sort of sage green. If you make to sell little cushions that you could put lavender inside uh, and do uh, sort of hanging, um, hanging little cushions for the home to put on the on the back of doors, they look lovely. Oh, look at that as well. Nice for um, notebook covers. You could do personalized notebook covers, couldn't you? There's some really, really beautiful images. They're like botanical drawings, aren't they? They're like with watercolors, they're so pretty. You could just use, you know, nine of them for a cushion front or four of them for a smaller cushion, little scatter cushions. three meters plus two panels. Sorry, I'm just giggling to myself. Um, oh, look at this. <gasps> that is gorgeous, isn't it? I think this one, are we gonna be able to do these by the half meter? Oh yes, we are. That would be a lovely blind, wouldn't it? That'd make an amazing Roman blind, in fact. Remember you're getting half a meter of each of these. Who's that? Who's in the gallery? Oh, right, you must have heard. Scott's heard about the rotating cutting mat that's just come back into stock. Isn't it brilliant? I mean, not only have we got the pink, but we've also got the massive 18 inch one as well. Oh, it's gonna be one of those days today. It is very, very exciting. Scott RMD's just heard that the cutting mat's come in to check that we knew that it was in. We're already on it, we're already on it. Don't you worry. That is hilarious. Uh, so, not only have you got both of these panels, you've got that brand new Moda Iris fabric. The greens are lovely as well, aren't they? Was that also coffee? Was that also coffee that was mentioned? Oh, they said that we'd had a coffee. <laughs> I thought he offered us a fancy coffee. Um, hi team, hi Susie Duncan, gorgeous quilt as always, says Dawn, good luck today Emma, uh, but your kits will sell themselves, loving the new colourways for everything, hello my Dawn, how are you? Half the stock of the pink rotating cutting mat has gone, and half the stock of the big bundle, brand new iris, wild iris collection, um, should we do the panels on their own? Have you ever been to Lavender Fields in the Cotswolds anybody? It's a lovely day out, really, really lovely. That's what it reminded me of. I think I, I keep seeing lots of people on Instagram going recently. I think it's only open for a few months of the year. Um, 9.99, there's lots of different places like that though, isn't there? I think there's one in Pershaw actually, anyone in Worcestershire, called Confetti Fields. It's just lots of wildflowers that you can all walk through and it's lovely. You'd like the la lavender one, it's really pretty. If you want the, um, the green colorway, it's called Lichen for just 9.99. And once again, bearing in mind, let's have a look at how many squares you've got here. And I love the background. It's slightly sort of mottled actually. Be beautiful to be able to do. Um, you could do a two by three cushion, like a long one like that. Like that, like a bolstery style cushion. A long cushion would be nice. 
yeah good idea or how about using them if you were to um, cut these in strips you could have them as almost like hanging wall art couldn't you it would be really nice like Japanese wall hangings if you were just to cut out your panels you could make these as central squares in a block on a quilt so you could do like halfway square triangles all around them or something and you could build up. They could, they'd be great for cornerstones. There's so much that you'll be able to use these squares for. Um, I am gonna get the measure, again. I'm gonna measure them and see how big the squares are because to me they look like five inches. Just shy, here we go, let's have a look. Just shy of five inches. So if you were to take, because your background's so beautiful as well, if you were to take they are definitely, um, yes, yeah, so look, that's five inches there. So if you were to just take a slightly more on the, the, um, the width here, you'd have lovely five inch squares. They'd be really lovely for any of your, your, your charm pack patterns. Maybe cathedral windows, absolutely. There's loads that you could do. £9.99, remember because this is a panel, it will already come cut like this. It will already come pre-cut into panels. How is it already quarter to nine? How is it already that time? Oh my word, I forgot how much time flies here. It's madness, isn't it? Half the stock has gone of the panel. Mega Bundle's only got two. Mega Bundle now done for the last two. Did anybody watch the opening ceremony last night for the Commonwealth Games? If um, Hannah has convinced you to travel to Birmingham uh, for the summer holidays, there's a lot going on, a lot going on all around Birmingham and means there's a lot of road closures, just, just to be aware. I should really check this because I'm a bit concerned about next week. I've got two days on Hobby Maker in the morning and I think one day here and I'm sure that I've got the um, triathlon outside my house. <laughs> maybe I have to take part in it to get out. Yeah, maybe I have to pretend I'm in the race. Oh dear, right, 999. This time in your purple colourway. But can you see the background? It's like a lovely mottled purple. So pretty. <gasps> Hannah, I've just spotted your complimenting bundle. This goes beautifully. Because we'll show this in a moment. If you're just getting yourself a panel at 999, and then this bundle here, um, it's gonna go a really long way, isn't it? So not only have you got these beautiful sort of botanical wildflower watercolour prints, you've then got like a, a really slim lilac border, then you've got the green, and so they all tie in together. The whole collection is very well thought out. Brand new to us here today. Out oh, today by the looks of things. Just £9.99. A half metre. Yes, do let us know if you are following the Commonwealth Games. Are you going to any of the events? Anybody here? Ah, oh, Charlie's been to do some filming. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, brilliant. £9.99 for your panel. So in uh, where I live in Leamington, they've got um, like a big festival in the bandstand. They've got a festival going on every day from 5 pm till 10, so you can watch things on the big screen. They've got like food trucks, they've got a big double decker bus that's turned into a bar. Like it's really cool. I went yesterday with Maisie and they had um, a steel pan uh, show on, like musicians. They also had. Um, a fitness class that we're doing demonstrations. You can go and take part in your own bowls and things like that. It was really good. I love the community. Even if you don't like sports, I love the atmosphere of these sort of festivals. Even though Hannah doesn't like sports, she likes, you know, the, oh, she likes the arts projects that are alongside it as well. I see. £9.99. Hannah's all about the arts, you see. She's all for the arts, not the sports, but the arts. Okay, they're your two um, panels. Shall we do the complimentary bundle now? Because I did show it to you and it's a really good price. It's a really good price. So, name the colours that you've chosen, Hannah. I think that this one's your Misty Blue, isn't it? Oh, <gasps> Misty Blue! I love it. Misty Blue. 
Imperial Moss, Imperial, Lilac and Light Tan, which is mottled. Oh, what a gorgeous collection. Uh, the lilac as well is melange as well. Can you see that it's got this sort of mottled effect? Oh, great panel as well. Can I just show you? Great complimentary bundle because it goes perfectly. Your greens, you've really got the moss, the misty blue. She went very, very hard. Hannah went actually to physically to the warehouse, got out all of the collection, got out the bolts and physically picked out because it's really difficult, isn't it? If you go onto our website and just look at thumbnail pictures, how you can picture you know what colors are going to go and sometimes it's very very difficult to see what colors from that picture are going to work with it so the experts have done it for you uh, when i say the experts hannah's done it for you she is an expert she's an artiste she's picked out the right colors for you remember if you're getting any of these add to your order the rotating cutting mats whilst they're in stock um, are there any of the motor bundles maybe don't know it's worth having a look so in here you're getting two and a half meters can I just throw caution to the wind even if this collection isn't for you what a beautiful color palette that is on its own I think this would be really lovely to do some applique you could do some of like the highlands of Scotland it reminds me of a Delphine-esque colourway. Her applique projects would look amazing in this. You could do like a Highland Cow applique, couldn't you? These colours would look so beautiful. It's a really nice bundle. Even if Hannah does say herself she's agreeing, it is a very nice bundle. Treat yourself. There's sometimes that I think you see complementing bundles and I can tell it's a complementing bundle from a collection and I think, do you know what? It only really works with a certain fabric collection. Whereas this is a lovely standalone bun uh, bundle as it is. I think you should take note of this one. And I do think that it's... I think it's, I think it's this misty blue. It ties it together beautifully. Let me take this out, look. See what I mean? Just adding in that misty blue, ties in these greens with the purples with, oh, it just works. Highland thistles is what I'm thinking. I don't know if it's because I've got the wildflowers in my head, but it is a lovely bundle. 23 pounds, 35 pence, and that's for two and a half meters. You know I always champion your bundles, but that one is a good one, Hannah. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell everybody that. Okay. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, Hannah always comes up trumps with brilliant bundles. They always work. Becky's already put it away. She's literally like looking at me like, I've put it away because I said, that don't work, Hannah. I'm just going to tell you here and now. We go through things in the morning. We have a good look. We go through things together. We do a bit of an elimination process because we've got a lot on today's show. And I said, this one works so, so well. The other one, it didn't work quite as well, did it? And you'll agree. You'll agree. It didn't work quite as well. But that is gorgeous. So, yeah. Didn't make the cut, did it? Um, so I don't want you to think we just throw things in willy-nilly. There's a lot of thought, a lot of planning that goes into the shows that we put together for you. Um, right, should we do a bit of petite Christmas? Oh, no, go on. What were you going to do? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. I haven't shown you these by the half metre. What we'll do is we'll whiz through these really quickly. This ends in 13. It's FEW113. Um, the smaller scale print, the smallest scale print actually. Already people shopping on pre-order. It hasn't even been part of a, um, a project yet. I'm seeing this for bag makers. Half a metre of this and your solid bundle. Wow, good look gorgeous. How about making Wendy Orlando's foldable tote bags? That'd be really lovely. You just need half a metre, uh, you know, of each lining and outer fabrics, a couple of poppers, that's it. Seven pounds forty nine a half meter for your iris twigs and cream. Seven forty nine a half meter. Now this is your chance to buy as much as you want, and it'll be cut off the bolt for you to whatever size you want. So if you are thinking like me, home decor, um, Roman blinds, covering lampshades. 
I want to get, if you go to Festival of Quilts, they uh, often sell the lampshade sets there, actually, don't they? So if you go there, get yourself a lampshade set, buy yourself half a metre of this, you can make a beautiful big lamp, couldn't you? I want one of those really big oversized ones. Oh, that'd be lovely, really lovely. Especially with the, um, the light background, your light's going to flood through really nicely if you are making your own. Um, so we also have this one. Let's go with the other light background with the large leaves. This is 192. It's the one that I actually think would be really nice as a blind. Big cushions. <gasps> it looks very designer. Pipe, piping around the edge, maybe. Kitchen makes. Um, Hannah, would you come with me on Catherine Wright's upholstery course? I really, really want to do it. And it was my New Year's resolution. And we're now July. I'm now running out of time a bit, aren't I? But I really, really want to book on to an upholstery course. Because how beautiful would this be as a footstool? How lovely would this be covered on a, a chair? Just a, a, the pad on a chair. Upcycling. We're always thinking a bit more about, obviously, upcycling, reusing, giving something a new lease of life. This would be really nice for that. Cushions for garden sets or conservatory. Maybe a long bench cushion. Let me show you what half a metre looks like because it's 112 wide, quilting weight cotton. So if you're using your right uh, interfacings, you could absolutely, even though it's not upholstery fabrics. I'm looking at this for cushions as well. You've got two cushion fronts there, really, haven't you? Even as a beginner, um, you don't need to, you know, invest I into too much money on fabrics. You don't need to worry about doing too much patchwork. That is a cushion front. Half of this is a cushion front, isn't it? Brilliant. This also comes with a green background. Oh, this one, or the green. Okay, only two metres once everybody's checked out of that. Only two metres. Um, these are all very, 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 very popular. I think it does it have a direction. I think it does look. I think, mm, does it? Yeah, I'd say it would. But it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't matter if you got one the wrong way around, I don't think. Oh, Jan saying that the quilting cotton uh, wouldn't have the strength for upholstery, it would wear quite too quickly. This is why I want to do a course, Jan. I want to learn. I really want to learn. I want to know how to, what to do and how to do it. So do you think you would need? What about like a footstool though? Do you think, you know, I'm thinking like a little footstool. You would let me know, Jan, won't you? I bet you do upholstery, don't you, Susie Duncan? The odd bit, yeah, the odd bit in there. I'd love to do it, I think it'd be brilliant. Even if you can't recover a, a chair or a stool, even just cushions on, on, or on a sofa, this would be really nice, really, really nice. Um, yes, honestly, wait till you get Susie's pattern home as well. We've got the most amazing Liberty bundles for you, but they'd look really lovely in these fabrics as well, wouldn't they? Um, now we have two, three more. Three more. Let's do the other print that we've seen, which is those vines. It's ending in 96. Just move that out of the way. Right, so this one, 7.49 half metre. We saw this in the cream earlier on. This is your wild iris twigs. Only three metres remaining. Do you know what? Normally when we get a collection in, it goes to air and then the remaining fabrics might go into bundles for projects. I don't think this is even going to get a look in on projects. It's all selling out. We're moving on. Uh, the cream background. Has the mega bundle sold out? Do you know, Hannah? Oh, technically one not checked out, but it is way oversubscribed. So if you've got the mega bundle in your basket, check out now. If you want the whole shebang now, you've seen that whole collection. Oh, remember that song? Who's that, Ricky Martin? Like a bit of Ricky Martin. What about happened to him? Pardon? He was on recently or something. Ricky Martin, was he? Ricky, I'm talking to Susie, but Becky's going like this. No, no. So I don't know what's happened to him, but I've got to stop talking apparently. <laughs> right, we've also got the green. Oh, 
Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Seven forty nine a half meter. Every single one of these now available by the half meter is very, very limited. Even if you're getting, you know, one of these half meters in complimentary bundle, gosh, it's going to go a long way. There's a lot you can do. Uh, I know I keep going on about that complimenting bundle, but it's one of my favourite I've ever seen. Perfect complimenting fabrics. Seven forty nine a half meter. Now, before we get Susie on. I did mention about the boutiques, so I will show you very quickly. Uh, they are on pre-order. They're all on pre-order. We've got two bundles. I've got this one with the stars. Now, Christmas in July last week was epic. It was brilliant. We don't normally do Christmas outside of scheduled shows, so grab these whilst you can if you've opened your order already, because how beautiful are all of these. Now, yes, they could be for Christmas. They don't have to be for Christmas. Uh, they're stars. Stars aren't just for Christmas, are they? Uh, you've got the greens, you've got burgundies. They are not prints, they are actual batik, so they are hand dyed. In fact, I'll show you the reverse of them. The reverse is plain. So you could choose to use partly this side. It's, it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're getting 10 fabrics there really, aren't you? If you think about it, because you can use the reverse. Um, but this gold metallic is lovely. It's not going to scratch off. It's not um, glittery at all. It's just like this beautiful metallic on the top. But it is hand dyed batik fabric. Already cut into meter pieces. It's moda, so you know the quality of it. Um, anything that you keep, anything that you uh, don't use of it, keep all your offcuts for quilting, uh, confetti quilting. Okay, so there's the stars bundle. We also have, I'm doing these quickly, but they're all on the website. Don't panic. The creams. Now, you did you call these Christmas? Okay, so this one is snowflakes. They don't need to be. They're foliage, aren't they? I wouldn't say that they're necessarily snowflakes. This one's got Christmas lights. I love it. Absolutely love it. Beautiful. Moda batiks. They're not printed. They are actual batiks. Twenty-three pounds and ninety-seven pence. Really good opportunity to get something a bit different for Christmas, isn't it? Half meters of each um, in a bundle. Twenty-three pounds and ninety-seven. There are more from this range on pre-order. If you do want to go and have a little bit of a look during the break, they're all there listed by the half meter. But if you want the bundles, it's great value for money. Um, we are coming back with Susie Duncan and with a brand new Liberty cushion. I tell you what, we can never get enough of Liberty and a brand new big cushion like this <gasps> works so well, doesn't it? It's gorgeous. Now, not only have we got it in pink, we've also got it in blue, which you're going to be seeing as well. Um, everybody who's just tuning in, have a good scout through the website over the next few minutes because there's so much going on today, including the rotating cutting mat back in stock, the pink one and the 18 inch big green one as well. So have a look at those, check out of your orders, don't go anywhere, we're back with Susie after this. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as the quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. 
And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Great day today. What a day to be watching. We've got so much going on for you today. Um, jam packed day now, back to back with um, Emma and Susie. Now, one thing that we were talking about with Emma and Susie this morning is the rotating cutting mats, how they're back in stock. And both Susie and Emma both have this in their workroom already. This very one. Uh, this one that I've got here is the 12 inch. Half the stock has now been checked out. Another quarter is in basket. It got booked, booked in yesterday in our warehouse at 5 p.m. Um, Hannah missed her first bus because of it, so she said, please appreciate it that I didn't get home till 7 p.m. because of this mat. <laughs> um, not trying to, you know, peer, not to pressure you or to rush you, but Hannah says, but I did arrive here at 6 a.m. I did get home till 7 p.m. So please buy it. <laughs> no, we thought that we'd have enough to, uh, to last. You know, we thought there was enough in stock. Hundreds of these came in stock. We thought there'd be enough to last us for a few days. But um, uh, absolutely make the most of it. We're so excited. And Hannah was so excited because she knew how quickly it sold first time around and how many people missed out. So as soon as she saw it back in, she's like, right, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting to make sure it comes in. Um, it is the rotating one as well full 360 rotation 12 inch square love it in pink it looks so beautiful we've seen it in green before it's the same one as the green but it's uh, in the pink this time just 16.99 
We're going to be talking rotating cutting mats whilst we're working with Susie. Speaking of Susie, look at what she's got for us. I tell you what, her designs are always beautiful. But as soon as you combine Susie Duncan Creative Designs and Liberty, it's a match made in heaven, isn't it? What a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous cushion. We have got the larger cutting mat, which Susie's going to be working with, um, which we'll show you in a little bit. So the pink that uh, Susie has made the cushion out of comes with your instructions, full instructions, because there's lots of beautiful patchwork on the front of this. And it is the perfect uh, one to be able to show off all of your gorgeous Liberty prints. Because they're also ditzy and floral, you're not losing any of the prints. They all complement each other beautifully. You've also got, of course, in here, your placement guide, your cutting guide, everything that you need to know. We'll go through this in a little bit with Susie and step-by-step -step instructions. Now, I can't remember the last time I talked about Liberty Fat Quarters. Uh, an official Liberty Fat Quarter pack, it's been ages. We've cut them sometimes, but to be able to do an official Liberty Fat Quarter pack, they are gorgeous. Um, they're all quilting weight, so uh, I know that sometimes you see pre-cuts and they can be the lawn weight, the lighter weight. These are quilting weight cottons, and they are so beautiful, aren't they? This is why Liberty is iconic. Uh, you're getting five fat quarters, official Liberty prints, and then um, it's from the flower show collection isn't it sunrise pink it's so so pretty and um, you also then have half a meter of your pink which is well we'll show you how we've used it but it's a half on the back of your envelope back and then also is your border uh, for your cushion so it just really draws the eye into those amazing liberty prints this was already selling on pre-order everybody loves this colorway what a statement cushion if you go to liberty and purchase a cushion from liberty I don't think you'd get any change out of £60, £70, if you're lucky, if you're lucky. And, I mean, this is hand-pieced. This is beautiful quilting weight quality. Um, this is bespoke to you. It's a bit different, isn't it? When, when I first started in the world of patchwork, you know when you start to get into a little bit of a, a rabbit, rabbit hole on the internet of um, what is quilting, what is patchwork? That is what you dream about, isn't it? That is dreamy Liberty patchwork. And it's achievable, it is achievable. Uh, Susie is going to hold your hand through it with your instructions, but we've also got today's demonstration as well. So any questions that you have or any, any um, worries that you may have, get your questions in. Susie designed it and she's here today to talk us through, but it's a beautiful big cushion. Finished size of it is... 20 inches. 20 inches. 20 inches. There you go. It's uh, Susie, it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I really love liked it. it. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. We've also got, I'll come to you in a second, we've got a few other bundles which I just want to introduce. Um, I've got the light blue or the misty blue. Misty blue, oh, as I said in the last hour, misty blue is my favourite. Misty blue. Um, you've got here your instructions for your 20 inch cushion full instructions it works so well in liberty but imagine doing it then in some of your other fabrics as well because you've got the pattern you're going to be able to make it as many times as you would like um this is a lovely colorway what do you think 29.99 you've got half a meter of your misty blue and then you've got all five fat quarters this time in that beautiful blue colorway Oh, they're going to look gorgeous together. I think this is the one that Susie's working with, actually. Is, so we'll yeah. start to see this all coming together. Just £29.99. I, I just find it really, really affordable as well. If you think about how much you pay for your fat quarters, think about how much your pattern is individually anyway. That's, um, I'm sure this is £10 anyway. So then you've got all of your fabrics included. Absolutely brilliant value for money. Um, we've got one other blue which is sort of your blues and yellows together. Uh, this is very summery, lovely for, I'm thinking like a garden room, mm. an accent chair that you've got in a conservatory or in a bedroom on a bed. Uh, don't get me wrong, because you've got those instructions, you can make multiple, you could make multiple. So pretty, isn't it? 
on the image on the website. I don't think it's the most flattering picture. Um, I think the blue is photographed very, very sort of solid. It's, it stands out quite a bit, but it's actually you can see in real life how well they all work together so beautifully. Twenty nine ninety nine. Did you take the pictures, Charlie? We have to tread carefully because um, Hannah's like saying, oh, pictures this, and then we realise, oh, it's probably Charlie who's sat next to us, who's taking the picture. <laughs> uh, the solid blue works really well. It's like a powder blue. It's really beautiful. It goes perfectly. Plus, you're getting your instructions, don't forget. Half square triangles, flying geese, and squares are all the techniques uh, that you're going to learn in this cushion. It's a nice... Um, beginner's patchwork actually and maybe you've mm. made a cushion that you've just done you know solid fabric and you're now wanting to do a patchwork cushion this would be a really really lovely first project to do actually and to do it in liberty is very bougie isn't it uh, we've got one other bundle to show you before we head over to Susie um, now this one this is really cool I love this fabric that's one of my favourite Liberty prints. I've seen this before. Can I open this out? Because I think we've got to see this. On the web, I think you only see the first fat quarter, which is that blue one. But actually, look at all of these that you get. And a fat quarter, remember, let me show you, is half of a half metre. Where are you off to? London. Quarter of a half metre. Quarter of a half metre, sorry. Quarter of a half metre. Um, Charlie's off to London on Friday. He says, I'm going to, uh, to Liberty. I'm going to go and show all my friends. Charlie, what have we done to you? What have we done to you? Honestly, he's, he's, got, he's got the bug. He's got the bug. So you have the blue. You also have, let me show you next to the yellow because it's going to work so, so well. You then also got this beautiful duck egg blue. It's lovely. You've got this one as well. Aren't they amazing? Twenty nine ninety nine, all five fat quarters. This is more sort of a bit more retro, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's got a bit of a vintage feel to it with some of these prints. With your gold as well, half meter, and your instructions for all for twenty nine ninety nine. If you've opened your order already, remember you've paid your P and P. Grab yourself another beautiful, beautiful cushion pattern. Uh, is the pattern available on its own? Do we know? Is the pattern available on its own? Yes, we can do it on its own. So don't get me wrong, if you can, get yourself your Liberty. Maybe you've already got a stash of Liberty. Maybe you've already got certain fabrics in mind that you want to use. Maybe you're William Morris. If you want to do it in brights, in solids, and there's so many different um, fabrics in your stash, I'm sure that you're gonna be able to use. It's a good stash buster, actually. Great instructions from Susie. You've got all your breakdowns in there. This actually, right, so what is the finish size of the block, Susie? Uh, the block comes up at around 18 inches. So I think this would be a really lovely quilt block, actually. Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. It, that's where it came from originally. I'd done a quilt um, for my sister, actually, and it um, included this block. I thought, well, why not have it as just a cushion? Yeah. So, but that's true of any quilt block. If you want to practice your quilt blocks, just make yourself a cushion. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But that is a really beautiful big cushion, isn't it? Now, you get a lot in this um, bundle as well, you don't do. you? Five fat quarters. Yes. So the one that Susie made it up with was this bundle, remember? Is there enough um, to be able to do the back of the cushion as well? We had a question yes. from Susan. Morning to you both, just seen the cushion. Uh, is the back uh, supplied as well? Yes. yes. It is, yeah, and I've used an over full cushion pad, which is why it's bulging out the back, I'm sorry. But um, yes, yeah, so the, the pattern is written for you to use only the fabrics in the kit. Mm -hmm. um, the only extra that you you might want is a backing fabric for your quilting. So just any old cotton that you've got lying around, old pillowcase would be fine. Um, but I've used some of the Liberty print on the reverse of the cushion, which means that your cushion becomes a reversible cushion as oh. well. Because then you, you know, if you want to turn it round just for a change, you can. Okay, it's two colours, but you could even patch the back if you wanted to as well. Mm -hmm. You've got enough leftovers. But if you wanted to make more than one cushion, mm -hmm. or you wanted to do something extra with the fabric that's left over, don't use your 
print fabric for the reverse, just get some more plain mm -hmm. and add that instead. Mm -hmm. And um, then you'll have leftovers for you to do other things with. And even the binding, I mean, it's so beautiful. The attention to detail, you've got this border and the binding. Yeah. So what blocks are we looking at here? I mentioned you've got flying geese, did you say? Yes, yeah, so you've got half square triangles and flying geese and squares. That's all it's made up of, um, just in different combos, different arrangements. So you get that sort of um, zigzag effect mm -hmm. on the sides. So depending on how you choose your colours, it can either look like an arrow, it can look like a flower head, so I was really, that's why I've called it crossed floral, because I wasn't quite sure <laughs> what to call yeah. it, because you've got a cross in the middle as well. Um, but it's, it's just a very easy pattern to put together. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, as you said, if you are a beginner, it's a great one to learn half square triangles and flying geese. You're not going to make thousands of them mm -hmm. um, or even hundreds, but it's a really good way to practice as well. Well, that's it because a lot of patterns will call for half square triangles and flying geese. Yeah. And a lot of them patterns kind of presume that you kind of know how to do them. Yeah. So, or like you say, it's very daunting if you pick up a pattern, a quilt pattern that says, right, you're going to need 80 of those, 150 yeah. of those. It's daunting. So start yourself with a cushion. You've got beautiful squares. It shows off the Liberty Prince. And I know you're a Liberty gal, aren't you? I am, yes. yes. These collections are beautiful. Yeah, so most of the collections are mid, uh, the flower show collections, various ones. So this is the sunrise one we're looking at now. We've mm -hmm. got the, um, uh, we had the uh, midsummer one in there as well. We've also got a bit of Artist Home, which is the one I'm going to be using, the blues with the misty blue. Do you blue. have a favourite? Do I have a favourite? Yeah, every time there's a collection comes out, I say, oh yeah, that's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what I, I think, why Liberty is a timeless co um, collection across the board is the fact that they're constantly revisiting archives. Um, I'm, I love history. I really love the history of design as well. But I... I, I really admire Liberty for going back to the beginnings, revamping designs, reconfiguring artwork, just looking around the Liberty buildings and seeing what is there we have in this superb store that we can incorporate into our story. And all of their fabrics tell that story and that journey of the Liberty history. And that for me is why it makes it so special. And to make a piece that I can keep in my own home that tells that story and continues that story is even better. Oh, absolutely. It's such an amazing talking point, isn't it? And it goes without saying, if you go into that store, which we all love, Charlie, have you been to the Liberty store before? Wait till you see the prices oh. of the cushions. Wait till you see the prices of anything. Yeah. Um, I, I just love to go. It's a spectacle. It's amazing. And you might get yourself a little treat. But uh, to be able to say that you can make these amazing Liberty cushions, uh, hand piece by you, I think it's really special. Um, so you're going to be working with the Artist I Home am, Kitchen. Yes. I've tripped you a, a yes. quarter pack there to yeah, have a look at. Yeah, because I've chomped mine <laughs> apart. Can so we have a look at it with yeah, you, you actually? To, yeah, go for it. I mean, it. I've got my... Actually, I haven't got much left of mine. So you see, it even comes wrapped. Oh, what do you do with your ribbons? So my ribbons, now I have several tips for this. Um, you know when you're measuring, so when I make a gift bag for a bottle, mm -hmm. um, this is really useful because you need to know the diameter of your bottle, the circumference of your bottle. So rather than get a tape measure out, I use a bit of ribbon and then just run it along my mat so I know how long it is. Oh, that's Why good, not yeah. do it with a Liberty one? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I keep one in my handbag as well so that I can mark, uh, measure things yeah. and I've got marks on it that I use in my heat diffusible pen. So if there's a specific thing I'm trying to match, I just mark it and then when I get home I can iron it off. Yeah, that's so good very idea. useful for that. The other thing that I do is um, use because it has a repeat of Liberty I just put a tab in somewhere if I've made a bag with it in there so people know it's got it's Liberty fabric yeah absolutely um, it's so these are just useful but you reverse if you're a, a, a multimedia crafter like me you can use the reverse you can stamp on it you can ink it you can do whatever you like with it so because it's cotton tape it's useful stuff absolutely so I just love that but 
<laughs> Slip it in, isn't it? I, I just, you know, you say if you make you a bottle bag, just literally tie it up. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. But it's nice if you're giving someone a, a gift made of liberty, just to put that as your ribbon, so that they know yeah. it genu is genuinely rib oh, well, liberty. Oh, it, it shows we're talking about quality product where we haven't even dived into yes, what sorry. is the product because we're talking about how it's wrapped up. <laughs> so this is the um, Fat Quarter collection from the Artist Home. This is the Blues colorway. And they work obviously in harmony with each other. You've got the blue tones running all the way through, but in different degrees of um, color hue. So mm -hmm. you can change the way the cushion looks. Uh, what I've done with this set, if I bring it in, I've made the middle dark and I've still kept the squares the, of the flowers dark but I've made the flower tops one of the dark tones and brought in almost, the, well, the sky for the flying geese are these lighter tones. So the whole thing then lifts, but mm -hmm. homes in on the center. So you can play around with the colors quite a lot. And that's your first task when you're starting out on this project. I've given you a, in the instructions, you've got a diagram showing you the layout and what I recommend, I've given you a page at the back, page seven, where you can make your own notes. And I would recommend that you say, okay, so my mid pink is going to be whatever. And you write yourself a list. I did mine on a photocopy because I hadn't. I have to keep my pattern clean for, <laughs> for here. <laughs> so um, I've just listed what F1, F2, F3, F4, F5 is with regard to the fat quarter bundle because then I can just reference the cutting guide and go all the way through and cut everything as I need it. Mm -hmm. um, but you've, you've got enough of each to be able to choose whichever you want as F1, F2, Brilliant. F3, F4, F5 is what I'm saying. So you can mess it all about. And, uh, and again, if you're not gonna use your decorative fabric for your back, then you've got even more left over. So, you can do loads oh yeah well a lady uh, was showing me how to make scrunchies the other day it's so easy and i thought yeah. oh my gosh imagine liberty scrunchies yeah. oh, so uh, cool. kerry said um good morning lovely love the liberty prints both looking fabulous um baffer said i was shocked at the price of the liberty cushions when i went into the shop so i bought the fabric and i made two for the price uh, that i made one cushion that you could buy, buy yeah. one cushion uh, instructions are available on their own nine pounds 99 your main graphic is for the pink colorway which Susie's already made up for us um, you're about to see the graphics though that Susie's working with the artist home which is the most popular actually is it I'm not surprised it, we're that time of year aren't we where we're all thinking coast we're thinking nautical mm -hmm. so we all go for blues so yeah I'm not surprised I, I love all of the colorways <laughs> so yeah it was oh, really hard to hard pick. pick yeah really hard so it was just, a, well, just send me them because I can't pick. <laughs> okay, so let's make half square triangles because that means that we can learn something new. Now, if you've got an add a quarter ruler, you can use an add a quarter, but I'm gonna show you if you haven't got an add a quarter because not everyone has that in their stash. You want this diagonal line, doesn't matter which diagonal you use, you're gonna use one. So I'm placing the quarter inch line, which Creative Grids neatly mark for you on all of their rulers. Whichever size you pick up, you will have this first quarter inch. And you're gonna place that on that diagonal line and then draw in along the edge of the ruler. And that gives me a sewing line a quarter of an inch away from that central diagonal. And I'm gonna repeat that the other way around. So quarter inch line on the diagonal and draw in my sewing lines. And then I'm gonna pair that with my Sally Ann fabric. And I'm gonna get a pin, which I conveniently hid under my pattern. There you go. So I do pin these together because you do, you're gonna be sewing up and down and you don't want the fabric to move because you'll get squiffy um, blocks. So I'm gonna do the, repeat that for this. So if you didn't see it the first time, you're gonna see it again. So quarter inch on the diagonal, mark either side. Now you don't have to mark them if you're good at sewing and judging your quarter inch, if you're 
good at that, then you don't need to. You just may mark them diagonal and, and so quarter either side. I tend to be someone who errs on the side of caution. And it's when you're doing a lot of sewing, it's easier sometimes to have that guide visually for you. Mm -hmm. And that's why I do this. So I'm just gonna do one more and then I'll mark the lighter fabric. Remember the friction pens come in all different colours, so you can use the one that is most appropriate for your fabric. And of course, the minute you put an iron anywhere near it, it's gonna disappear. There's lots of friction pens on the website. Love a friction pen. I do get through them. Just remember to put your fabrics right sides together as well. So I did manage to sew a half square triangle with one side right side and one side wrong side. Is that the eight and a half inch ruler you're using, Susie? This is the, yes, eight and a half inch square. Why can't I just look at a number? <laughs> <laughs> we have got that ruler. Actually, it's, it's a handy thriving. size, isn't it, for it projects is. like this? It is, very handy. Really handy. I use that and the six and a half um, I use a lot as well. There it is. Six and a half by twelve and a half. Okay, so we've got our sewing machine set to normal stitch length so you're sewing on the line I at this point like you line. say it makes it easy for yourself you're just sewing on the line especially if you're yeah. new to sewing and it's difficult to eyeball the quarter of an inch mark yeah if you are new Good. to sewing if this is one of the first projects you've done it is doable definitely but i would absolutely draw in the lines mm -hmm. i would not try and wing it and you're chain piecing these. I am. So all that means is that I'm not stopping in between each shape. I've got an awful lot of thread hanging off the end here. Let's get rid of that. Um, I am literally just running one in as one finishes, putting in the other and changing it so that they butt up as near as I can so that I'm not sewing in a gap. But having said that, it looks like my thread has come unthreaded. Ugh. Oh no, typical. It is typical. Don't know why it did that. Let's re-thread, which means I'll need my glasses. Oh, don't worry. Right, just whilst <laughs> you're re-threading, um, the artist home, I'm going to just pinch yeah, them back sorry. off you. Yeah, sorry, I've demolished um, that for we've you. We've got, over half the stock's gone. You've got all five of your Liberty Fat Quarters, which are beautiful. They're all complementing. They're, they're packed together by Liberty. So they are absolutely gonna work. Don't get me wrong. We trust our Hannah, we learned that in the first hour, but this is actually done by the experts. This is done by Liberty, the experts. Um, you've <laughs> also then got your Misty Blue, which is this beautiful, is it Misty Blue? It's not Misty Blue, is it? It's not Misty Blue, Duck Egg Blue. Duck Egg Blue, yeah, and cool. you've got your instructions included as well, which has got all of your placement uh, guide, your cutting guide, your step-by-step -step instructions. And look, there's photographs to help you all the way through as well. So even if you're, you're using this and then you multiply it and keep doing um, lots of these blocks repeated for a quilt, uh, it's a very versatile pattern. It's gonna look different depending on the placement of your, your lights and your darks as well. 29.99, that's the one that Susie's going to be working with. You're back up and running, Susie. I am, yeah, whizzing down. So all I'm doing is down the other um, drawn line, mark line. Oh no, it's come and done again. What is wrong with this machine today? Doesn't like this thread. Oh dear. Sometimes they don't like certain threads. We can get another machine on standby if it does well, it again. Well, I've got mine in the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, my, I've, I've got a few machines at home, surprisingly. And I've got one that won't work at all with a certain brand of thread. And really? It, yeah. Just spits it out. Literally just cuts the thread off straight away. Won't feed it through. So funny. It's a very snobby machine. <laughs> Sharon's asked about, oh, my unicorn bag. Oh, Sharon and Darby, honestly, this is amazing. Yeah, uh, so yes, cool. I haven't taken it off. And if I'm being really honest, I kind of forgot that I was still wearing it because it's just one of those bags that literally sits there on my hip. You can adjust the strap to however you want, but I just love a crossover bag. But one that is a unicorn is a little bit cool, isn't it? Sharon, definitely get this for your daughter. 
Her daughter's 21. Oh, do you know what? It doesn't matter so? what age. I was going to say, it doesn't matter. My seven-year-old goddaughter would absolutely adore this. Um, I'm 31, I would love this. I think everybody, any age, any age, will love it. It's a unicorn. I mean, who doesn't need? Everybody, everyone needs a everyone unicorn. Everyone needs a unicorn in their life. I love it, I love this cork as well. It's got a silver, silver into the cork. Oh, it's so cool, isn't it? You better be watching, Sharon. You better be watching. Right. 10 o'clock. Okay, it is cool. Be really good for my dog walking bag as well. <laughs> yes! Do you know, sometimes you just want a little bit of sparkle in your life. I do. Yeah, the dog doesn't sparkle. Okay, so what you're then going to do is with a ruler, you're going to cut down that diagonal seam and you'll get two triangles. And that's what a half square triangle is. Oh. oh no, what's happening now? You've to cut her loose as well. No, I thought it You're was, right. but it isn't. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Now you yeah, are I've cutting changed my blade. through the centre. Through so the centre, yeah. so where you are marking. So now we're going to bring in our iron and we're going to press these. I love this iron. You've so come to get in it, aren't you? I love this iron. We've been talking about this so, last few weeks, isn't it? I don't know. Do I need do it? it? Do I need do it? it? Do I do it? Do I don't? So I'm pressing these. Um, I'm not really thinking about direction at the moment, but press to one side. I can always repress when I come to. And the reason why you'd need to repress is because you want the seams to nestle. So there will be. So they may to match. be. Yeah. Yeah. You, the, unfortunately, this design does have a bit of matching, but. If you press nicely, which you can do as you go along, then everything falls into place quite happily. And as I say, if you just repress your seam if it's the wrong way, rather than give you lots, lots of bulk in a place. So the next thing we're going to do, of course, I don't have to stand that up. I can just do that. Yay! Just leave it. Even though your Liberty, is it? I thought your Liberty fabric were under it, but it wouldn't matter anyway. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't, it wouldn't indeed. Um, so and I need a different ruler from that one but we'll see I'll we'll sort that out in a minute so once you've got your squares you need to cut them down to two and a half inches now when you make traditionally when you make half square triangles most patterns allow seven eighths of an inch extra um, for the fact that you've you've done what we've just done and all your seam allowances I've allowed an inch extra and you're going to cut these down to be two and a half inches um, have we got this, the mini stripology one? Oh, now you're talking. Have we? Becky's going to go and have a look. Shall I have a quick look? Um, because you? we're cutting down to two and a half inches. If you haven't, it's, we'll, we'll wing it. I'll, if we haven't, then I'll show you the method of using. Is it okay? Yeah. Um, Shall I use the square? Well, we, we'll come to it in a minute. Well, you're using yeah. your, you've got your rotating cutting mat under you. You haven't rotated it yet. I haven't. Do you want me to? But can I we just show move. it this whilst we're looking? This is a big looking. cutting mat. I'm going to have to move everything out of the way to um, rotate. It's great, isn't it? But I'll tell you what, the pattern that I'm bringing next week, this is the size I needed at home, definitely, um, because of it being so large. So yeah, to use it as your, exactly. your normal cutting mat is yes. okay, isn't so, it? I use it as a normal cutting mat, but the, where it comes into its own is when you're cutting triangles, mm -hmm. and you know with a triangle, you've got this edge to cut, and then you, so, well, even if you want to do a square, you want this edge, and then you've got that edge. Big no-no, cutting towards you. No, In danger. whatever you do in life, you don't cut towards you. So, not, you could pick all this up and turn it round, but... Your fabric's probably going to move. Well, everything moved, didn't it? So if I unlock it and if I flip it, you can see the locking mechanism. So you've got this, it is heavy. It's not going to move around on its own. So the locking mechanism is literally just pushing. That's Very how secure. difficult mm -hmm. that was. <laughs> I then can flip it back into place and the top bit rotates independently. Oh, that is so good. I've never seen one this big before. No. 
I haven't. It's just so cool. So it means that um, I, I've got the smaller one, which I use when I cut my applique pieces, EPP pieces. It's brilliant for that. But when you're cutting squares, triangles, I mean, I do a lot of things with triangles, believe it or not, and um, cutting those, I constantly have to cut one edge, turn the fabric round, cut the next edge, turn the fabric round, cut the next edge. Waste yeah. energy. Yeah, I haven't got time for that. So this makes it a much better experience. Yeah, Nothing's oh, moving at all. Whatever you put on there, nothing moves. And it's it's big, isn't it? it Eighteen is, inches. It is big. Good size. So bear in mind, you need the space round you when you're rotating. It's not a lap size, but if you're working on your dining room table or um, you know a little side table whilst you're watching your favourite program or film, then you've got the ability mm -hmm. to do that as well. I think it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And I like that you can size. lock it in place if you want to use it as your normal mat because yeah. there's a lot, I always say, get the biggest cutting yes. mat that your space allows. Yeah. So to have that larger mat and the ability to rotate it as well, yeah. it can become a permanent feature in your workspace anyway. It can. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, like you said, you've got, um, you might not use it for your really small, if you're working with five inch squares, for example, um, rotating those around, but we've got the smaller one for that. Yeah. So perfect. Absolutely. So, right, you've got yeah. your mini stripology. So there. I've got the mini stripology. Um, the reason I, this one is the one I need rather than the big stripology is because I'm cutting two and a half inches, and this one goes down to two and a half inch squares. So they're the white markings on the mini stripology. If you're not familiar with this ruler, um, I can use a square ruler if, if you I can. Haven't got one of so these. if you haven't got this, what you do is you take the 45 degree angle that's marked, make sure that the, um, that is lined up on that diagonal seam you've just sewn, but then make sure your two and a half inches are within the margins of your fabric. Mm -hmm. Then you can make those first two cuts. So let's do one with this and one, we've got three to do. So those bits get thrown or used for confetti quilting. Then you rotate it, so you've got your clean edges on your uh, left side. Put your margin, uh, your 45 degree angle back on that seam, and your two and a half inch line should now be top at uh, bottom, top for you guys, and left side, right side view. And then we're gonna trim off those bits. And again, hold your ruler down and move the excess fabric away with your f thumb or finger because then you know you've got a clean cut you're mm -hmm. not going to rip any edges and then i've got a perfect two and a half inch half square right, triangle so that's with the so eight that's and a half with inch. the ruler yeah. if you've got this one the stripology we've got a lot of these to do so we're going <laughs> to a lot of patterns call for half square triangle so it's, it's good Absolutely. idea to invest in one of these actually i think everyone i've designed over the last few weeks <laughs> has been half square try. In fact there was the one that I'm bringing next for <laughs> next Saturday I got to a point I was like right that is it I'm not designing a block with a half square triangle in it because <laughs> I'm so sick of trimming half square triangles. So with this one you've got white 45 degree lines marked they're the hashed lines or dashed lines so I'm placing one along my sewn seam and then I'm making sure the other one is going through the corners. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to go into the two and a half inch line. Now my tip for this is if you've got a, and I haven't got one with me, but if you've got the page marker sticky notes, if you place it along the edges where you're cutting, then you won't lose your mark. Right, okay. So I'm doing two and a half. So I'm going in at this slot here, cutting up. Again, two and a half is here, so I'm cutting up. I have to take my ruler away, and they're the bits I get rid of. This time, I line up not just my diagonal along the seam, but also my two and a half inch square top and bottom edges, which are my clean edges. And then I can repeat that cut. So in at the two and a half mark, and along and then I've got my perfect two and a half inch triangle.
half square triangle. So uh, it is really time saving, isn't it? In the grand it scheme is, of things, yeah, it, I know is. it seems to have taken a long time, but that's because we've been explaining, explaining. it. So if I whiz through these I'm ones. pleased that you've explained that because a lot of people I know who've got the large one go yeah. oh well I don't need the smaller one but actually you do. it was Victoria Carrington I think that she's got the big one and she was sent the mini one for a thing she went oh I don't need it and then she realized actually how yeah. invaluable the smaller one was as well as the large one they I, do the different things don't they they different do and if you jobs. use jelly rolls or strip like you know uh, strip rolls a lot then this size is the perfect size because you've got that two, you obviously you're starting with two and a half, two and a half inches. So this one enables you to do a lot more with the, um, that size piece. Or it's having the right tools for the job, there. isn't it? Yeah, and uh, as, I mean, when anyone who, do, who cooks or bakes, you think I can get away with one wooden spoon, one spatula, etc. I think. I've missed that one. You realise as you go on your baking journey that they all have you different uses. You actually need, yeah. Uses. I mean, my husband always laughs because I every time he, he goes to cut something on a chopping board, I, I say, no, that's the wrong chopping board. You need this chopping board because that one's for the vegetables, this one's for the fruit. And he's like, you have a different one for fruit or veg? Seriously. I get it with meat. I have a different yeah. one for my meat, but I didn't know you have a separate one for fruit and veg. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, but you know I'm a bit OCD about everything, aren't I? Well, Susie comes in very, very organised with little tags on everything and labels all organised. Yeah. Mainly because I have to prep so far in advance. Yeah, yeah. That by the time I get to the show, the night before, I'm thinking, what, what am I what doing? Have I done? <laughs> what have done? How did I do that? But no, I do, I like to label things. And I'm a list person as well. I have lots of lists. But there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you're doing a quilt, because you're not going to be able to do a quilt in a day. However good you are, it's not going to happen. So labelling stuff, even down to which fabric corresponds to what in the, in the diagrams, means that if you get called away, if when you stop, you can come back to it. I've gone back to think projects that I started four or five years ago and oh, I know wow. exactly which fabric does off. what mm -hmm. because I've left myself those notes. Because otherwise you end up being a bit put off don't you going back to things I, I suppose if it's not very organised you think oh well that's going to take me an hour to work out what, where I left off. Well you just don't d go there do no. you? You end up just leaving it. Right I'm going to put all those in my your tub. Bucket. Oh, you are ever so good. You've got your own little tub. We had this yeah. conversation with Becky the other day saying we could do with like some little scrap tub. Shall I make you one? Yes. I'll make yes, you please. One. That'd right. be lovely. We'll make one. Okay, so now what we're going to do, and this is where you want to refer to your diagram, we're making um, this unit here, this part here. June's asked, are you a Virgo? No. Well, I, when's your birthday? I'm, I'm one of those on the cusps. I'm a, a Sagittarius slash Scorpio. Oh, so you're November, December. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was, and I was born at midnight, which is even more weird because oh. it was literally the cusp of the cusp. Yeah. So oh, I am a June weirdo. says that she, I am, and have lists of my lists. Yeah, absolutely. Sounds like Kevin. Um, so this is going to form this row here, and then we're going to do our flying geese. So I'm going to put these together. And this is why I said, if you want to think about how you've, you are um, ironing your seams, you can, but I find it much easier to just iron the seams and then come back to it. So I'm following the destructions and I'm just placing these in this order. And these ones, I'm not sure where we were going to go with these ones. Oh, these are on my two at the bottom here. So these come together to make the other side of my square. And then I've got some little squares in the black that go either side. So we've got the bottom side of our square going on. So to do this, what I need to do is um, sew these together. So these go right sides together and you can pin them. I usually put a pin or a clip on the side that I'm sewing together because then I know which way I'm sewing. And because we've trimmed everything as we've, as we've gone, everything perfectly aligned. So that's one row, 
going to do the same with these. Now these are going the same way, so I'm just going to quickly reverse press that one. It just means that I'm, not, I'm going to reduce the bulk then on that seam. That's what's good about this iron. Normally it seems they tell you which way they want to go, but if you need to press it the other way, yeah, do what it's told. You can go for it. It's much better. Um, let's get the orientation right though. Oh, message about the iron. Elaine says, hi team, loving my Alisso iron, yeah. which has replaced my old Alisso. So much better all round, hotter and smoother plate. That's from Elaine. Yeah, this is the pro. This is yeah, now the Alisso Pro, is. your main graphic is for the iron, which we weren't supposed to be talking about this iron, actually. No, but, but I'm in the room, so you're going to talk about the iron, because I just love the iron. <laughs> 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 okay, so I'm just going to st uh, straight stitch, but quarter of an inch. So I'm going to switch to my quarter inch foot, um, so that I haven't got to think about watching the quarter inch. I can just use that guide. We're about to hit single figures on the bundle that Susie is working with. If you're checking out, check out now. It is busy. And then we'll do a flying, how are we doing for time? Oh, we've got time to do a flying geese. Yeah, we're fine. We will run five minutes over anyway because we, um, we started a bit later. We ran into your show, so don't worry. Is it the first time you've met Emma today? It was. She's so yeah, lovely. She's so, isn't she? so lovely. Yeah, I'm really pleased as well because I was watch. I've watched her shows, and um, thought, oh, I hope I get on the same day so I can meet her. She's had yeah. a very interesting career, hasn't she? As well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and um, I find oh, it's lovely to talk to her as well because my daughter's just embarking on that journey. So <gasps> oh, brilliant. It's lovely to hear success and the inside as well so yeah it's cool so these ones there's black thread appearing and I have no black thread on the go what's going on <laughs> um, these ones I have pressed open I believe I did didn't I yes I do tend to because otherwise you get a lot of bulk going on and I find that the seams like to be pressed that way. But you press however you like. I know there are rules, I'm sure, but rules are to be broken for this, aren't they? So, and you see when you line them up, you get this really nice crisp join as well, hopefully. I have been known to unpick if it hasn't, <laughs> but we won't live on air. <laughs> Gosh, my fingers won't work this morning. There we go. I have to say, it was, it's a shock, isn't it, in the mornings when you get up now. A, it's still dark. Well, was almost dark when I got up. And um, also, it's cold. And it is cold. Well, when I say cold, well, I've it was what? 15 degrees. This is it. I've forgotten. That's After cold. a 40 degree week, I've now kind of forgotten. Well, I, I put my tights and my boots on and it was 23 degrees the other day because I thought, oh, it's obviously cold because yeah. I'm used to voice so I can put my boots on. Yeah. And then I was like, this is so bizarre. I, can't, I don't understand the weather anymore. It is just the most bizarre, isn't it? I live in flip-flops, then jeans, then a jumper. Yeah. I've got a jacket in the car. I don't know what, I don't know. No, it's true though, isn't it? And by the end of the day, it's so stifling. It is crazy, crazy. But that's the beauty of living on an island, isn't it? So then we'll join those two together. But do you want me to show you how to do a flying goose? Because you get the idea with this, how we're going to put yeah, this that's together. Fine. So shall we move on to a flying goose? So where flying geese differ from um, a half square triangle is you've got a bigger unit and two squares. And these two squares, we're going to mark on the back, but instead of marking um, a quarter away from the diagonal, this time I'm going to be marking the diagonal. So just going to use that straight edge on my ruler to mark across the diagonal. And of course, with the non-slip area on the Creative Grids rulers, you know that when you're holding it down, even if my rotating map moves, does it its rotation, it's going to stay there. So you want two, you're going to start with one and we're going to position it so that it's on the left side mm -hmm. going top left to bottom right 
and I am going to pin that into place because you don't want it to move. And we're going to stitch exactly on that line. You put in your ordinary foot back on. I am because I'm I don't need the guide for this. But it's yeah, it can drag some, on your fabric a bit, can't it? It will, yeah. And also you'll pull the guide out of alignment and you'll end up instead of it being vertical, it'll be at an angle. Right. Um they are a they are a thing that you can replace and you you probably find that you will with time. But why try and damage it? in the process so once you've done that what you then do is trim off this excess um, just a quick saving tip for you I actually then normally would run another quarter um, half inch away line and then cut between the two because then I save all those bits and make them into a patchwork so piece. do that at that same time so that it's done I do. good yeah, idea I do I've got a little box in my room that they're all in, ready for me to use. So those I shall keep and use. So once you've done that, then you must press. You can't do the next one until you've pressed. And you press that one over towards the corner. Because if you do this next bit before you press, it won't create that cross that you get with a flying geese. So they are supposed to cross at the bottom there. Okay, so you've done it right, you haven't cut wrong. I haven't cut wrong. And you're going Big to sew relief. on that line again. <laughs> I am actually more awake than I feel. Hello, Victoria, thank you for your message. Uh, oh, thank you so much for your message, actually. This is, um, I says, morning all, happy Friday. I've just finished my unicorn cushion uh, for my niece. Thinks now it's time for crumpets in a cuppa. Oh, Ooh, I love a crumpet. crumpet. I've actually oh, put what are you going to have on the crumpet? Oh, though? just butter, you don't. What? Yeah, we don't go any no, don't go any more excessively with uh, our crumpets than just butter. Well, Full I don't stop. have we don't need any more all, messages. So I'm really bad. But speaking <laughs> of unicorn cushion, have you seen the unicorn bag, Victoria? I've been wearing it. I've been wearing it all day today, and it is amazing. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep some of my snacks in there, ready for lunch. Very magical. Coming up in the next hour. There you go. So we have a flying geese unit, and you're going to make a series of those to go round the top. And they're the pieces, if I bring in this, they're the pieces that make this top part here. And you join the whole unit together. Mm -hmm. And then you'll join this, that to the centre. So we've got the other half here to do. And then these bits will go top and bottom. And then you put your binding, which is your plane, or I've used it as the plane, um, as borders. And then you um, layer that up with your quilt wadding and your you'll need a backing fabric but did so, which quilt wadding did you use so an actual 8020 always 20? use 8020 um, because it washes really well and um, cushions will go in the wash won't they let's be honest they're always going to have some mark on them that you need to use uh, get rid of so i always use 8020 wadding i've just got a piece of this was an old sheet <laughs> yeah good idea just um, anything yeah just to create the sandwich inside. Yes, and the reason why you want a backing when you're quilting is um, obviously this is never going to be seen unless someone turns the pillowcase inside out. But it means that as it feeds through your machine, it it's less likely to snag right. and get caught on the feet on the um, teeth. Yeah, as it moves through. So that's why you put the backing on there. If you try it without, you'll find that it'll get lot a you'll get lots of fluff and stuff in your machine, but you'll also get snags. And what quilting did you do on the cushion? So, so I did. Let me talk it through. I went round the edge of the border here, and then I highlighted the cross in the middle. So I did just a straight stitch. And I use a bigger stitch. This normally the, this machine do, um, defaults to 2.4. I use 3.5 actually on this one. Okay. Remember, the the more layers you're going through, the longer stitch you need anyway. I then went round the squares, and I did round the zigzag just to make it look as if it was a flower head as well. It's a really nice so that's manageable that's size actually. It's yeah. cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's not onerous. It's really easy to do. But yeah. 
brilliant. Really Thank good. you so, but this so much. This one is a little Susie. bit overstuffed because this was the only cushioned filler I had. Oh, you had a big stuffed cushion. Well, by though. the time you've lent on it yeah. and yeah, it'll go down. cuddled it, Absolutely. And all the rest of it will go down. Love it. Thank you ever so Thank much, you. Susie. A beautiful cushion. Remember, all four colourways are available. We've got the bundle that Susie made um, the sample out of was the pinks. Comes with all five fat quarters from Liberty. You've got your instructions and you've also got your pink, which is the, for that lovely border. And if you want to use it for um, your back as well, you can. You'll have more Liberty for your stash. It's less than £30 for that whole bundle. And of course, use the uh, the pattern again make it with other fabrics but definitely make the most of that bundle especially with your liberty fat quarters and then the one that susie was making her cushion out of so popular in fact single figures as everyone's checked out if you want it be quick um you've got the artist home collection this time with that beautiful decade blue uh, complementing fabric and your instructions 29 pounds and 99 pence your fabrics your um your fabrics and your instructions all less than 30. Uh, we have got a couple that we haven't really seen that much of this hour so just to flash them up the um the blue and the yellow is beautiful i think this is from the flower show range as well um when i say yellow look it's because it's got these beautiful yellow prints in there as well that's really lovely in summary isn't it just 29.99 and then you've also got that all sort of powder blue and um, only in one showing a quarter of the stock went of that one so just be aware um, i think that's one of the hidden gems actually 29.99 if you love that colorway go for it uh, and then finally this is another one that we haven't really seen much of and it is gorgeous I'm going to call it, I think this is my favourite. I think it's going to look amazing, especially with that border in the lovely mm. gold. So you've got your instructions, but look at how they all tie in so well together. So you've got all five fat quarters which have been put together by Liberty, obviously. These are official Liberty fat quarter packs. Um, you get your Liberty ribbon included as well. All five of those beautiful prints. Um, and you've got your half a metre of gold as well for 29.99 plus your instructions now if you've got fabrics already in your stash and you want instructions on their own um, there you go £9.99 full cutting instructions placement guide photographs uh, step by step instructions it's a lovely glossy booklet as well so you're going to be able to to keep this time and time again whether you're multiplying those key skills to be able to make um, this into a quilt block to be able to do multiple cushions you're going to be able to use the pattern over and over again but they are really good key building um, techniques to have in your under your belt really as a quilter so go for it if you want to quilt to the front of your cushion Susie recommended using the 80 20 wadding by the half meter is six pounds 99 and half meters by the way is what well, really wide um, the picture I think is wrong isn't it I don't know you don't get it on a roll it looks slightly different it looks like that Oh, there it is, it's at the front, sorry, I couldn't yeah. see it. So it's really lovely and soft and plush. It's gonna be beautiful for your cushion fronts. Nice and soft. Just £6.99, it's a bargain as well. The Stripology Mini, can I borrow it please? Yeah. Because way over half the stock of this is gone. I'm pleased that we did a little demo with it, but there's so much that you can do. Yeah. And in fact, there is a really good YouTube video. I was looking to see if there's a QR code on this one, but there isn't. It might be on the little leaflet. It's on the leaflet. It's yeah. on the leaflet. Yeah. I say leaflet, it's like a booklet really. Yeah. Don't lose the booklet that it comes with because it's got lots of instructions in there, but there's also a QR code that will take you to a YouTube video to explain all of the different markings, exactly what you can do with it. The reason they're called Creative Grids though is that you can just get so creative. There's mm. so much you can do, the possibilities are endless and the, 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 the uh, results that you'll get will be so accurate and precise. Um, don't forget the cutting mat that Susie was using is the 18 inch. It's the one that's behind me as well. There it is in its packaging. Remember, Bearing in mind this is a big boy, it's going to come to you under one postage and packaging of £3.95 no matter how much you're buying today, which is brilliant. It looks in place so you can use it as your regular cutting mat, but the ability to rotate is brilliant. Um, also the pink one, eight, uh, the 12 inch pink one is also back in stock. Uh, just wanted to remind anybody who's just tuning in as it was 
very exciting news last night when Hannah got uh, the memo to say that they were back in stock. She stayed here. She said, just so you know, I missed my bus and didn't get home till 7 p.m. because of this cutting mat. So it's got to sell out today. No pressure, but we've all got to buy it. <laughs> um, stay where you are because we've got Emma Brasfield back. And have you seen my unicorn bag? I am so excited about this. The fabric choices are beautiful and sometimes you know our designers will come in and they've made a sample and our team haven't managed to get quite the right fabrics or there wasn't enough in stock to do bundles we've done it this time you have got bundles to be able to create look at it this amazing unicorn bag can you tell I love it I absolutely love it I haven't stopped wearing it um, did you say we're gonna have a magical break have you got magical music Hit the button, magical. We've got magical music for magical break, Hannah kind of say. What do you mean you don't know what the word means? What does it say? Spell it out. That's quite magical music, isn't it? Uh, don't go anywhere anyway. Emma's going to be joining me in a couple of minutes with the unicorn bag right after this. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Oh, I've been so excited for this hour. In fact, both of Emma's projects today are epic. They're so different, and that's what I absolutely love, is that we've got something completely different. Okay, Hannah's now playing magical music in the background. Can you hear her at home, or is it just the voices in my head? She says, it's, it's the unicorn music. Um, <laughs> Isn't this absolutely amazing? And as I've been wearing this over the last few hours, I've got quite attached to this. I love the size of it. I think it's a really, really handy size. So it's very practical, not only beautiful and magical, but practical as well. I don't think this is a novelty bag because it's really useful. Um, it's really well made. Obviously, you're making your own, so you know it's going to be well made. Now, the bundle that we have is slightly very very slightly different but we have managed to do our very very best to get something extremely similar to, to the creation uh, at the best quality that we possibly can so the bag are you ready to get it because there is a lot that goes into this in terms of hardware and fabric so first bundle um, Oh, Be Becky's just said, morning, Emma. I've always loved this unicorn bag. I saw this, in fact, on Emma's Instagram. We'll talk about our social media in a bit because it's brilliant. She does lots of tutorial videos. In fact, there is a tutorial as well on YouTube for this bag. Um, so not only are you getting today's show, not only getting the pattern, surely that's added value that you've also got a YouTube video tutorial along with it. And an amazing community as well. You've got so much going on with it. So... Can I show you everything that you get in this pattern? Because in this pack, in this bundle for this price, Emma has sourced for you the most beautiful zips I've ever seen. <laughs> I know that that sounds, um, that sounds, you know, crazy, but look, have you seen a zip like this before? Iridescent, iridescent rainbow unicorn zip and <laughs> magical unicorn hardware going along with the beautiful music in the background. Um, in fact, so you've got your swivel clips, you've got your D-rings, they're all fantastic quality. She says, I'm being serious now, I'll stop with the sound effects. You've got the magnetic clips in there, you've got your zip end in there. They are all included as well. Your adjustable strap. How much would you pay just to be able to get those yourself? I mean, that is, you don't need to worry about trying to source your own fancy hardware it's included that's the bit that i think would be a bit stressful is trying to personally go and find the hardware um then those of you that have worked with any of emma's patterns before they're beautifully presented um you can see all the different kind of fabrics you're going to be able to do this with you've then got full instructions as well um, there's free online tutorials, there's going to be your helping hand along today, any questions that you've got, get them in. Um, we're going to try and construct as much as we sort of can today and go through any of your questions as well. So you've got your instructions, you've then also got your templates. I mean this is brilliant because they're all to size, they're full templates which are on really, really lovely quality paper. Now. I'm just starting, as I'm, uh, I'm part of our Hobby Maker show, I'm starting to understand more about quality of paper and GSMs and everything. And this is on really lovely, thick, glossy paper. So it's uh, templates, you know, that you're going to be able to, to keep and use uh, time after time. And they're all labelled really clearly, seam allowance included. 
And then we start on this fancy fabric. So as I said earlier, um, quite often designers will come in with a prototype, that's the word, a prototype, a sample that they've made up. And then our buying team will say, oh, do you know what? We might not be able to get this fabric in or we can get it in, but not in, that, in the right quality that we want for our customers. Or um, there isn't enough stock or it's been discontinued or it's too expensive. You know, there's all different uh, pros and cons. What we have found is amazing. We have got the exact cork that Emma said you have to get in for this project because it's not just cork, it's got sparkly silver. Oh, I love it. Now, if I'm being brutally honest, the first thing I would think is, oh my word, can I sew through this? Is this gonna be okay to sew with? How difficult is this gonna be to work with? So we'll go through all of that with Emma. But because of the back of it, is like knitted, it's like your fabric on the back. Um, you can sew through this, it's absolutely brilliant. It's also gonna give you the structure that you want. It's going to really, you know, give your, your bag the stability to hold that unicorn shape. So look at how much you're getting. Bear in mind, everything I've just mentioned in terms of pattern, template, hardware, fancy coloured zips, everything, look at how much fabric you're getting. So that is a lot of cork. Um, Plus, obviously, you're going to be making your lovely strong handle as well, which you can take off if you want it as a clutch. It's up to you. So not only do you get your cork, we've also cut back quarters of the most gorgeous glittery PU. So once again, you are getting three different colours of this really beautiful quality. The glitter doesn't come off. It's all embedded into the fabric. It's so clever. And once again, we'll ask any sort of questions that you might have about working with these more, I don't want to use the word difficult fabrics, because um, I'm sure Emma would demystify it for us, but fabrics that you might not be used to sewing with, we can ask all the questions. So look at how glittery. So you've got your lighter blue, hence why I said it's slightly different to the one that Emma's made, as it's a, more of a mermaidy blue than the blue that Emma's used, but it's still that glittery, beautiful fabric. Back quarter of the blue. Fat quarter of the pink. <gasps> oh, I mean, this is loads, isn't it? Loads. Fat quarter as well. Izzy! Morning Vix, this bag looks awesome. Can't wait to get one. Oh, I've been delayed. I've been I've delayed my brunch to get one. Oh, I'll tell you what, I think there's a lot of people who are gonna be waiting for this bag because it is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Thank you for your message. Enjoy, Izzy. It's absolutely gorgeous. Any questions that you've got, get them in. And then you also get your silver. Um, okay, I'm just going to throw it out there. I might be completely wrong, but you're definitely gonna have fabrics left over, aren't you? You've got oodles and oodles and oodles of fabric here. Um, the glitter is obviously for the hair at the front there, and we've used a bit in the, the, the ears and the horn, but look, the glitter also is on the back of the bag. The hair goes all the way down the back of the unicorn. How amazing. Uh, but the glitter, it doesn't come off onto your hands. It doesn't come off. It's not one of those glitters that's going to go everywhere. It's brilliant quality. I'm not biased, but Sewing Street Cork is gorgeous to work with. Try using a twin needle and some rainbow thread. Well, Dawn Taylor, have you seen the rainbow thread that Emma's used? Look, it looks beautiful. If you can get hold of any variegated threads, it does look gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Hi Vix and Hannah, wow, this kit looks amazing. How many bags will the kit make, says Derek. I'm gonna to speak to Emma now because, <laughs> honestly, there's loads of fabric here. Oh, just before we go to Emma, one second, we've got another kit. We will answer your question though, Derek. Um, in fact, Emma, I'm coming to you now. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Oh my gosh, I'm so thrilled that I'm on this show because you've got two amazing projects today. Oh, thank you. I love this bag, love it. So, right, I'm not being silly. There's a lot of fabric here for this there bag. There is a lot. This is going to make de definitely two bags, if not three. Maybe you might be able to squeeze out four. Wow. Because the cork is so wide. Yeah. So you do get, and that is such good value for this cork. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to find good quality cork, yeah. especially in the UK. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to grab this cork. It's beautiful to it's work like with. It's like malleable, isn't it? It's soft. Yeah. It, when you think of cork, I always thought of like, you know, like a cork board that you put messages <laughs> yeah. onto. And it's nothing like that. No, it's also um, got really good, I want to say antiseptic. That's the wrong word, isn't it? Antiseptic. You know, <laughs> it's the wrong word. <laughs> 
You know, like it's really good at self cleaning. Mm -hmm. What's the word? Oh, yeah. Um, Anti. Antibacterial. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> it's got really good antibacterial qualities. It's, it's eco as well, isn't it? It's eco. It's more eco friendly than your vinyls. Um, it's just a really beautiful, it sews really beautifully. You can sew through corks like butter going through. Oh, really? Use a Microtex needle. Mm -hmm. um, I usually, usually use around a 90 mm -hmm. for my bag. So, Microtex needle, walking foot or Teflon foot. I do recommend walking over Teflon if you can okay um, and I was just gonna say as well I don't know if you're ready are you ready for me to start um, yeah can we just quickly run things. through one more yeah. bundle also cork is available on its own so if you do want this by the half meter as Emma just said it was thanks to Emma that we managed to get this in our buying team had to work very hard to try and get it this is the only bundle that comes with cork we do have some by the half meter it's limited though we've tried to put together as many kits as we can so if you do want it by the half meter it's limited the next bundle comes with a pu so you tell me the breakdown no cork the picture's wrong um there was a bit of confusion with the bundle so i'm going to just to mystify it now for for us all so obviously you get your pattern you get your templates you get all of that rainbow hardware which again emma's sourced for us it's amazing <laughs> love it you also get the same three fat quarters, which are the three glitters that we were looking at. So you definitely get those in it. But instead of the cork this time, you've got a PU, which is the light gold. Now, I was looking at the front of your, your picture. Actually, this is going to look beautiful as well. You also get half a metre of latte colour cotton for your lining. So that's your lining. This is going to be the outer of your bag. Oh, I didn't mention in the other bundle, you also get your lining fabric, obviously, as well. You also get your pink lining. There's so much going on. So much in these bundles. They are brilliant kits, aren't they? So no cork in this one, but everything else, the only difference will be your outer will be in PU. And can I show you once again, like the cork, it's very wide. There's a lot of fabric there to be able to make multiple bags. Um, the one that is photographed with the pattern. Can I show you what the picture is on the website? It's a bit easier to explain then. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was one that was done in PU. Is it this one? Different colour, but just so you can see, not in cork, how it looks. And Still works really well. I'm about, yeah. So you can see there the gold. Is that a PU then? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. lovely, isn't it? Again, yeah. iridescent. But the gold PU will look very similar to that. Sorry. No, I just wanted to um, be clear on what you get there. So your pattern, your templates, all of your hardware. The only difference with this is obviously your outer and the lining colours. You'll be able to make more than one bag. Um, okay. We have got a bundle that is just for your hardware and pattern. The price that we've done on the bundles, I'd recommend it personally getting those bundles. But if you do just want your pattern that comes with the hardware, go for it. Maybe you, you, you know, you like Baffy, you've got a big stash of bag making. $29.99. If you've got perfect fabric at home in mind, go for this option. I just think, you know, for the value for money and the fact that you're getting all of that PU and either cork or your your, uh, your your sort of leatherette gold one, go with that, definitely. These are lovely though, aren't they? These unicorn um, elements to them. Maybe you've got like a really cool iridescent fabric that you want to use that you're thinking, that is perfect. I've been waiting for the perfect project to use my iridescent fabrics. Um, then this is the one to go for it. $29.99 for your bundle. The first bundle with the, with the cork is so, so limited. It is so, so limited. I'll run through again later on in the hour because I know that we're, we're running way into Emma's demo time. So any questions that you've got, get them in. Um, there are also some fabrics on the half, by the half meter on the website. You can go through those um, as, as um, Emma's going through the demo. Right, let's get going. Brilliant. This is brilliant. And you say there is a, a demonstration on YouTube yeah, as well. Full step by step video. You can pause it, rewind. It's got chapters at the bottom in oh, the nice. description. If you, there's a little arrow to the uh, right underneath the video, underneath any YouTube video, and it brings down the description, or sometimes it says more, and then you can find the timestamps in there. So if you're stuck on a bit and you just think, oh, I'm not really sure how to do this bit, you can go over to the video. The link is uh, to my channel is 
in every pattern as well. Um, what is your YouTube channel? It's Studio 7T7, so there's a T between the two sevens. If you search on YouTube, you'll find it. Um, Perfect. Yeah, and so you can you can jump ahead or as you, as you want to, or watch the whole thing and, and pause it as you go. And you're amazing on Instagram and everything. I always see Emma <laughs> posted on Insta, so definitely worth following her on social media um, for extra tips and hints. And it's just a lovely community. You've built yeah, up a lot of... Um, it, there's some really amazing people in there. And um, I've got a Facebook group as well called So Create and Craft. Yeah. Um, and I always go live in there every Thursday at two for oh, a tip of the day. So it's yeah. usually bag making or sewing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. <gasps> right. So, so working with this cork. <laughs> this cork is so beautiful to work with. So uh, we've mentioned that already. I wanted to mention as well for the hair pieces, it's really important that you use fabric which doesn't fray. So you cannot use cotton for the hair pieces. Mm -hmm. They are cut, you know, dead uh, on the edge. There's no underfolding or anything. Um, so that's really important to think about when you're choosing your hair pieces, which is why the bundle is so good because you know that that's going to work. I know that we um, have got the. We're not going to get through all of the elements today. So just will you just yeah. go through the bag with us and show yeah. us what elements there are to it yeah so you've got obviously you've got the hair pieces that sweep over it took me ages to figure out these hair pieces so that they overlap exactly so that they work with the shape of the front flap so it all fits in um, because obviously you've got that seam allowance and everything so there's been a lot of work gone into that and then they match up how you construct it which I'm going to hopefully show you some of today is that they line up so that the each color goes through and it matches um, and in the um, pattern as well oh and there's a, a zipper pocket inside I did design this for little ones uh, originally uh, and you know they need a big open space just to chuck yeah. stuff in and then they want to have a little secret place for all their snacks or you know little dolly feet or whatever <laughs> whatever they get up to rocks usually isn't it rocks yeah. and leaves um, so that's why that's got a little zipper as well and you've got the adjustable strap there's instructions to make that as well and of course you get the slider in the pack too and the mm -hmm. lobster casts and everything I absolutely love it and I bet you know you designed this for little ones I bet it, it isn't just little ones no. that are buying this pattern <laughs> is it and they're, they're making it not just for the little ones either over yeah. half the stock of this bundle has now gone and it is look if I just open the flap then you can see how it all oh, just blends into one it's amazing right so starting with cutting out your template yes so uh, i just wanted to talk about the cork now obviously you get a huge amount of cork which is amazing and like we said you can definitely make at least two maybe three um as you can see i've started cutting out and i wanted to show you this because it may look like cork doesn't really have a grain it kind of especially this one with the sparkle through it does sort of show the little the different little circles and ovals and all the beauty of the natural cork um, so I just wanted to point out that it's really good when you're cutting, even though it's not for dressmaking, you should try and cut it the same way. It doesn't really matter with bag making whether you cut it um, you know, following the grain or against the grain, but just make sure each one is going the same way. Because of those different um, kind of little ovals and things, you, you may get a different look. So I just wanted to point that out. So when I've cut mine out, you can see that this is the, the front main part, the, the kind of where the eyes go underneath the flat flap. And then this is the front flap. And I've made sure that they're facing the same way rather than cutting one that way and one that way. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah. Um, the ears, I've, I've cut them going a different way, but they're all going the same way. Okay, so that's why I've kept that, just to point that out. It's just a thing that you may not think about if you haven't used cork before, because vinyl is a little bit more forgiving with that. You can kind of chop it up a little bit uh, differently. You've got a really good page there, a cutting list of everything, of how to cut yeah. um, and what to cut. Very clear. Yeah, yeah. So follow the cutting list yeah. um, to the T and you'll be fine. It does say on each pattern piece as well um, which, what you need to cut out. So hopefully that will all make sense. Um, these have all got the seam allowances included as well. It's a centimetre seam allowance. I do a centimetre seam allowance on all my patterns. Um, just find that's easier to work with. You can always chop it down if you need to. Okay, so we're going to be doing the hair pieces. So I wanted to show you that. Included in the pattern is this template and it says do not cut. 
and that is because you don't want to be cutting out these individual pieces you've got those as separate patterns um, like I'm going to show you so you want to cut this out so that as you're making that that element those elements it all comes together in the right place it so that it all fits really well okay so I've got my template there you'll see that this is the front flap and of course it's bigger because I've got my seam allowance okay for the front flap there's no seam allowance because this is the template and then you're going to cut out your different pieces for your hair now one thing to mention is when you're cutting it out you want to lay down your pattern pieces so that they are face down to the fabric so if you've got your fabric it depends which way you you cut out of course but if you've got your fabric like that you're going to want to put the so you've got your fabric face down to your cutting board and then you've got your pattern piece face down so that then when you flip it it goes onto the right way does that make sense mm -hmm. then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay them over so that they are overlapping so the middle one overlaps the other two so that you get that really nice sweep at the bottom mm -hmm. okay so we're going to do that and we're going to place it on and we're going to make sure we've got a centimeter seam allowance going around okay so i'm going to use some double-sided quilters tape we've got that we've got that this we've got it in stock finally Hooray. something that comes in and goes out it's one of our favorites in terms of making sell i'm just reading your pattern policy mm -hmm. um you're happy for people to sell you know for craft fairs yeah. things like that perfect yeah, totally fine so what i'm going to do to help me is i've got that mark in the middle i should have used a pattern notcher and cut out that mark but i didn't um and i'm going to find my friction pen and i'm just going to mark the middle so that I know that the middle of my central hair piece, I'll turn it, do it on the other side as well, is gonna match, okay? Do you ever use these in for putting in zips and things as well? You oh, always, say. yeah. Is it useful for? Always, always, always use quilters tape, in, um, double-sided tape. That's what you mean, yeah? Double-sided yeah. tape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, it's for the, zips, yeah, always. Yeah, I think sometimes you can just get quilters tape. Get this one that's on your screen because this is the double-sided one. Sometimes they do single-sided one, which is more for quilting lines, whereas this is brilliant for holding things in place like this or your zips. Perfect, six ninety-nine. Yeah, really helpful. So then you just want to put your double sided tape on the back and I always pull rather than snip. I mean nine times out of ten my scissors on hand are you know fabric scissors anyway which you do not want to be using with your double sided. Um, anything other than fabric or thread will blunt them so definitely keep those sacred <laughs> yeah and that's that it's developed for sewing isn't it the double-sided tape it's not yeah. you know the double-sided tape you might have in your drawer oh yeah don't use your double-sided tape in your drawer no it will gum up your needles and it will just be you know really tricky so i'm placing that piece of hair on and i'm going to place on the other one on the other side see my my tape is really inferior it's all coming apart i should have got the sewing street one shouldn't i Yours will come like this. Yours will be much nicer. <laughs> you get 10 metres as well, so plenty. Lots of projects. And this one isn't that sticky, actually. I regretted it almost instantly, but hey-ho, there we are. Um, Kate's asking, is a, is a special needle required to sew through cork fabric? I would recommend you use Microtex needles for cork, um, for vinyl as well, and, like I say, a walking foot or Teflon foot, for sure. Just like if you're using any PU or, um, mm -hmm. or vinyl. I tend to call it vinyl because that's what our friends across the pond call it. <laughs> and it, because a lot of my viewers are American yeah. as well, I just fall into that. But it's yeah. not scary though, it's nothing to be scared of. No. And actually, it would open up so many possibilities. The cork that we have here in your bundle is such brilliant, it's such brilliant value for how beautiful yeah. the quality is. Um, if you do want the cork, buy the half metre. We do have it. If we put the graphics live, I know that it's just going to sell out in a heartbeat. But if you do want to any, difficult to get here in the UK, actually, this quality. It's just £8.99. And look at how much you get for £8.99. That is a great price. Mm. That is a really good price. I hope there's some left for me when I finish. <laughs> um, Tracy 
is shouting at us. I don't think she oh. meant to write it in capitals, but she said, <laughs> I made a round bathroom caddy uh, with ripstock lining using um, visible thread with this cork and my standard needle and foot, and it was fine. So, oh, okay, cool. I yeah. guess it depends on your machine, doesn't it? Some of these fancy yeah. machines nowadays. Or yeah, and depends how many layers you're going through as well. Yeah. So that's great that it yeah. works. Yeah. I mean, if, well, if, if it works, works for you. yeah, if it works with a regular needle, then go great. for it. Brilliant. Um, the only thing I would say is that most people don't change their needles enough. Yeah. You should change your needle between uh, uh, four and six hours of continuous sewing. Right, okay. Which is, which is quite, quite a lot frequently, more than yeah. you would realise. And yes, if it's still working, then fine. Um, but if you don't, and um, what you might find is that you're putting added strain onto your um, sewing machine. So just... So just, do change You're it. helping yeah, be aware. your machine. Um, the other thing I was going to say as well, the... On the pattern and in the book, it tells you, I've got a page that I try to include with all my patterns that has um, exactly which colours are which. So as they're labelled within the pattern, you've got A, B, C, and then on the back, it looks like it's flipped, but that's so that it continues down C, B, A. Right. So when you're choosing your colours, um, even with the kit, you're going to need to choose which you know, placement you're going to mm -hmm. have, which is brilliant because then every single bag is going to be different. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's and that's on the template as well. And it's on all the pieces too, um, as you cut them. Okay, so we're going to stitch that on the machine and we're going to go around and we're going to use an eighth of an inch uh, from the edge. And uh, I'm go not going to, I'm going to start and stop at the end because that's within my seam allowance. So I'm never going to see that. But when we come to the ends here, when we're stitching round, I'm going to pull the threads through and tie them at the back. Okay. So Lesson 20 over. of this bundle. Lesson 20, the one with the cork, the one with your pink lining and the one with those beautiful glitters. Remember, you don't need to really get anything else. All that we probably say is interfacings. Now, um, you've even said it in your pattern that interfacings and stabilizers can be a bit scary, a bit daunting, yeah. it's a bit of a minefield. <laughs> um, but uh, what sort of stabilizers or interfacings would you recommend then, Emma? So you're going to need a uh, medium weight interfacing okay. throughout all the pieces. Um, I haven't done it on this for the demo, but that is what I recommend. And also you're going to need a bosal or your um, fusible fleece. Okay. So fusible foam or fusible fleece um, to give it that structure. With the cork, it is quite structured, so you can get away with a little bit less. So you could, you could still use fusible fleece. Um, if you're using the other PU or the, the faux leather that we've got, I would recommend using fusible foam or fusible fleece. Yes, yeah, so um, it's more structured. Yeah, yeah. And in the video as well, it shows you how I fuse um, those two vinyl because that can be a bit tricky as well. That's a good point because you can't iron no. the vinyls, can you? No. So you count on the it. back. Okay. But carefully. Oh. Yeah, okay. With then. a Teflon sheet. It's all on the uh, all on Emma's YouTube channel as well. So what was that, sorry, Emma? Um, Hannah? Um, have I got things in my trolley? Mm, no, I don't. Right, so there's your hemline interfacing, which is your medium weight. It's just £3.99. Um, you will need that. Uh, we don't put it in the bundles because I know a lot of people have got them in the stash but if you want to stock up and then you've got a choice if you want a foamy finish so you've got your bosal foam um, which is again got fusible on it so you can literally can just iron it to your your fabrics and as Emma said she actually shows it on her YouTube channel so um, we've got the Starville Lightful, which is very similar very very similar it's just a different brand so you've got the Starville lightweight foam um, and then we've also got H640, which is your fusible fleece, which is a Visaline product. Um, it's one or the other of those two. They're both there. So having your walking foot on, this is going to help. And you're going to go around all of those pieces. Yes. So okay. I, at first I'm going around the outside. Do I need to move yeah. over a bit? No, you're absolutely fine. No. Um, at first I'm going to go around the outside of the three shapes and mm -hmm. then I'm going to do the uh, one in the middle. 
and I'm going to stop and start so it looks like it's one continuous line. I'll show you what I mean. I suppose a good thing about working with cork, I think a lot of people are scared of it, but actually it stays in its place. It's a lot harder to work with slippier fabrics that are not going to stay where they are. You yeah. haven't even got any pins, I know you've got your quilting tape there to hold it in place. Yeah, absolutely. But and because it's got more structure, you can manipulate it more, like you say, you can move it around, show it who's boss. <laughs> absolutely. And I love that you've supplied all of those really beautiful hardware um, pieces as well because that again can be expensive going and selecting those individually and especially these lovely iridescent ones. And they're quite hard to find as well when you need specific size and things. True. But you could use other sizes, I should add with the pattern it does tell you to use um, half inch mm -hmm. for everything but you could you could change the strap connectors make it into an inch you know you can make it your own if if you need to okay so yeah because as we say we're going to be making multiple bags once you've used your hardware yeah you're going to need to dip into your stash so it might be slightly different i even love that zip that's amazing i like the rainbow zipper pull as well yeah. it's really pretty Instruct, sorry, the, uh, the Bosel is 11 99 Someone just asked if you choose to use Bosel. I suppose you just want something that is just going to hold, stand up on its own. You want something that's going to hold that shape of the unicorn. There's nothing worse than, you know, a sad unicorn or floppy. <laughs> 8640s, £9.99. That would be perfect with the cork, I think more of a, a, a fleecy finish it's not it's still going to hold its shape because the cork's so structured and i'm just going really slowly you know i always think this is not a race when you're doing these kind of applique things. You want to get it, you know, as good as you can get it. So go slow. Don't be scared to go slow. And um, keep turning your foot as you're, as you're sewing as well. Okay, so there's the hair pieces sewn on. I've mm -hmm. left really long tails on these pieces. So I went all the way around move those a bit out of the way I went all the way around the bottom and then I've gone around that middle piece and I've done one line there finishing at that first bottom line and then I've done another line here also finishing at that bottom line and I don't know if you can see but I've got my tails a bit hard to see maybe um, and then on the back I'm just going to pull those through I'm going to snip that because I have reverse Look, you've even got iridescent scissors to go with <laughs> it oh my gosh Emma <laughs> someone knows me very well got me them as a gift <laughs> okay so what you do is you just literally pull up the thread if you've not I'm sure most people have done this bit before you pull up the thread and then you've got the, the front thread as you like if if you like and then you can pull them through tie them in a knot and then from the front it looks like one continuous piece oh that's a good tip it's All really good for bag making secure. Yeah, and if you ever skip a stitch, which does happen, it's really annoying when you're doing a top stitching and you mm -hmm. skip a stitch. Uh, there is a little reel on my Instagram, which is also Studio 77, um, that you can find. But basically, if you've got a, a skipped stitch, it might be easier to show you, I don't know which way around, it's going to be easier. If you say you've got one there, you would literally, there'll be a gap point, there will be a long, looks like a longer stitch. You literally thread a needle go through from the back, go up through, because it will have made the hole, won't it, with the needle, and go back through that hole, pull it down, and it looks like you've got that stitch, and then Good you idea. can repair it and tie it on the back. So, yeah, if anything like that happens, which it does to us all, yes. you know, <laughs> you can fix it. Okay, so we're going to move along to the ears. So I've got my pattern pieces here. I'm just going to put that to one side. And for the ears, you've got an inner pattern and an outer pattern. And obviously we've got two. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be that way, isn't it? Because they're reversed. 
and so you're going to want to place your little inner ears on and the bottom goes to the bottom of that pattern piece it doesn't kind of sit, sit in the up middle. there okay. yeah it goes to the bottom because you're catching that in the bottom and ultimately you can place this wherever you like i obviously you've got your seam allowance here which you can see on that pattern piece you've got the seam allowance there oh, so yeah. what you could do if you wanted to is you could cut off that seam allowance so that you could get a really nice you know you could almost draw around with a friction pen or a bit of chalk or something so you get an idea um, and then you want to replicate that on the other side. I'm going to get my tape. I was going to say, do tape. you measure it or? You can measure it, yeah. You're eyeballing it You can it eyeball today. it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the eyeball method. <laughs> How many of these have you made there now, Emma? Uh, I think this is my fourth one. And then all my patterns are tested. So I, oh, I can't remember how many testers. I think I had eight testers. Oh, wow. Did they all love it? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they were, yeah they got really some some made multiple. I love it when they make multiple because then I know that they really love the yeah, pattern, you know. Yeah. Um, and they go through the pattern, check any kind of grammar, anything like that, which is really important. Um, so this is how I'm going to be very technical and measure. Look, see, I'm going to place them <laughs> like that, and then. Sorry, I didn't mean to measure shame you on the telly. Oh, that's all right. Are you going to measure those, Emma? No, no, I'm not, and it's going to be fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so well, I know that those are equal now, just by kind of eyeballing it, kind of measuring it against each other. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do exactly the same as I did with the hair, and I'm going to stitch around those shapes to keep them locked down. Always hold my threads when I start. Does that help? you from that um avoiding getting like a bird's nest under your exactly work. yes exactly it just helps stop it yeah um and then i'm going to oh and also i'm using a length three on my machine okay um for top stitching how close to the edge when you're top stitching do you go i'm about an eighth of an inch a mm. couple mils I flip between inches and centimetres, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> depending on what's, you know, it's funny. So I've stopped and start uh, the stitching on the each end because that's going in the seam allowance, we're not going to see it, so we don't need to do, pull the thread through. I'm all for anything that saves time if it's not needed. Have you been busy since I last saw you anyway, Emma? Oh, I'm so busy, yeah. <laughs> Have you got any more exciting costumes you can tell us about? Uh, I haven't gotten, I haven't been any doing any costume work, um, but I've been making lots of patterns. Oh, amazing. So I make a new pattern every month. because they Do you? Yeah, oh, they, word. they go into my club. I have a club, so they go in there and then they they come out on here after. So uh, yeah. yeah, so every month there's a new pattern. So Gosh, that's really watch good. this space, because they'll all be, <laughs> well, hopefully, a lot of work. if you like them. Yeah, there's <laughs> they'll a lot be coming of work that goes into pa patterns. A lot, that, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm always busy. <laughs> okay, so I've done that. I've stitched those on. And then of course, we're gonna place the other ears, right sides together. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna pop a clip in, because when you're working with cork, you want to use clips. Uh, can you not, would it pierce holes in it if you use it? Yeah, you don't want to use, I mean, it's quite thick, so it's not going to be very friendly to your pins, first mm. of all. You might get a few bent pins, but also it's going to pierce holes in them and just, yeah, it's going to compromise the structure of the cork. Same as PU or uh, faux leather. And then I'm going to sew those a centimetre from the edge on each one. Those of you that are getting your unicorn bag today, you've also got to stay tuned for the dino. <laughs> Look at him. He's been on the desk all day today and we have had so many people already checking out on pre-order. Um, now, it is officially a dinosaur, but somebody made it into a crocodile. Yeah. Um, you could do this as a, a, 
a, a lizard or a salamander. It's just so cool, isn't it? Uh, Emma keeps her her sharpies in here, all different <laughs> colours. But you could put your marking tools, you could put your crochet hooks, um, kids' pencil case. There's so many different uses for it. Like you said, kids love to collect things, don't they? This would be amazing just to collect some little treats on a walk or something. Um, just so you know, back to the unicorn, the, P the glitter PU fabrics. We can sell by the half metre. So if you are, you know, building up your own collection, maybe you've already got the pattern from Emma. If you want these colours, what we have here are fat quarters. We're going to sell it by the half metre now. So I'll let you know how wide it is because it's definitely wider than your normal quality weight fabrics. So if you want your turquoise, your glitter PU, it's $4.99. $4.99 a half metre. Stock up. If you're planning on, you know, making multiple for grandchildren, for friends, for craft fairs, it's 132 centimetres wide. So what I've got here is a fat quarter, so it's double that. It's double that. What you're going to get is double that for 4 .99. That is amazing. It's worth stocking up. Also, dare I say the word, Christmas. <laughs> Icicles. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love a little bit of glitter. It's very, um, how do I say it without saying the, let it go, let it go, don't <laughs> hold it back anymore, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Got any costumes to make maybe? Right, that's the turquoise. We do have the pink by the half metre available. Remember, that's the fat quarter, you're going to get double this for 4 99 double it for 4 99 that is just, oh, there's something about lots of like gl glitter compressed that's just so satisfying on the eye. And what I must say, it's not really rough, it's not rigid, it's really malleable still. It's going to be beautiful for your bag making. Um, just $4.99, a half metre, remember. Think in storage tubs. <gasps> Glitter storage tubs. If Amazing. I think I know you, as well as know you, Emma's got to get some <laughs> glitter storage tubs. Yeah. Christine, I wasn't going to say it, but you've said it now. It is very frozen, isn't it? Christine said it, not me. Um, look at this. It's icy, isn't it? If you're going to do an icy theme project with the turquoise, get some silver as well. £4.99 a half metre. How about like a Christmas tree skirt? Oh, decorations, all sorts. Um, remember, by the half metre this time, that is a fat quarter, so you're going to get double that for 4 99 uh, You know when I was talking about storage tubs? In the 12 o'clock show, I know we've been talking about the Dino pencil case a lot, but we also have in that show, selling on pre-order, the storage boxes. We've got patterns and bundles for these really, really lovely storage boxes. Emma's going to show us um, you know, some tips and techniques of how to construct them. Um, Imagine with glitter as well. Keep your jewellery in them. <gasps> be lovely. Be great. Hair slides, hair bits and bobs, Barbie shoes. Yeah. Glitters. Lots <gasps> of people have been using it for their sewing tools as well. Perfect. Threads. I, I would absolutely take a glittery sewing tool box, absolutely. But they're beautiful colourways as well. If you do love the ones that you see, they're on pre order. Have you used Decaville in those? Yes. Yeah. Is it Decaville Light? Yes, Decaville Light. Yeah. Nice. Really lovely. Okay, back to you, Emma. Okay, so I've done my ears and I've turned them out, as you can see. And then I'm going to move on to the horn. Um, and you do it the same way. So. There's two ways you can do the horn. You can either stitch it, you don't have to stitch the lines on. Um, and I haven't included like how to stitch them on in the pattern, but so go, go wild with that. Either don't do it or you can do a fancy pattern. You can do lines going down. Or, um, so you can do that before you um, sew the horn together or you can do it after. I'm gonna do it after. So I'm gonna place them right sides together. This one has also got the fusible fleece on the back because that's gonna give you that sort of quilted look when we do that. And I um, just think it gives a bit of depth to the horn. So I've interfaced the back and then added the fusible fleece. Fusible uh, fleece or foam sticks a lot better to interfacing than it does to the back of regular fabric, especially ah. on these fabrics, yeah, okay. on the PUs and everything. Um, yeah, okay, so we're gonna go do that. Oh, but before I 
before I do that, the ears, I did also use my pinking shears just to cut off the excess. You, you want to snip in to the seam allowance and cut it down so that it, it turns nicely. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Just so you know, if you want the dino, you've got to grab it now. It's going to sell out and we can't get more. We've asked if we can get more and we can't. So if you manage to get it on pre-order, well done. You can sit back and relax and enjoy the demo at 12 o'clock. If you want it, don't wait till 12. Have you got lots of other sort of fun projects in the uh, the Mr. to bring to us then? These well, are all so I've got different. one there. Look, you can see it. Sneaky peek. Oh, oh, I love that. <laughs> yes, that is so that useful. I'm, that I'm using to bring all my sewing tools. Oh, you've used the cork in. again. Yeah. Stuck up on the cork yep. whilst it's here. Yes. Yeah, because it'd be fantastic for that. That's in a few months though, because it's uh, exclusive. I can't show you. Hand no. said, what are we talking about? Let's see it. I don't yeah. know that we can show you yet. <laughs> Surprise. Okay, so same thing. I must admit, I've gone a little bit over my seam allowance, but it's okay. So I'm gonna cut the excess off with my pinking shears. This is the great thing about bags, is that if you're making, when you're making your costumes for people or you're making garments, yeah. You're, you know, it's, it's going to make a difference if you're a bit out. Whereas this, it's a bag. It doesn't need to fit anybody. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I would say with the hair, it does matter. So there's things like that that matters because obviously it won't yeah. line up. But yeah, ultimately, if you if you do one mistake on one bit, make sure you do the same mistake or not mistake. That's the wrong word. But you make the same yeah. change to the other bit of the bag, and then you're fine. So this is always fun. Do you need a turning on tool live, on live TV? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how we go. Uh, I have got a little poker, a little pokey thing that I like to use. This um, glitter actually turns a lot nicer than the one I used on my bag, I have to say. A lot easier. So there we go, we've got a little silver horn and mm -hmm. then I'm going to just do that kind of quilted look, the little lines going across. And this is when rainbow thread would be amazing. Oh, yes. I'll have a look on the website and see if there are any variegated threads. I'm not sure if there is, because I think they all sold out at Christmas. Um, hang on, have you also got rainbow nails? Yes. <laughs> was that on? Was that on put Maybe. On? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to have a look at those, because I always panic when I'm sitting at the, the nail desk going, I don't know what I want, and I don't really like these. I'm not going to lie. I, I have an amazing uh, nail technician, Nails by Tracy, and she, I said, oh, I don't know what to do. I know I want rainbow. And then she was like, oh my god let's do this this is so you and then she sent me this picture and i was like yes oh so you prep it this That's is what our cat does as well she's got like a, images in her phone of what she wants i would just panic yeah. I'm like whatever the person next to me is having all of that as well <laughs> but oh yeah i'll have to remember that i'd like rainbow next time and then we ummed and ahed about what color to go with it and then we settled on the blue because it's nice and spring and summer it's not spring is it summery Nice and light. Right, we're nearly there. Oh, you want threaded? No. No, I think it just it looked like it had, but it was just another thread. Um, I am doing stop and start on this one because this is the um, bit that's going to get quite a lot of wear and tear. So what you could do, and I haven't got pink on the back, but that's fine. What you could do is you could pull it through. Um, you could pull it through to the back, tie a knot and then use a hand needle and push it back through. Um, or you can do the stop and start. It's not as nice a look when you do the stop and start. What is that, like a reverse? Reverse, yeah, yeah. sorry, that's what no, I mean. Yeah. That's what I mean. That is exactly what I mean. Not stop and start. Um, I've got one thread there, which is annoying me. Always cut your threads as you go. Okay, so we've got our elements that we need for our bag. So we're gonna just clip that in place and I'll quickly run through how we would finish it because we haven't got much time left, have we? Don't worry, we're running over slightly because we didn't come into your hour till late. So I'm clipping those in place. But what I want to actually do is just check 
the placement on my template that I've got that correct. So we want to line up those bits. And that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to baste those in place along that edge, just so that I know that those are really strongly there. And you can see that it's starting to come together, mm -hmm. can't you? <gasps> yes. <laughs> So I always use a long stitch. This on my is basting. where you're walking for, and your long stitch is going to help, isn't it? Yeah, it's exactly. It's bulky now. Yeah, it's bulky, and maybe even a hump jumper, which I don't have. But let's see how we go. Single figures of the bundle with the cork in. Don't need to do a reverse stitch on your basting. I think the only way of getting those glitters now is in that bundle because they've sold out individually. So this is within your seam allowance? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Chrissy says, I'm seeing a smiley face with ears on the cutting mat, Vicky. Which, oh, show us the cutting mat, Charlie. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy, I can't see it, where are the ears? <gasps> Christine, um, Hannah's recommending you have a glass of water. <laughs> Maybe a little snack. <laughs> Because we can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it how my pattern was laid out? I don't know. Christine, help me out. Defend yourself, girl. So we've got our hair pieces there. We're now going to grab our back hair pieces and we want to stitch them together. So we've got our middle one, we've got our A, which is the silver. Mm -hmm. So you can see if I lay them out how they match up, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to sew them right side together to make that back panel. Again, I'm going to clip this. Don't want to use pins. Make sure I go back down to my two and a half stitch length. Don't forget. Studio 7T7, 7T7 with a T in the middle. <laughs> Have a look on YouTube, on Instagram. On YouTube, you will be able to find a full demonstration with chapters. You can stop, you can pause, you can rewind. What great value to be able to get your pattern, your path. You can literally do a sew along with Emma. And if you're stuck on anything, you can watch it again and again and again at your own pace without me interrupting and talking to her. So that's what's brilliant, isn't it? I know that we have the show here where we show you um, a few of the sort of techniques and tips, but it isn't every day that I get to say, you also get a full video tutorial. So And you can you always leave a comment on the video. Oh, I do perfect. check it quite regularly or pop in the Facebook group and um, just put a post in there. There's loads of people in there that will help if I'm not around. I was going to say, I bet there's yeah. quite a few people now have made it who will have uh, top yeah. tips as well and, yeah, and different, doing it in my, different fabrics. Yeah, and a lot of my testers are in there too, so. Um. It's a good chance. Those of you that go to any of the, the quilt shows or buy any unusual fabrics, I always get drawn to iridescence and glitter with beautiful fabrics and you think, just waiting for the right project to come along to use it. <laughs> so maybe you are finally going, aha, I found the pattern that's going to be ideal for this iridescent fabrics I've, I've got. Okay, so that's that bit. Mm -hmm. And then what you would need to do is you want to open it up and you're gonna top stitch down. That's gonna, A, give it a really nice look, but it's also gonna keep that seam allowance really nice and flat. Um, I don't think I've got time for that, have I? But that's what you would do. Okay. And then you would get your back piece. And you can, oh, sorry, no. Then you would put your interfacing on. 
on the back because you do the interfacing after you've done all of that. So you interface it as one, then you put your fusible foam or your fleece on the back and then you would stitch it along that top line so that it's like that. And with any luck, it lines up like mine has. Oh, beautiful. I do love it. Um, do we have time to show anything else, Hannah? <coughs> keep going, I'll keep going, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Excuse me. The with the eyes and the nose that that come with it, there are um, the actual, as well as being on here with the placement, and you've got your magnetic snap placement and all of that. You get these eyes separately, so you can cut them out. You can use a felt, or I've used heat transfer vinyl, or you could even embroider it as well. You could yeah. hand embroider it, machine embroider mm -hmm. it. That would look really pretty too. Um, so there's different options for the nose and the eyes. Or well, imagine using metallic thread for the lashes. Oh yeah, that would be amazing. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Okay, so shall I start top stitching yeah, with them? Yeah, fab. Not so many. Um... Whilst Emma's top stitching, I can round up some of these kits to just remind you what it is that you're getting in here. Um, the bundle with the cork, Single figures. Could I come over to Emma's side on the overhead to show you these uh, elements that you get in your um, in your hardware? Because they're absolutely gorgeous. So you've got here your swivel clips. That way. Oh, other way, other right. You've got the swivel clips there, and look at how beautiful these are. That iridescence is amazing. You get these in, in, in both of your kits, all your pattern, in fact, it's included. This is them for your adjustable strap. Um, look at the zip pull. How gorgeous is that? You've got your D-rings and you've got all of your elements for your magnetic fastening, your clasp as well. Um, it also comes with all of your pattern. So that's the pattern that I was talking about uh, and your templates full-size templates, ones that you're going to be able to use and use again um, if you're, you're making this to sell, it's not a problem. You've then also got your zip, which is gorgeous. Look at the zip, Becky. It's got the most amazing rainbow of colour. Never seen these before, they're amazing. Um, and in this bundle, you're also getting half a metre of cork. More than enough to be able to make two, uh, maybe three, maybe even four, if you're careful. Um, you also have glitter fabric. Now, the only way of getting your glitter fabrics is in this bundle. They've all sold out individually. Three different colours. We've cut them into fat quarters, which are big fat quarters because it's extra wide for you. And they are really beautiful quality. All the three colours that Emma's been using in her demo. And then you also get half a metre of your pink, and that's for your lining. That's a cotton. So that's one of your bundles. Um, at the moment, it's oversubscribed. There are about 20 people who are going to be disappointed. Please don't wait to check out on that. Now, the only difference with bundle number two is the fact that you've got a different outer and lining. So you still get exactly the same unicorn, beautiful um, hardware. You get your pattern, you get your zip, you get your uh, template. Now, this time, you get still your three PU glitters. You also have your half a metre of tan for your lining. And this time we've done it in a PU. It still works in a PU. No cork in this one though, no cork. There you go, look, so you can see on the front, there's a silver and a back in PU. So it's up to you which one you'd prefer. Both very, 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 very popular. If you just want the pattern, don't forget the pattern comes with the hardware as well. Uh, so you get all this beautiful iridescent hardware. That is today $29.99. You get your instructions, your templates, and all of the hardware, including uh, your zip for just $29.99. Right, I've got a few minutes still with you, Emma. Okay, so I've top stitched those down. And can you see how flat that is now? That is oh, nice. like a pancake. <laughs> yes. So then what you would do is you would interface on the back and then with your regular interfacing or your medium weight and then you would put on your fusible fleece or foam to give it a bit more structure on the back because obviously you want the whole bag um, to be the same structure. And then you want to line that up. So we can imagine that, I've, that I have interfaced it. And we're going to line that up and clip it in place. But what we want to do is we really want to try and line up those seam lines. Okay, so where that silver goes to the pink, I'm going to put a clip in there, right on the money there. 
and hopefully we can get it right on the money on the next bit and then you could also put um, double-sided tape I mean I use double-sided tape for everything in bag making <laughs> if I can get away with it there you go so useful 6.99 you get 10 meters so useful um, I would stock up on it because it's so useful right I am going to then sew that seam all the way along the one centimeter seam allowance again taking the clips out as I go uh -uh -uh. reverse stitched start I'm hoping that it goes through without a hump jumper without a hump jumper yeah I love that <laughs> this machine can handle it I think but this is another reason why you base them in place so that when you come to this, you don't have to worry about those elements, you know, shifting out of sync. Charlie, I bet you've not seen a humper jumper yet, have you? <laughs> well, we'll leave it to the imagination. Okay, there we go. Has it lined up? Yeah, that's not too bad. Could be a smidge better than that side. There we go. So nice. that would be interface. Yeah. And then that is the start of your bag. Oh, it's going to look amazing, isn't it? That's the front bit underneath. Oops, let me shift over a bit. So yeah, put your. All coming together. You could put your nose on and your uh, eyes at this stage. So you've got your placement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you've got your placement, and then you would go ahead and continue on with the bag. Um, the, if you want to see how the zipper is done, well, A, it's on the video anyway, so that's fine, uh, on YouTube, but also I have shown it on my last sewing street. Oh, nice. Uh, so it's the same technique, yeah, with the zipper, the place, the facing pulled through and then the zipper underneath. Lovely. Thank you so, so much. Thank I'm you. very, very excited about the next day. Don't forget those storage boxes that are behind Emma there are on pre-order. Um, I'm not going to mention Dino again because he is literally going to sell out any second now. Um, do make sure you stay tuned though for Emma's next show at 12 o'clock because we are going to still show you some demonstration even if it has sold out and we've also got the boxes to launch as well. So yes, I'll we'll see you in an hour Emma. Yes. Thank you. Um, if there's any questions that you have about the bag, let us know as well because we can ask Emma at 12 o'clock. But I've got the quilt that's behind Emma coming up in just a moment um susie's brand new quilt it's gorgeous lovely colorways as well all coming up it's got oh yeah we've got to see it in the solid colorway that uh, susie's demoing with it's really beautiful it's coming up don't go anywhere check out your baskets on the last few of these kits and we're back after this hello my name's rebecca harrison uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine. Um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her, she's, uh, she, she's just, I just love her, so her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets, um, probably because of my uh, period background, um, but I just love them, I've got one here, um, I love the structure of them, um, the shape the bones make, I, I just think they're beautiful. Um, and the fact that through the ages they've changed to uh, make women's shape different um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people so um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lo lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, 
yeah, just lot, lots and lots of people. Um, so it was it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to, get, to get sewing. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Welcome back, welcome back. We've all been admiring Susie's brand new quilt behind on the desk the last few hours a star is born i feel like i want to um i want to sing a song a star is born hang on it a was star a film, is born. Judy Garland the film. film well mm. do you see it as a julie garden film i see it as a lady gaga film i've not seen that version yet <gasps> with bradley cooper yeah i haven't seen that version oh you yet. need to watch it you I need know. to watch it I know it's I very do. good oh <laughs> hannah watched it on uh, a flight and she says i only watched half it because then the plane landed oh you need to watch the rest of it it's really good yeah you see that's why i didn't see it because i've got it lined up in my list I haven't quite got to it. Oh, you need to watch it. Oh, this though, do you know when I saw it on the wall, it looks so different in perspective from a distance because you see sort of secondary patterns and the colours yeah. that you've placed so cleverly create secondary patterns. So, Susie's put together four beautiful colourways for us. Um, and of course, you've got your instructions. Now, the one that's on the wall is the one that we're starting with. To be able to say that you're looking at, you know, a really good size quilt here. Um, the finished size, 44 I've seen, inches. yeah, it's 44 inches. So it's yeah. a great size. And look at the price for less than 55 pounds. The amount of fabric you're getting here. Um, and you're saving five pounds. And you're saving five pounds a day. So you're getting four meters four meters of beautiful beautiful fabrics it's the first time i've seen these it's lewis and irene yeah hannah's flowers isn't it hannah's flowers a meter of each of these hannah flowers and then a meter of your solid as well so you've got a meter of all of the different fabrics 53 pounds and 99 pence that is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And you're also getting Susie Duncan's instructions. Those of you that watched the first hour, you saw how thorough the instructions were. Once again, really particular in all of your cutting guides, placement guides, your instructions, step by step. There is your layout diagram. So it's gonna look great in different colors, isn't it? Because wow. when I saw it yeah. on the wall in the pinks, those lovely soft um, pinks and sort of raspberry peachy tones, yes. it looks amazing. But then when I saw a layer diagram, I went, oh, 
That looks yeah. really well, nice. That's the colourway I'm doing today, and I deliberately put a different colourway in the pattern as your block guide, so that you yourselves weren't homed into one colourway because yeah. it's really difficult to visualise in other colours if mm -hmm. you're only seeing one, isn't it? Yeah, so. and and you you are going to use this pattern more than once. Absolutely, yeah. it's a brilliant chance to try out, um, you know, doing lots New of different, blocks. yeah, lots yeah. of different blocks, different colourways. Um, you've also recommended why not personalise it, mm. embroidering it for a new arrival on the border or a wedding, uh, ready. Because if you're gifting a quilt, it can be quite a daunting thing. But also, you want to spend that time and that love going into it, but. This isn't overwhelmingly, you know, it's not an 80 square quilt. No, no, no. It's Absolutely not overwhelming not. to piece, not overwhelming to quilt, but it's still. No, it's doable easily yeah. within a couple of days. Yeah. You could have done this, but it is, it's a perfect size for, any, for a lap. Yeah. Um, Where are the blocks? But, so you, they're all done on point. Ah. It's done diagonally. Um, so, and because I wanted this star arrangement in the middle. Yeah. And then star, it, like extending arms that way because as you said as you look That's at it clever. further away you mm -hmm. see different things well I, I think it's got a lot of movement to it yeah. almost looks like a big pinwheel a yeah, big sort of windmill exactly. that's spinning as well as that floral center I'm drawn yeah. to different elements and then as you talk through it there are parts that I thought I haven't spotted that yeah. yet you keep seeing it takes you on yeah. a different journey so there's it? four different blocks in it okay so you can easily um yeah it's an easy one to put together and they're quite big blocks as well mm -hmm. so then you're not got loads and loads of piecing to do and if you want to extend it obviously you can make more blocks to go out you can just put in plain blocks mm -hmm. if you wanted to but yeah as a play quilt for a baby this is a perfect size because yeah. it's you know plenty big enough for them to roll around and, and lie on but you could embroider either with your machine or hand oh. then um, I would do like the name on one side the date they were born yeah. and the weight and all of those sorts of things around the outsides equally for weddings yeah. to give as a gift as a, a, wet, a quilt for a wedding because you can use it as a picnic blanket absolutely picnic blanket exactly. snuggle up on the sofa yeah. and, it's and then you be could just put their wedding date and their names on and then no one has a reason to forget their wedding anniversary <laughs> <laughs> good idea uh, 53.99 so that's for your peach colourway now as you said the layout diagram yeah that just looks a completely different quilt it's going to look completely different we have matched it so well now this is Susie I know that you have a lot of input in the fabrics that are chosen for your projects <laughs> yeah. don't you yeah I'm not fussy at all <laughs> look at the price look okay. at the price 24.99 that's mental for a quilt that is ridiculous actually ridiculous you are getting your fabrics and your instructions to make a full quilt for 24.99 i told you it was going to be an exciting day yeah. there you go there's another treat for you that is absolutely bonkers what hang on i should have saved this to the last i did not know that this was going to be ridiculously affordable that's amazing um, to be able to make a finished quilt 24.99 yeah. there is no excuse now because don't get me wrong i understand we've got a, a summer breeze mode of quilt kit that's on the wall behind that um that quilt kit that's behind susie there i think that's 100 pounds and i understand if you're starting out quilting you think do you know what it's a bit of an investment if i don't get on with it whereas this you've got no excuse you're making the size that's on the wall behind susie for 24.99 that is without a doubt the most affordable quilt kit i've ever seen for the size that you're making that is so good um you're getting a meter of each of these colors a meter of each there are rose and hubble beautiful quality quilting weight cottons and you're getting your instructions we haven't compromised on the quality of the fabric we haven't said oh you kind of just got to you know watch the demo and work it out yourself this is including your instructions and Susan's going to be demoing with it as well. <laughs> so you're going to see this um, in your graphics. Grab it whilst you can, though, because that does not happen. I can't believe that. Twenty four ninety nine for a quilt mad. kit. Phone lines have gone bananas, by the way. Be, that would be in that colourway. I think it's a really good um, thing to do if you're a nursery school teacher or reception year teacher yeah. to do as your reading corner mat. Yeah. Because you've got colours you can talk about as well and shapes in there. So it'd be a really good bright mat for your. 
pupils to sit on. Oh, do you know what? Twenty four ninety nine. I will find a place for this <laughs> colourway. It will go everywhere in my house. I'll take it everywhere. I will put it in the car. Yeah. You know, to take then just if I'm g going to a park or to a picnic. Yesterday I went to um, it was the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games, and where I live they had like a festival park. Loads of people were out with picnics, and I did think I should just keep. A picnic blanket in my yeah. car. This could be the I one. I do. A twenty-four ninety-nine that you keep in the I've car. I've always got a picnic blanket in my car. Yeah. And a pair of walking shoes. But well, there you go. <laughs> this is the one uh, to go with, isn't it? Twenty-four ninety-nine. Okay, that is definitely going to sell out. It's going wild in the aisles. Still, winter would say. Right. Shall we do? Oh, uh, it would be Ange. Ange, so this well, this would be lovely in Christmas fabric as yes, well. Yes, it would. Yes. Make it again at Christmas. Yeah, because you've got the stars in the middle, so that you could turn those into poinsettias. If you've got some um, deep reds <laughs> or bright reds, you could turn those into poinsettias easily. And then you could even put a button in the middle of them to be yeah. your stamen centre. Oh, lovely. Um, in fact, just while we're talking about that then, Ange, if you want to do it in Christmas, there's your pattern on its own. You need a metre of each colour, yeah. and how many colours it's do I need four. to pick? Four colours. Yeah. So you, you need four metres in total. And that's for your and binding that, included? That would include your binding. The only thing you have to add extra is your wadding and your backing. Brilliant. Just £9.99, and that's for your foil instructions. Maybe have a look on the website. Pick your solids, two units of um, two of your solids. You could go two solids and then pick two, two designer fabrics. Uh, hi, Vicky and Susie. Brilliant bargain. Bought mine on pre order. I'll have to wait till I'm back sewing after my operation next Friday. Oh, I'll hope it goes well, Jackie. Thinking yes, about you. Good luck. Oh, well, I'm pleased that you've got something exciting to look forward to after your recovery. Um, now i've got another bundle which we were talking about new babies or you know um children's editions i think a lot of people start quilting because With of the a baby whether it be yeah. a new arrival of someone else or on their maternity leave yeah. or when their children are little a lot of people start sewing for that reason um, and this one is perfect it's so pretty little duckling a little duckling it's moda absolutely brilliant it's one. gorgeous now you're getting a meter of this gorgeous duckling fabric <gasps> even if you think of another project if you're kitting out a nursery get this bundle for less than 50 pounds and then you've got the pattern for fabrics in your stash you've also got a meter of this one oh gorgeous they work together so beautifully and yeah. actually even when you're you know sub cutting these into squares yeah. You're not going to lose any of these prints. You're not, because you've got lots of detail there. And it doesn't matter that it's one direction, because you'll move. A quilt doesn't necessarily get put down the way you think it is. OK. So it doesn't matter with one directional fabrics that you, where you cut and place them, because they're all going to be the right way up at some point in the quilt. Um, right, so hang on, hang on, Hannah. I can hear you in my ear. <laughs> Just before you do that, look at the graphics five pound saving there is a five pound saving on this okay there's no stopping her now she knows how much you love a bargain today look at that another five pound off and the crowds go wild cheering in the background 44.99 hannah's saying while the boss is away the hannah's all play 44.99 you're now getting 10 pound saving and can i say I can't explain. Right, can you just have a feel of this? Yeah, no, Moda is beautifully soft. Why is it soft. so soft? It's beautifully soft. It's almost, it feels like it's got a conditioner on it. It hasn't. <laughs> I'm just but it does, it feels so but it's soft. it's really soft. So for little people's oh. quilts, this would be amazing. Well, to be fair, I'd like it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Little it's it's really aren't just for babies, are they? powder blue colour, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's beautiful. Really, really, really beautiful. Really beautiful. £10 saving now. And uh, do you know the reason we've done that? Just because we had that bargain one before. I should have waited till the end and then this one wouldn't have been dropped. Uh, you would have... Um, well, Hannah's saying, do you know what? I'm just in that mood today. It's payday, isn't it? So hoping that everybody can afford to get another new project. <laughs> Um, in their stash. This is a beautiful quilt for £44.99. Moda designer quilt bundle. Gorgeous. Right, no pressure. Single figures on that one. No pressure, Hannah. Okay, I don't think we are going to be able to stop this. Um, there is a £5 saving. There you go. Before we've done it, it's a £5 saving. You've got your instructions. You've got a metre of your blue. 
Uh, that's a really lovely blue. And then we've got a metre of your... Is this called an uh, Ohio star? What's that block called in? Or just a star? Yeah, I think it is a higher star, that block. Um, you've then also got... This is a bit more... Um, masculine actually if you're making yeah. this if you struggle with you know gents gifts for gents this is really lovely this is your picnic unisex. in the park yeah blanket because when it goes dark and the fireworks are going off this would be a really good one for that <gasps> oh absolutely not that i've done many picnics in the park but i'm busy with fireworks going <laughs> yeah. off where are you picnicking oh, yeah. i even went to um i went to michael buble a few weeks ago at warwick castle i think it was just before i saw you wasn't it yeah oh it was amazing but there was a song and i was like right it's where the fireworks are gonna go off and there weren't any fireworks Nothing. but Probably but weren't allowed. Yeah. yeah. Um, 56 99 and you're getting all four metres, a metre of each mode of fabric. You've also got your Rosen Hubble and your instructions. There's already five pounds off. I don't mean to peer pressure you, but you did it on the others, you've got to do it. There you go. Ten pounds <laughs> lower than if you were to purchase all of these individually. She keeps pressing, That's you can't madness. hear it luckily, I can, well, but I can hear you can hear the sound way. desk. She's pressing the cheer button over and over again. Yeah, hooray! Whatever you put in that coffee first thing. This <laughs> <laughs> is so exciting though, isn't it? It's so exciting. Maybe it was the yoghurt. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very, 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 very busy. Just to remember, you get the pattern on its own as well if you want it, £9.99. All of the bundles are very, 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 very busy. Remember, you're saving £10 off both of those Moda ones. Um, and just while we're talking to bargains, those of you that missed it earlier, mm. I haven't spoken about it for a couple of hours, the rotating cutting mat is back in stock. The pink one is back in stock. It's brilliant value for money. We've done some comparisons this morning. It's one that locks into place as well as spins a full 360. So useful to have in your stash when you're working with you know, a rotary cutter and doing patchwork. Two thirds of the stock has gone. It's just 16.99. And both Susie and Emma both own this. They both have this one in their craft room. Um, there is also the one that Susie's leaning on at the moment, which is the 18 inch green cutting mat. That's just 32 99 And the same one we saw online. Yes, it came with a quilted bear um, rotary cutter as well, but it was over £100. Mm, madness. Please, please, please get it from us whilst it's in stock. 32 99 that is brilliant, including your PMP at 3 95 One PMP all day if you bought something already. Ah, oh, Susie, yes. I love these solid colours. Uh, yeah, I do. I think that that was the colourway I originally designed it in. Right. And then when I was looking through for you know, more fabric bundles, the, the peach one popped out, and then we you know, put the others together. But the um, yeah, the, I love bright colours. And I think the, in the monochrome, um, it's not monochrome, is it? In this block colour rather than pattern, mm. the design really pops out. It does. And that's why I think you're absolutely right. For Christmas, doing these in reds would look absolutely glorious. And then you could have these as your trees. Sorry, I'm now getting carried away oh, in green. So exciting. <laughs> so I'm going to have to redesign it now for Christmas. So um, the everything you get in your kit you need um, you will have leftovers but you need to add your backing and wadding to this I mm -hmm. I would recommend if it's going to be for a child I wouldn't use 80 20 cotton I would go for the um, polyester wadding mainly because it's really washable mm. and if you're going to gift this to anybody um, in hospital or as uh, one of the Linus quilts, for example, then it has to be a polyester awarding because they have to, because uh, of the way it's processed mm -hmm. in their laundry, then they have to be able to use that. Um, that's just an, a by the by. But the um, there's enough in there for your binding. As with the cushion earlier today, with this one, you do have to decide which fabric is going to do what. Um, which is probably the task that will take you two cups of tea or drink of your choice whilst you're reading the instructions because it's really hard to choose that. Yeah. I find it difficult. And I sit with the fabric in front of me folding it to make the various sort of shapes to see how it runs together. Um, and that's what I would do. And then make yourself a little note either on the pattern. I have given you a page for you to make your own notes. So you could always staple a swatch of the 
fabric to it. Mm, good idea. And then you'd know what was what, and then you don't get lost. Um, so there's four different blocks. There's one really tricky one that you start with, which is triangles. So basically you cut your squares and then you get your ruler, she says, having left it on the floor. And you place it diagonally. I've layered mine up. Make sure if you're going to layer that they do line up exactly so that you're cutting a true diagonal. And I, do, I did treat, as I always do with all my fabric, all of the fabrics as I press them originally with best press. So I'm just cutting them in half. So nice. that's that block done. Yay! We'll find both of those things for you, best press and the ruler coming up. Okay, so then um, the other easy one to do, so if you if you cut everything out and you've only got half an hour till you've got to go and do something else, you can do these ahead of schedule, is your four patch. So, which is a classic block that is a really good filler as well. So you just want these oriented and you want them all in the same way because if you start muddling it up, it's all going to go a bit wonky when you put it all together. So this is the side that I'm going to stitch. So I'm just going to put a pin in that side and that's the side I'm going to stitch. And it's a quarter inch seam and you stitch those two together, press the seams in opposite directions. Do you want me to do this one? Go for it. Yeah. Let's put that away before someone messages me and tells me I haven't done that. So because it's just two layers of fabric, I can use the normal stitch length on this. And we can chain piece as well. There's your best press. The only one that we have at the moment is the lavender and vanilla, which is my personal preference. I love the smell of it. Oh, I love the lavender one. Just makes you worry. It's not really lovely tell you, as well, doesn't it? Tell you what else I use that for, the lavender one. Um, I spray my bedding with it. Okay. Because lavender's really good. It make, It's a good calming smell as an essential oil. So not just... Are you ironing it? You just no, literally spray it as I like a pillow. Literally spray in the morning and then just before we go to bed. So it's all got lavender smell. It's oh, lovely! Very soporific. Was it you who told me I was tried that with Maisie? Yeah, yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yes. Oh, lavender. I love lavender. Yeah. I oh, went. You have to go. It's near us, actually. You're not too far from me. Um, lavender Fields in yes. the Cotswolds. It's beautiful. Yeah. See, that's another um, thing I carry in the car. Is lavender? Yeah. Because if you have an injury, like you trip over when you're walking or whatever, you can just put the lavender oil neat on it and the bruise comes out. It promotes healing. Uh -huh. It's brilliant. Takes swelling down. Absolutely love it. Yeah. I don't go anywhere without lavender. So I've ironed my seams in opposite directions. I sound like a real weirdo, don't I now? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just going to place those two together. And you see, by putting them in opposite directions, when I bring them together, the seams nestle really nicely. Oh, yeah, because you want that nice, especially against the white, you want that crisp Absolutely. finish. Absolutely, yeah. So I'll put a pin in at that point, And then I'll pin the sides as well, just to keep everything in place. Or you can use clips, of course. And then... I'm going to switch to the quarter inch foot because it's so much easier. <laughs> and it's so easy to switch on these machines. Oh yeah, you might as well make the most of all those little feet that you get as standard. Are you camping this weekend, Susie? What is no, your plans? We've got family, a, f a family event going on tomorrow. Oh, lovely. And Sunday will be an allotment day. <laughs> nice. Well, um, no, we haven't got rain this weekend, have we? I think it's supposed to be no, nice. No, I could desperately do with rain because then I haven't got to do too much at the too much <laughs> watering. But um, yeah, I just there's, we've got a couple of projects. Simon's come up, decided he's going to build bits up there, and we're trying to clear the next section as well. So there we go. We've done another block. Mm -hmm. So you're going to make four of every block. So 
it's an easy one to remember, so we can put that to one side. Now the next one we're going to look at is the windmill, which is this block. And this, I was really chuffed with this one. Um, as you're making it, you're making both an A version and a B version. If you notice, the colours are on the oh, yeah. inside on the A and the outside on the B. Right. And the reason I've done it so that they're two different ones in the pattern is because it saves fabric. You don't right. have to keep making blocks and not using them. So the way you start is by making a half square triangle with two pieces. We're going to use the white and the teal. So we're going to use our Creative Grids ruler, or you can use your Add a Quarter ruler, whichever works for you. And I'm going to draw a, a line a quarter of an inch away from the central diagonal. Um, that's why we like this ruler, actually, because it it's is. got that frosted section that is exactly a quarter of an inch already there as a guide Genius for you. Genius idea. Well, you can tell, can't you, Creative Grids are made by quilters. Absolutely. They know what yeah. we need. They are definitely the tools that you need in your stash. If you're new to this, they are a must because they just save you so much time and effort. Definitely. That one's your eight, uh, six and a half, eight and a half. I can't quite see the graphics. What is it? Six this and a half. This is the by six and a half, half by twelve and a half. Perfect. Which for me, so when I first started, that was the first ruler I bought. Then I bought the Stripology. Then I bought the um, six and a half by 24, 24. and a half. Mm -hmm. And then I've gradually built up all the others as well. Because even though you have one, you'll find that the others work for you in different ways. As we were saying this morning with the Stripology Mini, Mini yeah. versus the Stripology Squared, you do find you need the, e the features on them all mm -hmm. eventually. It's not just an excuse to buy more, honestly. <laughs> And look, we've got to change the foot back again because we don't want a quarter inch foot on there. But um, yeah, having the right tools for the job makes a the the job more pleasurable, but more successful as mm -hmm. well. You get the results yeah. that you want. And if you're enjoying what you're doing, then why not have the right things to do it with? So I'm just stitching down those lines. Now I'm not chain piecing on this occasion. So the trick I've got is take the needle up, lift the foot, bring the thread out a bit and turn yourself round and start again the other way. So that's that one done. So I can take my clips out. And we're going to chop that in half down the centre. So this has created us our half square triangle. Now I'm going to press this to the dark side. So I'll set the seam first and then press to the dark side. Oops. I'm not trimming anything yet on this because we're going to match it with another square. I think for anybody who's starting out as well, doing it with solids really helps that you don't get a bit baffled with the whole right yeah. side, wrong side, which is the right way to exactly, do it together. Exactly, because it doesn't matter. So you'll need two of your opposing colour, so in this case pink, and I'm just going to place it over the top, making sure that they're squares, and this time I'm going to draw my quarter inch lines in the opposite way to the seam we've just made. Mm -hmm. So this would be what you would do if you were doing a quarter square triangle, but we're doing not a quarter square, we're doing thirds, and I don't know what the technical name for that is, but it looks amazing when you do it. And you'll see why you need to make two when we've done this. So that's the first one, and before it moves, I'm gonna put pins in. That's one. Let's do the same with this one. So if I just draw my line in first. Trying 
Charlie's off to a wedding this weekend, his oh, cousin's he? wedding, but he um, oh, had excellent. the party last night. Yes. And it's making me tired, the thought of you staying up till half one last night. That's too late. You see, that's when I normally... Oh my gosh, Susie. Well, tonight is a late night for me anyway. Every Friday, I don't see this side of midnight because I do Facebook Live at 10 o'clock. So. Do you? Mm. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. I'll have to yeah. find you. Is it on it's Susie Duncan Creative no, Designs? What, what, it's on is it? Paper Tray Inc. Okay. Live at five, it is. Live at five? Yeah, because it's five o'clock in the US. Oh, <laughs> my word. <laughs> so they're all sat there thinking, yay, the weekend starts. And I'm thinking, I really need to go to bed. <laughs> How long are your Facebook Lives then? Um, they vary. Tonight's will be a longer one because it's a craft along. So oh, OK. I set a, um, a craft, a, a, a theme and a thing that we do at the end of every month. I announce it in the middle of the month so that people can get themselves organised and tonight we're doing a technique, an inking technique. Oh, I love how much you do. You do all sorts, don't you? Yeah, I do far too much, really. <laughs> I don't know how you have the time. It's because I don't go to bed, that's why. Yeah, exactly. So this one we can chain piece because we've got two of them. Can you do it in your pyjamas, though? Uh, don't tell anyone, but, but yes. I do. Yeah, pajama bottoms. Because all they see is my hands. Oh, okay. So it's perfect. But we've had real technical issues over the last couple of weeks. Um, we've got feedback going on on oh, my voice, God. or echo going on on my voice, and we can't work out why. Are you technical? Are you good with things no. like that? No. No. <laughs> do I look like I'm a technical person? I don't know, I think we've all had to get a bit technical, haven't yeah. we, over the last couple of years? I remember when we first went into lockdown and we'd, none of us had ever heard of Zoom or had never, I'd never even see, tried to do that. No, you see, that side of life I was used to because I'd worked trans, for transatlantic companies, so I was used to operating like that. Okay. Um, but it's it's the, when, the graphic mm, side of life no. that throws me so it's an upward learning curve I say that Kilimanjaro is easier to mount so <laughs> climb some days so now we're going to do what we've done before and cut those in half and we're saving everything we are not getting rid of anything as yet suppose we all have to go down that technical route now, don't we? My mum, she's yeah. just updated her iPhone and she said, uh, it's no point me sort of sitting in, uh, you know, saying, no, I don't want to, I like my old ways of this, everything, yeah. banking, everything, it's all online, isn't it? Absolutely, everything is online nowadays. Pressing towards... Pressing towards the dark, dark side. side. And you can see <gasps> how clever oh, is I love that? that love these units I love this colours together as well yeah I'm a big fan of there's only two of those bundles left is there <laughs> not surprised that was an absolute bargain I mean look that at the price crazy. I'm not saying it again if you're watching you can see it there it's that crazy. is crazy 24.99 so we've got four of these and we need to cut these down so we're going to use our mini stripology for that um, so when you've got your squares, obviously you're going to draw these, uh, you're going to divide them up as well. So we've got some already made, but you can see you get two with the block one way and two with the block the other. So if I divide them up, you can see, which gives you your different squares. So now you're going to trim these, and these need to be trimmed because your, your block size is eight, uh, eight and a half unfinished. So we're going to trim these down so that these are four and a half inch squares. And you can use your mini stripology for this, you can use a square ruler, whichever works for you. So if I trim these down, so again, you're going to use that diagonal line and the one in the middle going the other way to, to the, align that white dotted Gosh, I didn't realise how useful this stripology is for this See technique. I mean. Whenever I talk about it, I'm talking about like, you know, smaller cuts, but actually for, no, for squaring up your blocks. I mean, I, 
literally have mine out. Mine never gets put away in my ruler bag. It's always out on my desk. Because it, it's not impossible to do it with your ruler, obviously. No, but what I it's find just it difficult quicker. is to get the accuracy of the evenness, do you know what I mean? If, yeah. if I'm doing it with my ruler, I'm, I'm scared I'm going to make that cut and I'm going to do it wrong. Whereas yeah. with that, you know, it's because right. you've got a square, it's right. Yeah. But also, it's this, just the speed. I did a quilt, oh, I don't know, I can't remember when it was. It wasn't that long ago, actually. But when I read the instructions, you know how you said you open a mm -hmm. quilt and it says, like, you need 300 and something or other. My quilt pattern did say you need 382 half square triangles of this. And three. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, I'm going to be forever cutting down half square triangles. Again, in my pattern, I've allowed an inch bigger than you need to create your block at uh, your half square triangles mm -hmm. um, and that is purely because if you're not accurate or saying if you're a beginner and you haven't quite got your quarter inch eye in it allows you a bit of leeway and mm -hmm. you'll still end up with a nice crisp four and a half inch block because the whole thing of quilting is accuracy when you're piecing if you're not accurate it does it goes all wonky mm -hmm. and it's it becomes a whole nother project, doesn't it? So, um, We've had a message come in saying, lovely quilt. Is this something that's quite easy? As Susie spoke of the difficult bits in the pattern. So I suppose if you're, again, a new new to quilting, there's great yeah. skill building techniques in this, isn't there? Yes, there are. There, so I've chosen simple things. And if you, if you work the blocks in the order that they're printed so you do your triangles first then you do your four patch and then you move on you actually are building your skill level within the pattern itself and your confidence because you start with something that's really simple cutting one line you know to the last star block which is a lot of piecing and half square triangles so you're gaining a lot of knowledge as well as confidence through the, the story. But at the end of it, you've got this amazing quilt that mm -hmm. comes together quite quickly. So once you've got them all cut, and you're going to repeat that for, so you've got the four sets, you then need to divide them up so you've got the relevant ones coming together and you can make your blocks. So I'm just making sure, look, I missed a dog ear there. Let's get rid of that. So I want all of these ones there. That's one of those ones. You go dizzy after a while looking at these. <laughs> I was laying these out the other day and I kept looking at it thinking, well, that's not right. Why isn't that one working? And it's because I'd got a piece upside down. This is why it's good to actually it have is. have that, pi that Your looking image at you. there, looking at you. Because you just see the pinwheel, it's hard then actually it to is. put it together. Yeah, and if that. you remember that you should never have the same colours touching. Oh, I've okay, got that wrong, how have I got that one? Is that one not the right one? Yeah, that is the right one. That's because it goes like that, Suze, that's how. Does no, it? it doesn't. No, it goes no. up so the right angle is on the left hand side it of the goes. pink. That's it. That's it. No, but that one's that wrong. So that it's one I've is... That's right. No, that's you've done wrong. that one. Yeah, that, that's, that's it. it. Right, we've got there. <sighs> so it's a double pinwheel. That's so amazing. I love looks that. Looks cool. And then the other one, if I do that one, let's move that one up. This one does the opposite. So this does this. So you've got, you'll have the teal on the outside of yep, this one. That's it. And then you pink at the top. There you go. That's so, so you've cool. got your white becomes <gasps> the inner. Wow. Oh, and I love makes, that block. It's really cool, isn't it? And then what you'd do is you'd stitch these two together. And the seams will nestle because of, we've, we've pressed in one direction, i.e. to the dark side. So again, I'd put a pin in along that side because I know that's where I'm stitching. And the same here, you'd pin those and stitch down those. And then once you've got those rows stitched, you'd then press that seam open. Well, I press open, but it's up to you. You can press them to opposite directions. And then you'll put those two together with a quarter inch seam. 
and you end up with, oh, I haven't got a finished one here, but you end up with the windmill block. Love it, I love that. So, so that's number two. Yeah, so you repeat, you'll actually you repeat that those. twice. Okay. Um, you Well, you have a to you do that twice to give you your four blocks because mm -hmm. you're doing, you're four making two at once in effect. So that's that one, so we're whizzing through this now. So the last one to do is your star block. Now this is the one that forms the central bit here. And again, you're doing four of them. This is what we're aiming at. I have made one. Here's one I made. Oh, I love that as well. Looks cool, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Really cool. Um, but it is all half square triangles oh. put together to make that effect. No, it's different to the one that's yeah, on the Yeah, it is different to a higher square star, yeah. Um, so it is a question of getting. So we can make, let's quickly make a half square triangle because I need these two. I've done all the others. So we're going to draw our line in again. So remember, it's the quarter inch mark on your ruler goes down the diagonal, or you add, use your add a quarter ruler, and then you mark a quarter of an inch away from that. Turn it round and do exactly the same the other way. And then we're going to pin those so that they're together. Remember, if you've got directional fabric or a patterned fabric, it's right sides together. Doesn't matter with plain. Oh, I'm excited to see these on the fan page. Make sure you tag Susie on them as well. Yes, please do, because I'd love to see all the versions that people make. It's good. To, I love sharing ideas and projects and seeing what happens. take those pins out because they'll get underneath the ruler and we're going to cut down the middle along that central diagonal seam. I think the solid colourway that um, Susie's working with is now sold out. If any ping back onto the website, grab them. Uh, there were like over 30 of you who had them still in your basket. The instructions are on their own, they're 9 99 that's your main graphic at the moment and you do have um, the layout diagram that has that beautiful bright colour. So have a bit of a play, have a bit of a think about what yeah. colours you want to put together. Oh, I think it, it's one of those designs that you can really go to town on. And um, I mean, I think the navy version is yeah. going to look phenomenal, really good. So we've got our two half square triangles. These ones get cut to two and a half inches. So again, I'm going to use my stripology squared going to run the diagonal line along that seam we've just sewn and I'm going to use the two and a half inch markings. I'm well, thinking about it, up. the solids that you've got in all the other bundles are yeah. light. Yes. That's the only one that's got the darker background. It's going to look really cool, isn't Stunning. it? Those big triangles yeah. around the sides. Exactly. It's really going to make it home. That's why I said it was really bright and good for a school, you know, for a mm. school or nursery. And a play mat as well because you'll find all the bits this would have been a really good lego mat mm -hmm. <laughs> in my house we wouldn't have lost all the tiny little bits that we spent hours looking for uh, it's my friend's little boy's birthday and i've bought him a lego set um and i know she's going to curse me because there's lots of I love lots of little oh, bits. We have you ever trodden on Lego? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my word, it yeah. really hurts, doesn't it? No, a Playmobil sword, that really hurts. Oh, we you need to get storage boxes from the next we hour. We do, yeah. They'll be good for all your little Lego bits. So yeah. treading on them. We'd have needed about a million of those <laughs> of Lego we had in our house. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Are you saving it for Ben? No, 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 no. I don't, it's I, gone. It's gone, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Just so you know as well, the pink rotating cutter mat, yes, it's back. It is back, Sally. It's in stock at sixteen ninety nine for the 12-inch square. And that is in pink. It's amazing in pink. Right, we're going to... 
so lay these out now in the order that um, it says on the diagram. The middle is quite is another pinwheel, so you should be used to laying pinwheels by the time you get to this one, if you've done it. And your pink ones and oh, I've done that one already. Where does that one go? That one goes there. Then. Is that right? Yeah. There we go. We've done one already. I'm ahead of us. That goes like that, and then that one goes that way. So then we're going to stitch each row together. So okay, so you do it into these. pairs. This goes into pairs. It is an idea to lay it out like you have yeah. to the left-hand side of your sewing machine so you can literally, if you're unsure, you could do this pair by pair That's so you know. Because exactly. I get scared that I think, oh, I've done that in the wrong one. I'm yeah. getting a bit discombobulated. No, this is how I work all the time. I always have it all laid out and, and I work in pairs. I pin the seam that I'm supposed to be sewing. That's a good idea. Um, and then I lay them in rows sets so i know that's that row and i know these are that row so i know exactly where i'm up to because so otherwise i find if i hold a piece from here yeah. to here on yeah. the sewing machine You've it forgotten. will have done yeah. a 360 yeah. turn it will have flipped Absolutely. over and i go i have no idea what i'm sewing anymore yeah. i've no I've, idea what this even is i've even from I here mean, to here <laughs> my work table i is a long table and i work at the sewing machines at one end then i've got a, a um, pressing area and then I've got my cutting area that end. So literally, I'm By walking the time got to there. from there to there. I have lost yeah. pieces of fabric. <laughs> Where does it go? It's ridiculous. Crazy. Well, we do have that zone here in the studio that there is literally like a gap in the universe. Yeah. That you don't know what goes on in this middle part of the studio because it will never be seen. There's a bit of gap there, and that's where probably all the fabric bits get lost. Yeah, there's certainly a lot stashed down. You there, must have one of those in your uh, in your sewing room as well. No, then. I just accuse the dog. <laughs> To be fair, I don't think he's ever eaten anything like that. He did used to use, I've got um, a little scraps bag that hangs off the side of the desk. And he used to come in and nudge the bottom of that so it spilled over the floor when he was a puppy. <laughs> and he ate threads, because that's literally all that goes in it. But that's about as destructive as he ever got on that score. Oh. There we go. So we've got that one going on here. So that now goes to this one. And then we've got to get these the right way around. That one goes like that, that one goes like that. I was looking, if, have you got a square in the centre? But you haven't. Those no. pinks then make a square, don't they? Yeah. If, my, if I'm right As you said, the more you look at it, the more you see different things yeah. in it really clever very clever design which is why when you come to choosing your fabrics very often it doesn't really matter too much because you get a different look with different placement so you could probably make it in the same fabrics but in different order mm. and get a completely different looking quilt do you love designing? I do love designing yeah there's a lot goes into it isn't there? yeah hours yeah <laughs> hours um yeah and then of course you have to write it write the instructions mm. um which is interesting i do a lot of my designing i do on dog walks <laughs> yeah really yeah <laughs> hendrix and i got a good is your dog called hendrix hendrix is yeah. this because you love the gin yes <laughs> <laughs> or jimmy no it's the gin it is the gin yeah other ones are available, but yeah, that is one of my Hendrix favorites. is a good gin. Yeah, yeah, he's, a, he's an interesting character. Um, but yeah, because I do a long walks, like today I'll go out with him when I get back, and we do, it, uh, we do at least five miles. That's a short walk for us. Wow. And um, yeah, all the time we're walking, if I'm not talking to him about what's going on around us in way of nature then I'm talking to him about the next design and how if you stitch along this bit and then turn it that way and if you do this bit and we'll need six inches of that and anyone who walks past me must I was think going I'm to completely say. deranged <laughs> <laughs> totally. 
to be um, fair. No one ever walks past. Becky Alexander Frost. That cannot be the first time you've seen this iron. She just put, OMG, I need that iron yes. in my life. Oh, Becky, you so do need this iron. It is awesome. Becky is amazing. Look, I mean, it never it's gets on. I've just got so excited. I've took away yeah. a piece out. Um, that if touch you, sensitive yeah. is amazing, isn't it? it yeah, it is. Because if you just touch it, when it's you can put it you can put it down like a conventional iron but you don't need to but it you don't need to it still raises the foot so that it switches the thermostat down but the minute you pick it up it's there if you leave it it switches off if you drop it it switches itself off completely not that i am advocating you dropping your say your iron but it's really thought through and the fact that it's got this deep recess so mm -hmm. when you're ironing round buttons and cuffs and things oh. is just phenomenal she says no i've absolutely she says i use it in the last demo she says i keep looking at it though and she says i've asked for one <laughs> yeah you do need one so all i'm doing now is stitching rows together right sides together and i'm seam matching so i've pressed all my seams open so i'm just making sure that those all line up as I'm bringing those together and that way your block should be neat and tidy when you come to we've got about five minutes it. left so easy. we will we should easily get this done in that well shit that's tempting fate isn't it you watch now the thread will break the machine needle will break <laughs> oh no something will happen Do you suggest cutting out your borders and things like that first? So the, my tip with the borders, and I've put this in the pattern, is I've told you the width of fabric cut to do, so I think it's one and a half or two inches. I don't then subcut that down to the length you think it's going to be. I always work with the full width of fabric because then if I'm slightly out when I've pieced, Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter right and I trim once I've pressed the border away and that way um, you're not really you're not wasting fabric but you're also saving heartache when you're half an inch short or whatever um, so that's how I do my borders all the time I use a longer length than I think I need because then I can just trim it into place and I always trim after I've pressed, not before, so that I've got the right placement. Mm -hmm. Whoops, that didn't cut for some reason. There we go. So those two are done. So now we've just got to stitch those two together. Will these seam nests? Yeah, these are all nesting because we've I've pressed open. So as long as you press in opposite directions. You know, even rows one way, odd rows the other, then they will all nest nicely. So you get nice matching points. Yeah, ticks my box. And you haven't got, there aren't, um, apart from the central seams, there aren't loads of seam matching. But as you were saying, it is a good one for practicing a lot of techniques and placement and it is satisfying when they do match oh so you'll feel very very professional though and once you've got all the right gear then you like we said about having the right tools for the job not only is it really sort of pleasurable to work with them but also you find your results are better she yeah. said to me she says i'd like one of those eyes too she says but thanks to sewing street i'm rapidly turning into the all all the gear no idea girl but I, I know it can get a bit addictive can't it that you think oh i need to get one of those I need to get one of those but actually as you're going through your your sewing journey or yeah. even you know with an iron these if you buy them once by right they last the test of time as well absolutely i mean when you buy a car you buy the best you can you do your research when you buy a telly you do the same so why not do it for the things that you use day in, day out, mm -hmm. um, that seemingly look as if they're just a gadget? Well, they're not. They're something that is a useful tool. They've been invented for a reason. So use that reason. Save time for doing things, making memories in other ways mm -hmm. is my philosophy in life. 
So I'm pressing these seams open because it just reduces the bulk, particularly in the middle. You can see how many seams we've got coming together in the middle. And remember, in quilting, we don't iron, we press. We're not there like dressmakers are with their irons, pressing. Uh, they, when they say press, they are actually ironing. We're pressing. And that's holding those seams and the fabric into place. Yeah, because you've got quite a lot of seams there. You've got a you? lot, yes. Do watch your fingers. <laughs> and then if you flip it and do it from the other side as well, it flattens every all the seams down. So you're going to make four of this block as well. And then when you come to put them together, there we go. No, I've done that one wrong. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, done that one wrong. So <gasps> that's an unpick job, but I don't have to unpick it all. So if you are have done it wrong, I knew I'd done something wrong, um, you can go in with your unpicker. Well, mine's stuffed in a bag. Oh, somewhere. it's because I jinxed you so yeah. we'll definitely be able to do it if I So you it. would un just unpick those two, those three seams, and then you can reverse it. You don't have to unpick the whole thing. <coughs> oh, so that's not, that's not got to waste. Don't panic if you got to that Absolutely point. Absolutely not. It no, happens to the best of us. all I do is just undo those seams. I wouldn't recommend doing it with a pair of scissors normally, but just to save time, you go in and you just unpick it, and because you've got a seam line there, you're just going to reverse that piece because it's only that piece that's wrong. Oh, it's gorgeous. And then it it's is easy. So, but when you put these together, you're doing everything on the diagonal. So if I bring in the diagram, you're going to start in this corner. Mm -hmm. So you'll piece your triangles. And when you piece your triangles, make sure that you have your right angles together. Mm -hmm so that the, the um, triangle lines up and you're going to stitch along that line. If I just put a couple of clips in, you can see. These are great because they've got the quarter inch mark so I can see oh, accurately good. where it's, what it's going to look like. Nice. So that will be like that. And then your next row will have a triangle just watch where each le each one lines up. So the, the four patch one that we did would come underneath that green one here. So that seam would line up with this one here, mm -hmm. which will be a windmill, and mm -hmm. then you'll have two triangles. Now don't trim your dog ears till the very end, okay? because then you're gonna square off your quilt before you put your borders on. That's always a good thing to do. Do it before you do your borders because then your borders will look straight. Otherwise, your borders will look like they're on a scenic railway. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing it's really wrong with clear. a scenic railway if you're out for a pleasure day. Not so great when you're trying to put a straight Get border right, on. Exactly. <laughs> well, you've got the most beautiful layout diagram, which is so, so clear and so, so thorough in your instruction set. Just 9 99 If you do want to use your own fabrics, you've seen how amazing it looks in solids. You see how amazing it looks in your prints. How beautiful is it going to look as well with dark backgrounds? I mean, I'll talk to you about the navy one in a minute, but three of the four bundles today have been with light backgrounds. It's going to look amazing and dramatic in lots of different colourways. Have a bit of a play, get your pattern home, just £9.99 for the pattern on its own. Um, this is the navy one I'm talking about. It works so, so well with those light backgrounds. How amazing is it gonna look with this one? I mean, you could play around with, as you've got a, a metre of each of the fabrics, you can play around with whichever fabrics you want wear. But I'm thinking if you use this one, as you would have the, um, that should have shot through screen that Susie yeah. was using, with the big triangles on the corners, this is where that sort of more, more of that empty space, the larger blocks you're gonna see more of, or that one. Use that one for the big for the big uh, yeah, that triangles. Would look good. Giving you a dark then, dramatic background looks amazing. See, I would probably use that one to do where the teal is, because then you've got big squares. Oh yes, and that or yeah, that green. fabric with squares. Yeah, yeah. that'd look really cool. Yeah. Uh, you've also got a meter of your smaller scale prints, so maybe for some of the the smaller patchwork pieces, that's going to be. Yeah, that would look really ideal. good as your binding as well. That oh, one. Oh nice, yes. And then you've also got your lighter one. It ties it all in beautifully. Really, really well thought out design. And Hannah took 
10 pounds off so there was already five pounds saving anyway and then we took an extra five pounds off so you've got 10 pounds saving on this one and don't forget it also does of course include your instructions to make the whole quilt which is 44 inches in size um 51 pounds and 99 pence thank you so so much thank Susie. You very much when are you back next saturday oh do you know what you're doing i do are you allowed to tell us i can um <laughs> i'm i've um designed a block keeper for you ah um, because after um i did the liberty sh uh not the liberty show it was um the free spirit book I had all my blocks in a block keeper and I had so many messages saying, how do you make the block keeper? What do you do with that? So I've done you a pattern. Oh, do you know what? That's going to be so useful. And I haven't seen a block keeper pattern. And I've think. done it so that um, you only need two blocks for the block keeper, but I've given you six blocks in the pattern. Oh, amazing. So you can choose. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. We'll see you again. See you yes. next week. Enjoy uh, your camp. Oh yes, I will. I might be round yours later. That's and fine. Raiding your camping gear. We have Because I lot. haven't really thought it through. So Susan says I'll come round hers later. Right, we've got. Uh, in fact, we're still going to talk about him. He has sold out, but we're still going to talk about our dino. So stay tuned. We've also got. Don't panic though. We've got more patterns. Patterns for our storage tubs. How perfect to store your fat quarters in here. We talked earlier on about storing little toys, Lego pieces, and things like that. Um, your sewing kits as well to have on your storage desk even have one at the side of your sewing machine keep all your scraps in all those half square triangles that you've cut the ends of um, keep them in there um, we are going to talk about dino though don't worry we're going to show some of the key techniques he's lovely he's sold out we'll try and get more for a day to show with emma but stay exactly where you are don't go anywhere we're back after this Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. 
And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Welcome back, welcome back. I know a lot of people will have stayed with us all day today, especially for Emma and her amazing dino projects. Now, <laughs> he has sold out. We got hundreds of these in. We knew how popular they'd be, but they're even more popular than we suspected. So, we're already on to our buying team and they will be speaking with Emma after the show today. And next time you're here, please will you bring more of these? Yes. Because <laughs> they're amazing, aren't they? And especially with our exclusive panels. Well done to everybody who's got them. Um, you do get your instructions, you get your templates, you get your zips, you've got the eyes, you've even got um, the, the zip pull. You have everything included plus all the panels. So well done if you manage to get the purple or the green colourway. And unlike other channels, you know, even though we've got sellouts, we're still going to show you some of the, the main techniques. So don't panic, we're still going to do a bit of demo. But we also have a couple of other projects today so also brand new from Emma we have these storage boxes now these are going to be invaluable for your sewing room perfect for storing your fat quarters great for storing all your sewing bits and bobs on your table um, but also in your dressing room nice to put all your hair stuff in or makeup in or jewelry in now we have got the pattern on its own first really really popular on pre-order £9.99 your pattern and templates um, I love a bit of storage. I think it's like a hobby in itself, isn't it? We're all about storage here. Um, we always like to try and get ourselves organised. And if you're organised and you know where your bits and bobs are, then it means that you can enjoy the process a bit more if you're organised. So, um, you've got magnetic snap on the front as well. So it's all nice and secure. And then, if I just put, for example, look, here's a fat quarter, you could store all of your fabrics in here lined up all beautifully it doesn't need to just be fat quarters you could put half meters in there as well um it, it depends on how structured you want it i mean i think this is decaville isn't it in yes, here it is, yeah. so um it is lovely that you've still got uh, a rigidity to it without it being too stiff these are boxes that you are going to use the pattern you're going to use again and again and again again imagine doing them in christmas fabrics Christmas projects um, to put you could fill with a few bits and bobs for Christmas for gifts couldn't you it's £9.99 that's the pattern reusable templates use them again and again Decaville um, now Decaville I have got on a roll on the side of my desk can you see it or can I mm, here it is thank you I was gonna say how did I miss this uh, now obviously you're getting a lot here but let's face it, you are going to make more than one box. If you've got your instructions on your own, get yourself a roll of Decaville. Um, we'll talk to Emma in a little bit about using it, any tips of using Decaville. It has got a fusible size as well, so you can fuse it to your fabrics. You can sew through this. Um, it's brilliant for, for, for having, uh, for boxes, but also bag linings, things like that. We use it for a lot. Uh, fabric postcards we use it for as well. Um, 
just 17 pounds and 99 pence for your meter piece of Dacaville. It is worth getting it, especially if you're getting the pattern, getting the bundle, because elsewhere, they might charge quite a bit for postage of this because it's a peculiar shape. It's all covered in one post and packaging here. If you're purchasing anything from us, it's all covered in that one post and packaging cost. So if you've got your pattern, um, get yourself some Decaville as they are ideal. They're gonna give you that structure that you see on your screen here with your boxes. So that's Decaville. We also have one bundle. Now, if you want to know about um, what colours, how much you're going to need, message in, of course. But here we've put together a bundle where you get half a metre of your red. You then also get your lining fabric, which is half a metre of your natural seeded cotton. And then we've put in, is this a fat quarter? Fat quarter for your really beautiful little detail of your heart there as well. Um, I'm sorry, hang on. You're getting all of this fabric here. You're just going to use a little bit for the heart there. So you're going to have plenty left over. If you think... The pattern is 9 99 Hang on, you're getting all of this fabric for 16 99 The pattern and this. I don't think all of this fabric is less than seven pounds, is it? Even if we don't just use, if you don't use it for the storage box, get the bundle anyway, because you're getting half a meter in scarlet, half a meter of natural cedar cotton, and a pink fat quarter as well. That's brilliant value. Plus, in your bundle, you get your pattern and templates. Pattern templates on their own, we've just seen a 9 99 anyway. So definitely buy the bundle at that price. You'll use it again and again and again. Um, okay. Whilst you're checking out on this, we're going to do a couple of key techniques on what Baffa is now called Dino Disco Dave. <laughs> I'm afraid uh, the Dino Disco Dave is sold out. We'll bring him back though, won't we? I hope so, yeah. Yeah, I'll bring him back. We're going to show how to do the spike. We Sorry. are, and I'm just going to tell you because this is really useful for any project. I'm going to show you how to put on a zipper pull onto zipper tape. Oh, good because we needed that for the project previous out, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, and a lot of people, if they're buying the continuous tape, they don't know how, or it's kind of like, oh, how does that work? Well, I get scared that it's going to fall off, and then I'll never be able to get it back on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, you it's can. fine. Um, I was on a, a job last year, and a couple of the um, on a costume job, and the a couple of the zips broke. And it was a real nightmare. But once you know how to feed it in, okay. um, you can kind of fix zips. But that's a whole other story. I think I was known as Zipper Queen for that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I digress. So you've got your zipper tape, which comes in the pack with the pattern. And then you're obviously going to get a pull uh, to go with it. So on the pull, there is two ends. So you've got one end with the two holes. And then you've got the other end with the one hole, if you like. So you want to open your zipper tape so that it's open a little bit. And then you're going to put the uh, each side into the two holes respectively, okay? So you've got one in there, and then you might need a bit more, give yourself a bit more room. And you're trying to line it up as best you can. Some people do make the, the, the second side a bit shorter so that you can feed it in. Um, we're not going to on today. And then you should be able to, once you've fed it in like that, put your fingers down on the table, one each side, and then pull it on. Oh my gosh, you are the zipper queen. <laughs> I've seen why you've got that title. <laughs> Anyone who's got any problems with a zip, you come to Emma. <laughs> and, then, and then it's on there, but that's not the end. Oh, the other thing is as well, burn the ends of this your zipper. This isn't the end. It's not the end. Then you want to pull it all the way to the end. Nine times out of 10, probably 9.9, .9, your teeth are not going to be completely lined up and you need them to be because you might have a couple more um, kind of teeth on one side to the other and, you, and that's going to give you your wonky zips when you come to sew it in. So you want to open up the other end like that. Now what you could do is you could just baste that at each end then you know your zipper pull's not going to come off mm -hmm. mid project while you're sewing it in. But also what I like to do is I like to feed the teeth in, and you can do this with a nylon zip, not so much with a metal zip. Um, you can sort of feed the teeth in to each other, like so. So you can sort of feed them in like that. So you can push them together, and then you can do your bar tack or your basting stitch to keep it in place. And you can make sure that the teeth are really nicely lined up you're obviously going to have a little bit of a bulge each side no matter what you do, but it's going to be um, in sync and in line. 
Uh, you get those with the kits, by the way, and that is a yeah. lovely ring pull as well. You get those in your, your dino kits. They're really nice ring pulls that are included. Yeah, yeah I think with the green one, you've got a gold. Looks like the... he's eaten something. Yeah. <laughs> Something's hanging out of his mouth. Hannah, you know how much I love a ring pull? The ring pulls are included. <laughs> right, so. Right, so we're going to do our spines for our dino. So we've got all the pattern pieces and then you've got the um, fusible fleece pattern pieces. So you're going to need fusible fleece for this project. Um, the other thing I wanted to show as well, because I just thought this was really cool, was the on the panels you get the, the tags and you actually get two. So you can put one on another project. Yeah, you've put yeah. one on the bottom of you there. So I've put one on the bottom of Dino here um, and it just says this belongs to and then you can fill it in. You could use Sharpie, fabric paint, fabric marker. I really like to use fabric paint and little stampers because oh, yeah. then that looks really nice like you've printed it on. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out because I thought that was a really cool little touch on the panels. So then we're going to go to to our spikes. So you've cut them out like so and you've put your fusible fleece, you've fused that down. You want to fuse it from the right side because that will uh, be closer to the glue and will heat up the glue for fusing. Only on cotton though, don't ever do that on vinyl. <laughs> uh, grab some pins. H640 is your main graphic, <coughs> it's your fusible fleece. So I'm just going to put a couple of pins in. Why is it that you've cut it <coughs> smaller than the actual spine itself? Because we want to keep our fusible fleece, our interface, the sort of stiff interfacing or the, the bulky interfacing, so that's your foams, your fusible fleece, your decabils. You want to keep them out of your seams. Right, okay. Yeah, because that's going to stop the bulk in the seam, especially because we're turning this through. You're oh, not going to want to have point. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to stitch that up. We're going to sew a centimetre from the edge, and we're going um, from the two ends. We're leaving that bottom curve open. You say lots of people are doing different sort of um, slight different amendments. So someone's made it into a crocodile or an alligator. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's really cute seeing all the different designs. Yeah, different colour fabrics once you've got your pattern. But I knew this, when I saw that panel, I was like, wow. Oh, it's so cool. This is going to be popular, it's so cool. So I'm just keeping the needle down and lifting the foot on each point, just like you would do with any corner. And I'm actually following the line of my fusible fleece. You can either follow the edge of the um, spikes, the main spikes on the cotton, or you can follow the fleece. Katie says, please, can you make him available again soon? <laughs> I want to make him into an, oh, go on, oxolotl. Oh, yes, I've oxalot. heard that. Oxolot. What's an oxalot? A a axolotl, isn't axolotl. it? Axolotl. Yeah, that sounds right. Is that right? Yeah, that. <laughs> For my son. Um, oh, they're really popular and really cute. Please, can you make your Bronte case available soon as well, please? <laughs> yes. I'm just going to say yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm not going to say any more. <laughs> Bite my tongue. Um, I know you've got this pink rotating cutting mat in your workroom, haven't you, Emma? I have, yeah, I love it. I'm going to show you how I use it. Hopefully, I'm going to use it on the uh, Valentina box. Oh, amazing. It is lovely. Uh, you do know the one that's on your desk, actually, the big one. That's also rotating. Yes, I do. How good is that? And, yeah. It's big for a rotating cutting mat, isn't it? It's I don't think I've ever seen a big rotating cutting mat. It's so helpful when you're cutting, like, to be able to move it around. Both are available back in stock today. $32.99 for the large 18-inch cutting mat. And there are now less than 20 of the pink. Um, and we had hundreds of these this morning. She says, otherwise, if there were just a few of them, I wouldn't have stayed till 7 o'clock. I wouldn't have got... <laughs> She says, I really like to bring you things, but not that badly. It needs to be in the hundreds if I'm going to miss my boss and stay here till 7 p.m. <laughs> it shows us how much you care, Hannah. You go above and beyond to the point that the, the next channel starts at 5 p.m. She got a bit told off by the channel manager, just saying, Hannah, you need to leave the gallery. She's like, I know, but I need to wait until these get booked in. I've waited for hours. <laughs> Steph was knocked out, so 
like the house as well. Oh my gosh, the extent she's gone to to get you these cutting mats. <laughs> okay. So we've sewn around that top edge, as you can maybe see. You might be able to see it a bit better on the other side. And then I'm going to trim down my seam allowance so that it's about half a centimetre. All the way along. She did say the good thing that did come off it, obviously getting the hundreds of uh, cutting mats in stock for you today, but also, have you got Too Good To Go, Emma? Have you seen the app Too Good To Go? Yes. Well, it meant that Ada was just in time to get to her Costa Coffee Too Good To Go delivery <laughs> where she got a whole bag of Rocky Roads and muffins, which Is she didn't bring in today, might I add. I've never used it. It's, it's good. Oh, it's then. great. Oh, it's great. Yeah, I need yeah. to get on that. So get on that. There's wagon. right. I live right next to a supermarket that do it, and I made friends with the manager, and he says, "Come to me because then you can choose what you want in your bag." <gasps> oh. So I go around like, "I love this." this. Oh gosh, it's so That's exciting. even better. Isn't Anybody it? who doesn't know what I'm on about. Get the app too good to go and there'll be places in your area that um, you pay, you save like a, you pay about three pounds normally and there's restaurants that have carveries, there's coffee shops. Becky's like, yes, I love that app as well. It's really good and it means <laughs> the food's not going to waste. Okay, so I'm just in all the dips, oh, I've missed one there, I'm just cutting out a little triangle. Hopefully you can see, because then when we turn it, that is going to help. You can either do a snip or a triangle. An inverted triangle, I guess it would be. And then we're going to turn it the right way out. Need my pokey tool again. What have I done with that? Emma has got a very well organised tool um, stash to the side of her. Hint, 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 hint. <laughs> Watch her next show. Well, you say next show, you think it's going to be a couple of months. Well, someone may have already mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's the Bronte case. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Katie! <laughs> Watch this space. Okay, so I'm poking out all the spikes. Do you have your dates for the next few months here? Uh, uh, we're not sure about the next one. It's not completely confirmed. Okay. Basically, I need to check with my husband that he's not away. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so poke out all the, the spikes with the poke tool. I use this like color shaper thing, but you can use anything. You could even use a pin if you're very careful. Okay, so there we go. Give it a bit of a wiggle mm -hmm. to get those little triangles that you cut out sitting nicely. And then, I won't give it a press, but I will show you the next bit. Uh, this is the other panel, by the way. Oh, so amazing. Oh, yeah. I won't tell it too much. Though. So clever, <laughs> isn't it? So clever. Uh, I mean, it's great, you know, not only being able to work with, you know, your patterns, but be able to have a bit of a concept in pattern, fabric design almost as well, along with Lou. It's amazing, yeah. Lou does such a great job. I think towards Halloween, you need to do a costume for us. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you need to be able to do a pattern <laughs> that we can all do a really good costume for Aww. Halloween this year. No pressure. No pressure, but I want to make <laughs> Maisie look like a dinosaur. <laughs> I made uh, Bronte, that's my little one that's named after the, on the case. It's no. named after her. Uh, I made her into a bat last year. That oh. was really cute. I was going to say, <laughs> World Book Day and Halloween. There's a bit of pressure for you, isn't no there? No pressure, but, yeah. Yeah, your kids have to definitely look the best. Oh. So then with the spikes, what we want to do is we're laying them over. Now, obviously, we want it to come out like that, so it's sticking up. But we have to do them the other oh, way. Gosh. Hang on, so that's obviously not you're fit. show yeah, you're Convex, doing converse, exactly. Is, you're doing yeah. the wrong curve basically. And there's notches on the pattern, so you want to find your notch for where the spike starts. Before you do any of that, you wanna you will have pressed it as well. And then you want to snip into the spikes all the way along. And I've done it about every half a centimetre. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then Definitely use pins. Oh, this is like your dressmaking techniques now to ease it in, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. So you would find your your two notches, which I stupidly haven't marked it on. 
Have I got the pattern piece? Here we go. Let's do that. Let's not eyeball it this time. <laughs> so there's our end. Da, 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 pins. And there's the other end. Put the other notch in as well. You can mark it on as well, of course. And then you want to line that up and you want to pin as you go. Put your pins in at, um, at the right angle to your fabric and then you will find that you can sew over them gently and carefully and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Any time you break needles is when you go crazy, crazy fast. Okay, so then you just want to tweak it round to go round. It does feel weird and it kind of feels like, oh, the bottom one's kind of going out of sync and all of that. You've done the hard work for us. It does fit. It does fit, 100% does fit. <laughs> Trust the method. But you do have to do those little snips to get it around that ah, curve. Okay. Yeah. Just so you know, we've got just about 20 minutes before Hobby Maker could take over. So okay. I just want to make you aware. Yeah, so basically what you would do, you'd pin that all around, you can see. It's going to go all the way to there. Yeah. And then you baste that. Mm -hmm. And then you sew up that top seam line. Yeah, so it's it all comes together. And then once you open it up, it will flip up like that. You can sort of see how it's going to go. So yeah, that's the, that's the kind of tricky bit on the dinosaur. So did you want to move on to oh, yeah. the box? If that's okay, because yeah, um, yeah. hopefully we're going to bring back um, the dinosaur as well. So yeah. don't panic because hopefully we'll see it again. And everything is all in your instructions as well, isn't it? And did you yeah. say that there was a video for this one? Yeah, there is, yeah, full video, yeah. There you go. Yeah. You've got a full YouTube video as well. For anybody who um, has already got it well done, because they sold so early on in the morning today. Um, storage boxes, the Valentina box. Who's Valentina? Is this named after somebody? I designed a bag for Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. And it was kind of similar. Yeah. And then, yeah, similar technique. And so then that's the Valentina box, because it's like, Oh, well, now this can keep all of your little trinkets, whether it be your love of fabric, whether it be your love yes. of sewing tools, whether yeah. it be your lovely jewellery, whether it be, you know, there's so many different things that you're going to be able to store in here. Your makeup bags on the side of your dressing table. We always need storage boxes. And I love that these are a little bit different, that you've got that beautiful heart. And it's like, it's not applique, is it? Is it reverse applique? What's it's, it classed yeah, as? Yeah, it's reverse applique, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to show you that a little bit. Now, $16.99 it doesn't only include your pattern and templates, you get a bundle of fabric as well. Individually, your pattern is £10 anyway, so whilst they're available, grab your fabric bundle because you get a metre of fabric and a fat quarter included for an extra $6.99. Side graphic is your fusible, which we've chosen Decaville. You get a whole metre, it's loads and loads and loads, you're going to be able to make loads of boxes with it. Um, I know lots of people need a lot of storage for their fat quarters or for their fabric stash. You could do them all in different colourways depending on maybe all your red fat quarters go in one, maybe all your Liberty fabrics you keep in another one or a cave one you keep in a cave box. Uh, Christine has asked can you enlarge the boxes? You probably could but it may have a knock on with the different elements which I'm going right. to go through. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't tried it, so I can't say for no, sure, but no, probably that's fine. could, yeah. Okay. Try it and let me know how you get on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so a couple of things about the pattern that I wanted to talk about. So you you get this large piece, you do have to kind of piece it together a bit, as you can see. Oh yeah, so that's where it would be the... difficult to enlarge actually, yeah, to enlarge so, a net. Yeah, exactly, because it is one whole piece to make up the box. Um, if you've ever made a dice as a kid, it's very similar technique you know you, you plot it out don't you and then you fold it all up so this is the this is the pattern piece so you, what you're going to need let's go let's go back to here so this is the outer where I've chosen the pink and then it's I've got the Decaville pieces my Decaville pieces are lifting because 
um, it's been scrunched up in my bag, so don't do that, <laughs> and then they won't lift. The other thing about Decaville as well is when you're using Decaville, you want to fuse it and then you want to leave it at least half an hour for the glue to dry and set, and then that will make it a bit better as well. Maybe I didn't do that before I folded it up. And the uh, the Decaville fuses just nicely with an iron, literally, just yeah. over it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and fuse it from the right side again, same as with your fleece or your foam, because that's the side that the glue is on and you want that to, to get through. You can um, tell the difference between the glue yes. side, can't you? Yes, you can you see can. it's got the shiny and side. And you can see it, yeah, exactly. So when you're so when you get the pattern, you get it like this, as the other bit, and you can see Let's move some of these out of the way. It's getting a bit busy, isn't it? You can see that there's there's kind of different lines on the pattern. Oh, yeah. So what you need to do is you just do a cut and a cut on the inner line so that you can peel back the corners. Mm -hmm. OK, so you want to do that on all the different pieces. And then you get the, the separate pattern pieces for the interfacing. And then for the long piece, you just need to cut that out because that's your long interfacing on the long side okay so when it comes to it then you're going to place them on and the the good thing about the reason why you need to peel up those corners is that before you obviously you'll, this will be before you put your decaville on you'll be able to lay that over the top and use a friction pen to just draw in those corners so that then when you put your decaville on because it's all been worked out to be slightly smaller as you can see you can you can match up with those corner points and then it's all in line and all in sync okay so hopefully that makes sense you're going to leave off the front piece that's where our heart's going to be the other thing i wanted to mention as well about the lining uh, is that you're going to cut out a very similar shape but as you can see we're missing that bottom bit okay so that's exactly the same but you're missing this bit on the lining and then there's an extra pattern piece that matches up so when you get your pattern you'll see that there's a red dotted line it will come like this <coughs> excuse me this page is kind of in one um, and it will you'll see this red line mm -hmm. and that is to signal that that is where you're going to cut your lining so you're going to cut your main like that mm -hmm. and then you're just not going to attach that piece for your lining. I'm so pleased that you've done all of this for us because it's actually, I find it really sort of <coughs> discombobulating again, but this is your yeah. forte, it's three dimensional yeah. shapes, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is what yeah. you've done for yeah. years. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then you would get your extra pattern piece and that will go there to make up the, the, the box. And that is then your turning hole, you see. Okay. So I bet you love those things at school, you know, that you clip together and then create different shapes and then you oh, yeah, and yeah. clip it all. Do you want know I me mean? to make a oh, net? Oh, yeah. What are they called? Fortune tellers, aren't they? Fortune tellers, that's what it's called. I think they're called fortune tellers, oh, yeah. Oh, no, not that one. Oh, not that one. Not that one. Which they one? were like plastic, bright colours. They all clip together in different ways. Oh. And then you unfold the cubes to make nets and yes. things. Yes, yes. Brilliant, yeah, love all that. <laughs> Anything creative. Okay, so we're gonna go through the heart on the front. So with that lovely um, fat quarter that you're gonna get, this pink one, I think it's quite nice to do a bit of fussy cutting in it so you get that heart in the right place. So I have, I did prep it up with some interfacing because it does need to be interfaced. So what you want to do, this is when the, the rotating mat is going to come into its own, I think. What you want to do is you want to line it up so that you've got that cut out heart. So you're going to want to cut out that heart in your pattern. And can you see that fits so beautifully oh, yeah, does. in there, doesn't it? It doesn't matter that we're going to go into that seam allowance there. That's never going to be seen. Ultimately, it's just the immediate shape around there. So then... What you want to do is you want to grab your other pattern piece, which is hiding under here somewhere. This one. That's our pattern piece that's going to go behind. So you're going to be cutting this out of the outer colour, which for me is the pink, and you're going to be cutting it out of the uh, featured fabric, and you're going to be cutting out another square from the Decaville, and that's all explained on the pattern piece as well. So I'm going to lay that on, and then I'm going to quickly do a bit of a quick change. Like I say, you will be able to kind of rejig it. And then grab my, where have I put my friction pen? 
You say I'm very organized, and then I can't, <laughs> I can't find the, the one thing I need. Let's use some chalk. You haven't done the Bronte bag on here, have you, before? No. 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 Katie must be one of your followers. <laughs> So you can either, often I just go straight ahead with the, with the rotary and just cut around the pattern, but I'm being good, being a good girl today. And then you want to cut that out. I've been to face the back already, prepped that. Sometimes I like to interface first, sometimes I interface after. I think interfacing first, if you can, is the way to go before you cut. Um, you just sort of lose a little bit of interfacing, which is annoying. Oh, I need a new blade, don't I? Look at that. Very good. Right. Well, I, I bet if you say you change your sewing machine needle every four to six hours, but you need to change your rotary <laughs> blade cutter after every yes. few projects. Yeah, you probably do, don't you? <laughs> OK, so now I've got that piece <laughs> cut out and ready. Then we're going to get our other outer fabric and we're going to lay that on the front and we're going to lay that right sides down okay and then we're going to get our pattern again i don't think i've ever seen reverse applique before i'm really intrigued Have you not? i know that sounds ridiculous because we do applique like all the time don't we but i don't know if i've ever seen how to do a reverse applique oh, it's, re it's the same as doing a um a zipper ah uh, yeah you know when you feed the zipper through i'm kicking myself for what i've done with my my um friction pen but never mind let's use the chalk again Okay, so I've lined up my um, pattern there, so I know that, that my heart is in the right place. Okay, it's really important that we get the heart the right way up, of course. Just and like you, Hannah, the heart's always in the right place. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you can see there, see I've got loads of excess, totally fine. I'm gonna pop a couple of pins in there. I love all of your little bit, bits of bobs. You've got your lovely little cactus <laughs> pin cushion. You've got your little Hello Kitty <laughs> pin case. Yeah. It's all the little things, isn't it? Why have it plain when you can have it fun? Yeah. <laughs> Move those out of the way. OK, then I'm going to go over to my machine and I'm going to stitch around that heart. OK. On the line? On the line, yep. Yeah dead on the line as much as we can get there and really you should use oh really you should use uh the same color thread but i'm living on the edge and it is easier for you to see well you've used the same color but if you are confident you know at sewing accurately it would look lovely with pick out one of the colors in your accent fabric contrasting thread round yeah it would look lovely So then we just want to follow that round. Definitely made my life harder using chalk, but that's okay. And then we're going around that heart. Just keep going. Fold that up a smidge to get round. Um, Pauline, <laughs> I've got that. it's not really rigid because she's asking if it's hard. You can still sew through it, so it's yeah, it's got movement to it, but it will give it will give it structure without yeah, being it's, solid. It's, like it's still you can still squish it a bit. It's, it's quite malleable. You can see there. Okay. You can kind of you can't really scrunch it up, but it's it's quite yeah bendy. And you can layer it up if you want it thicker as well. Which is quite good. Like for the base of a bag mm -hmm. or something like that. Oh, well, you're going to have loads on your roll, aren't you? You're going yeah, to be able get, to use it for lots of projects. You get loads on there. That will sort you out for a few projects, for sure. The thing is, when we talk about stash building, I always talk about, you know, all the fabrics we've got, all those gorgeous glitter fabrics, but it's things like this that I know they don't look the most exciting on the telly, but actually, 
they are probably some of the most useful things to have in your stash. Having your stash of interfacings will give you a really professional finish, whether it be your foams, your interfacings, your like your medium weights, your, your fleece, your decaville. It's good to have those at the ready in your stash so that when you do get a project home and you think, do you know what, I actually think I'm going to put some decaville to make it more structured than a fleecy project. It's at those points that you think, oh, well, I can't just necessarily walk down the high street and grab it at my local crafting store, or um, it might not be in stock here at Sewing Street. So it's worth having a bit of a stash, especially as a bag maker. Yeah, for sure. You're going to use it loads. Look, mine's come off, but that's because I didn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Yours won't do that. <laughs> right, so I take my pins out. And then what we're going to do, and this feels a bit weird as well, we're going to cut on the inside of that heart about half a centimetre away from the edge. Okay, through just both layers. into the, oh, through both layers. Yeah. Cut around. It's where it's a good, it's good to have a good sharp pair of small scissors, isn't it? Yes. So you don't go into your stitching. Yeah, exactly. I yeah, definitely do not want to go into your stitching. What have you got rainbow scissors then, Hannah? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, we've got these new ones actually. What's the lady's name? Karen K. Buckley, have you heard of them? No. Scissors, oh, they're really oh, good. They? Oh, you need to, you need to have, a look, need to have a look at those. They're really good. And then when you come to the point of the heart, uh -huh. you just want to snip in, well, you want to snip in all the way anyway, um, but you want to just snip in, make sure you're snipping in towards that point as well. Um, because in a minute, when we pr turn it the other way and press it, that bit's really important to get that right. And you know, go crazy on the snips. Can't really have too many. And definitely into that point again at the bottom. Victoria's asked, can you stitch through Decaville? Yes, you can, yeah. Totally can. It's just good to keep it out of your seams because it is so bulky. Have I done that? No. It's not going to damage your machine to go through it, though, put it that way. It's, it's, it's designed to sort of sew through, but um, like you say, if you trim it just less than your seam allowance, it's going to reduce yeah. the bulk. Yeah. So then you want to feed that through. So you see, it's just like when you do a, a oh, zipper. Mm. And you want to push that point down as well. Try and get it as, as kind of pointy as you can. <laughs> Want of a better way of saying it. Going to use a little pin or a big pin to pull that out gently. Tease that bit out. Give it a bit of a a wiggle. And then we're going to give that a bit of a press. And that is how you do your reverse applique because you can see then once we place that behind that's how you do it Vicky. Oh <laughs> that's so clever isn't it? So it's quite simple it's quite a simple technique once you know it's like anything isn't it once you know but looks really impressive. Yeah it does. I'm just gonna move those out of the way so I can get to the iron. I don't know where time's gone we've literally got a few minutes. A few minutes. <laughs> ah. Ah. Um, the other thing I was going to say as well with the with this box is you don't have to have a magnetic snap. If you don't have one, um, that's totally fine. It's still going to still, gonna still be fine. closes, doesn't it? Still closes, yeah. It is nice though. If, with it is a lovely finish, isn't it? If you have got any magnetic snaps in your yes. in your stash. Yeah, exactly. It is a lovely finish to them. Uh, remember, the main graphic is really good value for money to be able to get all your fabrics as well. You get half a metre of your red, half a metre of your natural seeded cotton. So that's a whole metre of fabric and a fat quarter for 16.99. Instructions on the website are available on their own at 9.99. But while stocks last, get your fabrics as well. Um, yeah. You can make your box out of it. And then you've also got extra, of, of course, if you've got fabrics in your stash that you want to use, then um, you've got plenty of... Um, well, you've got plenty of use out of those templates, haven't you? They're lovely, yeah. printed onto really nice paper. Oh, I've not used the sign before. <gasps> Have you Exciting. not? No. Oh, it's a great iron. I had my eye on it. 
Oh, the other thing I was going to say about this fabric is it's similar to um, the red one. It does change colour slightly when you iron it, which is a bit like, oh, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's totally fine when it cools. There's obviously something in the, the, the red pigment. But, you know. Don't panic when it cools. Don't then it panic. All it's go totally to fine. It doesn't change anything. It just kind of. So the key here is to get those, like, snips in really nice and close and keep pulling and, you know, making it as flat as you can and then pressing it. So that then when you put the other one behind. Oh, that's very hot. And then when you put the other one behind, mm -hmm. you can then can you see? Oh, that's because perfect. We fussy, fussy cut, cut an element. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Love it. Have you got a tutorial for this online? I, I got it almost ready to go. Oh, brilliant. I'm so hoping, will be. Yeah, so I'm hoping next Friday. Oh, perfect. We'll yeah, By the Friday. time you get it home then, because we've got yeah. one minute left on air and I've got to do the menu. But those of you that have got the pattern at home today, by the time you've got your instructions home, fingers crossed, it will be all, yeah. hopefully, on, yeah. or very soon, it will be on Emma's YouTube channel, which is Studio 7T7. 7 <laughs> it's amazing to see you again. Oh, thank we'll you. We'll see you next month then. Yes, yeah, Brilliant. end of next month, yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much, thank Emma. You. Um, don't forget to grab your bundle at 16.99. Your Decaville's there as well at 17.99. Tomorrow's show. Have a lovely weekend tomorrow. I think you're on with John. Emma Bradford's here as well. You've got Moda Sugar Maple uh, Farm quilt with Emma Bradford. You've got a bit of Sashko and embroidery. Half Square Triangles quilt with Emma Bradford. And then the E Mark Creator is on here with Chrissy from the E Mark Printer. I just think that is magic. If you haven't got or seen the E Mark Printer before, Oh, it's amazing. I'll definitely be watching that show. It's going to be brilliant. I'm about to hand over to lovely hobby maker. You've got Crafters Companion this afternoon, so stay exactly where you are. Thank you for your company. There are 10 pink rotating cutting mats left. Check out your baskets. Remember, you have got one PMP across the whole of the day today. So still make sure you're checking out your baskets before midnight tonight. And uh, John will see you bright and early tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Bye.